Hello. How are you doing? Hopefully good. It's time for stream and we are doing the wheel, the birthday wheel today. Back in November around my birthday, we made the birthday wheel where people could submit games and we would spin the wheel and whatever game came up, we would play it for 20 minutes or until we got a game over, whichever happened first. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we might have went a little overboard on the wheel. There's only uh, 1,449 entries on it left. So, you know, prog progress. All right, before we spin the wheel and find out what we're starting with, Thunder Yellow, I owe the Wisdom of Duke. Here you go, Thunder. I am home, or am I? Now that you had to write them all down, uh, my bad, Maniacal. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. All right, what are we starting with? Let's hope it's not something we have to take forever to download, otherwise we'll spin it again. We'll just trust that the wheel lands on something, really, at this point. Hey! Secret of Evermore! Man, there's one I haven't played in a long time. Nice. I'm pretty sure that is not on NSO, so I'm gonna grab my cart. Hell yeah. Alright, be right back. Ow! Ooh, ah, shit! What the fuck? What is a win? Jesus, what the fuck happened there? <sighs> Alright, so I took my earbuds out, you know, because I had to get up and go get the game. And then they were electrocuted as I was taking them off. And then they electrocuted my teeth. So, that was me. I'm awake now, <laughs> I guess. So, this copy of Secret Evermore is actually a semi-childhood one. Uh, this is from the rental store I used to rent all my games from as a kid. Unfortunately, they had a habit of shrink-wrapping shrink with a heat gun uh, their game boxes. So it's been warped, which makes it a pain in the ass to open. But we got it. to open the box. And there we go. And let's test something, because I'm actually curious. Not the sound effect I expected. Let's try that again. Hey, look what actually works now. Finally got it fixed. I can webcam a game now. I had to change around a lot of USB cords because apparently they were sharing the same hub and they just hated that. Which is weird because they're not even hubs, same like a host card. Which didn't make any sense because I don't think I've moved either one off of different those USB ports since I got them. Shrug.
You hear the bad news about Warner Brothers selling Rooster Teeth? Yeah. Feel bad for everyone that lost their job today. That really sucks. Welcome to Secret Evermore, the Secret of Mana game that uh, was US made and is not officially recognized as the Secret of Mana game, but it's really goddamn just Secret of Mana. You play as a boy and his dog. And his dog transforms between different dogs depending on what era you're in. The one dumb thing about this game though, and it probably would be better remembered if it had it, uh, no two players. This two player mode does not work despite I believe it saying, it's making it seem like it does. So, weird decisions with this one. But I remember liking playing this a lot as a kid. Alright, I guess let's delete Idris then. What is our character's name? Something we'll remember as I turn on my timer. Strim Stram. There we go, done. So I think we actually get a lot of character space here. Oops, not Strill. Because you get a lot of character space in this one. I think I actually had enough room to put in my entire full name in here. Because I think it depended on like how big the letters you needed were. And I'm actually surprised that it fit as much as it did. Like, I can go with Strim Stram Strom, I think. Strim Stram Stro! It's based on just character size, not character limit. So as long as you don't pick big letters, you can fit a lot in there. Podunk, USA. Fall, 1965. People are playing jacks on the street. Something is 50% off. Birds are hanging out, and the theater is showing the adventures of Loxley. Someone is crying, because I guess it was a sad movie. Al's Barbershop's got a cat hanging out in front of it. Smith's Hardware has a 50% off sale just like that other store back on the other side of the block. An experiment is about to conclude. In the house of naked statues. That's a lot of naked statues. My friends, prepare to be a part of history. With a twist of a knob here and a flip of a switch there. Wait a minute. That's not right. <laughs> and then they died. They were in fact a part of history. 30 years later, 1995, Podunk, USA. The Lost Adventures of Vex. What a classic. My favorite part was the battle with the slime beast in the toxic swamp. You could hardly tell there was a, uh, really a bunch of old tires and a garden hose. Where you going, buddy? That's not the way home. Doug Head Software. Oh, uh, my dog's dumb. He went the wrong way. Stop chasing the cat. Ah, the naked men have got skulls now. I guess they were alive, apparently. They literally turned into skeletons. There you are. You know, I think that cat's long gone. Hey, where are you going? Yikes! Watch out for that! Oops. Hey, look! A mummy! A chainsaw! And a balloon animal! Hmm, this wall panel's kinda loose. 
Wow, I think we found some sort of secret entrance. Is it the secret of Evermore? No, no it's not. Wow. This looks like the PZS plasma drive and when uh, consonants collide. Whatever works. Whoa! We should get out of here before something goes terribly wrong. Hey, don't chew on those wires! And thus my dog got electrocuted. Uh-oh! And then something exploded yet again. Oh yeah, this guy. <laughs> what have we here? An intruder, I fear. The clearly not evil character. That was some blast. Who, who are you? That's not important. We've got to get you out of here. We can't have you meddling with the professor's experiments. Come along. Who's that, Carltron? Do we have a visitor? It's no one. No one at all. Continue with your work, Professor. After you. Now what? Received Bazooka! I love how this game just starts. Cool! This does not look good. Bazooka! This looks like a way out. Ah. Is that you, buddy? Can't see very well. It's dark in here. Hey, I think it's some sort of futuristic escape pod. Oops, there goes the control pad. And then they died. This feels like a ROM hack of Secret of Mana, to be honest. <laughs> Kinda was, technically, because I think Squaresoft got mad at Squaresoft uh, USA that they made this, because I don't think they asked for permission to make it. Whoa, that was some landing. I think the pod and bazooka are shot. Where am I, anyway? Where's my dog? Here, buddy. Here, pupster. Where are you, boy? Wow, is that really you? You've changed. Hmm. If you're really my dog, you'll fetch the stick. Okay, go get it. Well, this isn't the stick, but it'll do. Come on, buddy. Let's look around. All right. What is the stats of our dog? The dog stats. Attack skill 1-0. 36 HP. Level 1. Needs 35 experience to level up. Attack 17, defend 10, magic defense 4, evade percent 38%, hit percent 33. Strim, stram, stro stats. 30 out of 30 HP, 20 experience needed to level up. 17 attack, 5 defend, 5 magic defense, 34 evade. Whoa. Ow. 30% hit rate. We have the bone crusher currently. What else do I have on the wheel here? Uh, weapon skills. The femur of fury, useful for mangling mosquitoes. All right, there's swords, axes, and spears in this one. So those are the three weapon sets you go through. Uh, let's do a little bit of window editing. Are you my brother, Rex Racer? <laughs> you are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg. Where is the one I just saw? That I like? Yeah, there we go. Let's go with that one. Found a pedal. What's the game? This is Secret of Evermore.
Okay, buddy, what'd you find? I remember how... There we go. Found some roots. So the one thing about the dog is that you can hit uh, the shoulder buttons, and it'll actually start sniffing around. If it finds any materials you can pick up, it'll go towards it, and you can grab it. So it's actually a way of finding, like, hidden secrets. Unfortunately, sometimes he's a little dumb and gets himself in trouble. Because he'll go sniff right towards the bad guy. And all this stuff is very needed later. I actually don't think I can get this. I think I need something that I can actually cut to get to that. Yeah, you smell something I can't seem to find right now, buddy. I get that mosquito. Oh, no, I'm not. They're fine. We're moving. We're moving. We're getting out of here. I forget if I managed to normally get a level up here before I'm done in this area or not, because there's going to be a forced death here in a bit. I'm not going to count that as a game over for obvious reasons. I don't think I can actually save right now, right? No, I think I actually do need to be in a specific spot to save. Can't go that way. Come on, fuck him up, buddy. Fuck him up. And 15 talons. What you got, bud? What you got? Hell yeah, some water. I've managed to be that forced death. Me too. Oops. Oh boy, this guy is fucking me up royal. Okay. We're gonna want that level up sooner than I thought here, actually. Oh shit. Thank you. Stream Stram reaches level two. Definitely needed that right then and there. Because. We have this to deal with. I have a strange feeling about this. Behold the raptors! The dog reaches level two! Buddy, we're not done fighting yet. Oh, actually, let me get that hidden, dang. Ooh, I love that sprite where it goes back where he looks like he's just like, got the finger guns going, or like a big old air guitar. That was always my favorite sprite out of this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Another one gone. Dog's almost dead, though. Uh, dog, would you like some healing? Once I remember how to use the menus in this game. I forgot how long surviving this takes. So if you die here, you just move on to the next story beat. But like, I think you get something special if you do live? Or other than the experience, obviously. How many of these do we have to fucking kill? Do we have to just kill four? Damn. Uh-oh. We actually might not win this one. Come on. We're so close on this. 
Oh, fuck. So I get for giving the dog my power up, I guess. You okay, kid? You took quite a beating out there. Whoa, what happened? The raptors got you. They're a tricky lot, they are. Thanks to this wild animal here, you were saved. It's no wild animal, that's my dog. He's just not himself right now. Well, now that you're both safe in our friendly village, you can save your game, okay, sure. Save over this game. Sorry, Idris and Layla. It's time for Strim Stram Stro and his the dog. Feel free to take items from the gourds in this village. We know that you'll return the favor. You definitely need the help. Two roots. Some water, some nectar. I had a feeling that was gonna be the ash. Uh, where do they teach me magic? I forget who actually does that. My, that was quite a fight you had in that jungle. You should be more careful. You'll find alchemy ingredients aplenty if you search the village outskirts, but be careful. The place is packed with creepy creatures. Thanks, buddy. What else did you find? Nothing else. You're, you seem convinced. There we go, water. Hello, traveler. I'm the source for goods in this village. What can I do for you? Uh, let's buy some items. You got petals, pixie dust, dog biscuits, and essence. And I'm gonna get like two of these. Thank you. I'm gonna steal all your stuff. What's run in this game? I thought there was a, is there not a run in this game? I thought there was. Huh. I've been to the bug muck in the east, and I've seen the giant bug. That may be where Strongheart went to explore. Alchemy is a practice of combining ingredients for powerful and often magical results. My family has used alchemy for many generations. Alchemy effects increase in strength when you use formulas often. What you got, buddy? What you got? Some water. Who teaches me alchemy in this town? Oh, you got armor. Let's here we go. Yeah, grass vest. I got just enough for it, but not enough for anything else. So let's at least put that on. You don't have the run button yet. Oh, okay. And like I said, it's been a while since I played this. I, there's a lot of it I do not remember. Clay, a biscuit, five parts ash. Who is the person that teaches me about alchemy? Because I'm pretty sure I need that before I even leave the village. Oh, I can just fuck off. Never mind. Okay. You'll get the run very soon, though. It may be possible to miss it. I've never tried to skip it, but by the way you get it is that the way you get it that is such that it may be possible. Interesting. It's been so long, like I said, I don't remember the general flow of the game. I not get that yet? You like my bee? His name is Buzz. He'll sting you. Sting. You are not one of us. Not a viper either. You are like fire eyes. Oh, fire eyes. That's right. Okay. My brother Strongheart told me that he was going to look for the big bug in the bug muck. He said that there were maybe rare alchemy ingredients hidden in the bug's skeleton. Strongheart searches the area often for ingredients, and when he returns, he always gives some of them to me. Then I sell them to townspeople who know alchemy formulas. Well, I'm going to steal all your shit, my dude. Oh, you even gave me money, too. Hell yeah. All right, we got to find Fire Eyes. Where's she at? This is the hut of our leader. Please show Fire Eyes your respect. All right. Okay. Um. Fire ice. Fire ice. Fire ice. Fire ice. Fire ice. Fire ice. <laughs> what? Oh, hi. My name's Elizabeth. Everyone around here calls me Fire Eyes. 
Uh, hi, Strimstramstro is my name. Well, Strimstramstro, step into my hut. We'll talk. Come on, dog. Can I steal your stuff too? Who let this wild beast in here? Oh, that's my dog. He hasn't been himself lately. What's his name? His his name? It's. His name is Dad. Dad Dang. Doggo. Dat Dang Doggo. Dat Dang Doggo? That's original. You're not from around here, are you? I'm not really sure where here is, to tell you the truth. You're on Evermore in my prehistoric village. I'm the leader. You wouldn't know how to get to Podunk from here, would you? Podunk? Hmm, interesting. I might. Maybe we can work something out. How'd you like to make yourself useful? <laughs> nope, time's up, I'm out. Well, I... The new village alchemist Stronghearts wandered off to the bug muck in the east. He's been searching for alchemy ingredients that are plentiful in the muck. If you can help him get back to the village, I'll help you with whatever you need. Well, as Captain Leaf Meldrock says in Marge Knees Lumberjacks, I'm ready for anything. Before you go, I'd like for you to have an alchemy formula that I've developed. I call it Flash. It's pretty powerful against mean creatures. All right, small fireball, enabled. Takes one wax and two oil, I think is the material it is. Yep, you can use the formula whenever you have one part wax and two parts oil. Just select the spell and let it fly. The more you use the flash formula, the stronger it will get. Cool, thanks. Now, this was the good and bad thing about the game. The good thing was that you got so many spells in this game, like a ton. Problem was, they were all tied to specific things you found around the world. So essentially, they had ammo because they're alchemy ingredients. Uh, and I actually forget what menu you even check what you have in stock. Yeah, here we go. So we have two wax, eight clay, 19 water, 11 root, eight ash, but we do not have any oil, so we can't even use the spell. And also, as you notice, the more you use it, the more it levels up. That is just like Secret of Mana. Uh, unfortunately, it is annoying as heck if you keep running out of ammo or ingredients to make the spell, which you will frequently. Hello, friend. Welcome to my inn. Would you like to rest for ten towns? No, but I would like to save. All right. Strim, stram, stro. I just want to see this picture of just what we named. We have Strim, Stram, Stro, and Dad Dang Doggo. There you go. Now that's the secret of Evermore experience. Uh, Maniacal, who actually picked this game? I think I miss you saying who actually picked it. Oh, right. If you press select, you can control the dog. Oops. And if you press down and select, uh, my, my analog Super ST Do you know what you're uh, doing? gets mad. <laughs> Don't do that. I don't. Momu Bun picked this. Momu, nice choice. What? All right. Well, let's go see what our next game is, shall we? Oh, next up. This was not a two-player game. This specifically was not. It's very annoying. I think there was a hack that put in this two-player mode. But officially, the official release was single player. What? Do I even have the ability to play that? Here's the problem. That requires the Blizzard launcher, but it is free. Hmm. Do I even have that on here anymore? Hang on. 
The funny thing is, I could do the N64 version. I actually can do that. I'm just not sure if I have... I don't have the Blizzard launcher, so I'd have to, I'd have to install everything. Uh, would they be okay, I wonder, with me playing the N64 version of StarCraft? <laughs> Whose game was this, by the way, Michael? Riley Sims. Riley, don't know if you're around, but, uh... It'd be funny. N64 version's cursed as fuck. You're not unsettling me on this, I'm gonna tell you that much. You're right back. Starcraft 64, hell yeah. Got it inboxed in everything. Look at this beauty. Oh, you would if the lid wasn't back on the camera. Look at this beauty right here, hell yeah. Majestic. You have it in box, I'm actually kind of jealous. I, I've gotten lucky and found a copy to get boxed. You wouldn't download it. What's on the shirt? Oh, yeah, sorry, hang on. New shirt I got today. I love it. You wouldn't download a lasagna. I absolutely would, is what I'm trying to say. Now I want that shirt. Uh, it was a, um... What site did it? Yeti, I think it was a Yeti shirt. So unfortunately I think it means there's a limited print. So was it rare that a game would come with a glass cover like that or not necessarily? Oh, this is a box protector. Sorry, I use these all the time. Like, here, here's Evermore. It's just a plastic protector so it, uh, you know, doesn't damage the box, it keeps its shape. I use these all the time. Yeah, like, I got them for NES, pretty much everything. They make them. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, oh buddy. Oh, this is going to be a special kind of curse, I can already tell. Oh, buddy. Hang on, I know there's no sand, I'll fix that momentarily. I just realized why that was happening. Restart that. Please insert rumble pack now. Starcraft 64. Here's your intro cutscene.
All right, single player, two player credits encyclopedia. Oh shit, Brood War is right, available right out of the gate. Oh shit. Get on with it. Uh, what do we start with? <laughs> do we go right into Brood War? I'm gonna be real. A, we're only playing for 20 minutes, and B, uh, we're gonna get our ass handed to us because I don't know how StarCraft 64 controls, but I guess they did want Brood War. We're so gonna regret this. We're so gonna regret this. Let's keep in my air. So, Gerard, I suspect you have a good reason for pulling me away from my duties. Your trivial concerns can wait, my good Alexei. Come, stand here. You need to see this. I know all about the Zerg, Gerard. We've all seen the tapes a hundred... You've seen nothing. Dissecting a dead Zerg in a lab is one thing, unleashing them on man is another. You must go into this with both eyes open. Once started, there's no going back. Are you prepared to go all the way with this, Alexei? Yes, yes, I am prepared to go all the way, my good Admiral. So I finished the original StarCraft. I actually did not finish Brood War. I definitely cheese the last mission of StarCraft 1. <laughs> I definitely cheese that mission. I don't know how the fuck I got the win on that. Admiral, the colonist base will be overrun in a matter of minutes. Shall we intervene? You're not an RTS guy? This is the only RTS I played, basically, with StarCraft. Things in orbit, Mr. Mal uh, Malmsteen. We've seen enough. Listen, if you're not cheesy, you're not trying. To be fair, that last mission in regular StarCraft blows chunks. <laughs> it is a rough one. Protoss campaign, The Stand. The very Zerg Overmind has been destroyed, and the Protoss homeworld of Iyer now lies in smoking ruin. As the executor of the remaining Protoss forces, you must now attempt to reunite your beleaguered people and save them from the ravenous Zerg, who still roam mindlessly across the blackened fields of Iyer. Escape from Iyer, an isolated Protoss base on the planet Iyer. Greetings, executor. Though we all grieve for the loss of mighty Tassadar, we must find the resolve to carry on. He sacrificed himself to destroy the Overmind, but many Zergs still rage across our ruined homeworld. Whoops, whoops, go back. Uh... Without the Conclave to lead us or the protection of our greatest fleets, it seems we must fend for ourselves. Aldaris is correct, Executor. As we have not, as we have both seen, the Zerg will not halt until ramp, uh, the rampage until every last one of us is dead. As just that we retreat to our last functional warp gate and travel to where the Zerg cannot follow us. With all due respect, Zeratul, the Protoss do not run from their enemies. Iyer is our homeworld. It is here that we shall make our stand. Just as your conclave did, they are dead now, Aldaris. Dead because they allowed their pride to blind their reason. Only if we learn from their mistakes can we live to avenge them. Now, Executor, I know of a place where we can find solace. It is Shakaris, the secret homeworld of my people, the Dark Templar. Your people? We would be seen as tyrants to them. Why would they shelter us? Have I not pledged myself to your cause? Not all beings are as unforgiving as your lamented conclave, Aldaris. You are right, of course. Executor, Zeratul shall find his passage to the warp gate. After the gate has been secured, Phoenix and the new Praetor Artanis shall lead our surviving brethren to Shakaris. Executor, I am Artanis. Though I have only recently been appointed Praetor, you may you can trust that I will uphold the honor and traditions of the Templar. We shall see. Oh, there's Jim Rayner, baby. Hey, boys, mind if we tag along? I figure heading anywhere has got to be better than staying here with the Zerg. Commander Rayner, as ever your assistance is appreciated, we'd be honored if you would join us. End of briefing. Bring Zeratul to the warp gate. Zeratul must survive. Oh. 
Oh! Oh! Yeah! Yeah, this is some StarCraft ass StarCraft. Let's go, baby. In Taro Adun. So be it. So be it. So be it. You know what? Actually, I, low speed damage, not that bad. We should destroy these uh, induced canals so as to stem the flow of Zerg reinforcements through them. And you know what? I agree. Intaro Adun, uh oh. Fuck with them first, fuck with them first. I was gonna deal with the creep first, but maybe I should actually deal with the tunnels first. Oh, there goes one of my guys. Let's get rid of the actual creep. I don't actually know where I have to go, all things com so all things considered. Oh fuck, these things. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Maybe I should not have gone this way. Ooh, this is really touchy for a mouse. Can I slow down the... nope. Settings, game speed, quickie timer, unit info, curse. Ah, you can look at that. Oh, that's way better. Well, for the N64 stick, this is way better. It will be done. Entaro Adun. Crap, 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 just run, just run. Don't worry about the creep, don't worry about the creep. We haven't even found Jim yet. In Taro Dune, there's no time to waste. We must join our brethren in battle. Welcome to the party, pal. Oh, you're not controllable. Oh, you're just vibing, okay. I guess we're the ones welcome to the party. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, buddy. How the fuck are we helping here? Um, We're so fucked. There's no way. point just yeah just hit everything you see at this point don't let any zerglings live or any hydralisks rather you know you guys are doing great I'm not even really give you orders I think you got this under control it will be done. think they'll put this on NSO that would be so fucking funny if they did it would be the funniest thing if they actually did. It will be done. And Taro Adun. So be it. I can't think of much funnier than, than that. Just being like, yeah, Blizzard, we got Blizzard games here now. You got Overwatch 1 and now you got StarCraft 64. Oh, yes, yes, join the party, please. Hell yeah, you're joining the party. Let's fucking go. Ah. And before WoW gets on the Switch, too, that would be incredible and highly doubtful. Uh, get rid of this. Oh, there's 
No, there's two of them. I mean, we may have chosen poorly. Okay, hopefully that'll... No, oh god! Ultralisks. Focus, focus, boys. Alright, now you can blow up the building. There you go, there you go, much better. Fun fact, the N64 mouse recognizes this game, but because it requires the Z button, you can't use it to do much in the game. Oh, what a bummer. Jim, where the fuck are you? Where's my boy Jim Rayner? So be it. More creep up there. Let's at least go over to the Protoss stuff, because there might be something worth- There we go. Yeah, give these guys a hand. Ah, it's good to see more of our brethren on the battlefield. Join the party. Nope, but we gotta go through that creep. That's gonna suck. Alright. Here we go, boys. Oh, of course, what's the first thing we see? Get rid of the Ultra Lisk, and then we gotta focus on those Hydra Lisks. Go, 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 go. Yeah, sure, kill that thing too, while we're at it. Yeah, just go for it. Let's have some fun. This sure looks like where the portal should be. This definitely looks like where the portal should be. Alright, here- oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Intaro Dunes are a tool. This is all that remains of our forces in this province. We have found the location of the warp gate, but there's a sizable zerg force blocking the way. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, boy. This is not going to be pretty. What were these things again? Shield batteries. Oh, I guess that makes sense. They ain't gonna do shit for us right now. Everyone's back to full. I, actually, I missed one guy. I missed. You gotta be in here too. Mm. Eh. It will be done. Uh, are you guys just staying here, or are we getting raided? Josh, Josh, you wanna play some StarCraft 64 with me, buddy? Is there really just a limit to how many characters I can select, and it's 18 of all things? The selection the limit is 18, all right. Your orders, Templar. All right, we're going down here. This is gonna suck. Got a hotkey that shit? I have not many hotkeys on the N64 controller. I'm just gonna state that now. Yeah. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that's probably not the case. You have a boost from the PC version, PC only that 12. Yeah, but you can make groups in the PC version for what I remember. Warriors have engaged the enemy. Fuck him up. I am aware. My warriors are also not doing much to help engage the enemy, so let's get them down there. 
All right. Let's run counter measures for Josh. Oh, Jepson, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. I know you're playing Mario Party early with Jiggy and some others. Hopefully you won. Oh, we're doing the birthday wheel. We're re revisiting it from like November. Uh, we're playing a game for 20 minutes or until we get a game over, whichever happens first. I'm tacking on another minute to StarCraft 64. We got to play StarCraft Brood War, but I didn't have it installed. So I popped in StarCraft 64, which has Brood War open right away. Looked up, apparently you can set up to four control groups in StarCraft 64 by using R and any C button, with Z, and with Z and that same C button selecting that group. Interesting. Okay. Your orders, Templar. R and a C button, huh? Group U set. Your orders, Templar. Ah, that's actually pretty helpful. Okay. Uh, here's the million dollar question. Where's that? Where's the path I'm actually supposed to go down? Was it up here? It was up here the whole fucking time. Shit. And let's pick our remaining units because it looks like we got four here. And we'll make you that button, Group L. Cool. All right. All right, we're in business. We're in business now. Guessing you is up. Correct. Good question. How does four player work on StarCraft 64? Does this have four player? It says two player simultaneous, so two player works where they do a split screen. Oh, that's an interesting image on the on the box of the split screen. All right, you guys start going this way. Oh, oh. Fuck them up. We gotta deal with them. Go, 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 go. For vengeance. Okay, so now things get a little tricky, because I'm not sure how that's going to get. Oh, this is going to be so bad! Oh, there's so many Hydralisks! Fucking creep attacker. There we go. There we go. I think I can actually group everyone back into one group now. Yeah, everyone's in one group now. Tack on another minute there. Oh, I'm aware they've engaged the enemy. Trust me. Oh, dude. I gotta go. Oh, dude. Come on. They're right there. Ugh. 
This is gonna suck. Get rid of the creep. No, no, get rid of the ultralisk. Get rid of the ultralisk. Fuck it, go to wheel. Nah, we're so close, dude. We're so close. We gotta at least beat one mission of Brood War. In fact, I think we are done. Executor, I've located the warp gate. We must hurry and evacuate the Kali survivors before the Zerg return. Hop on. How do we... Just worry about getting your people through the gate, Executor. Phoenix and I will hang back and protect our flank until everyone's through. Hey, Jim. How do... You are victorious! Hooray! And we're only... Like... 20 seconds over time. Hooray! We win! Apparently we constructed a whole four buildings. Dunes of Shakaras. Protoss base camp on the planet Shakaras. We'll never find out what that said. Well, I guess we can start chapter two now next time we ever come back to this. Can't believe we fucking played StarCraft 64. Jesus Christ. Now. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Let's go to the wheel. Let's do one more wheel game and then we'll go to break. Boss. Take Brood War out of there and let's see what we're playing next. Is that a late game system? Late system game for 64? I think so. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Not shocked that's on there. I'm um, looking at the box. Copyright 2000 on the N64 box. So that's pretty late. Because I think the GameCube was 2001, right? Plus, keep in mind, Brood War is in this. So clearly Brood War came out. And StarCraft 1 was, what, 98-ish? So we don't get first, is that game over? No, I think we get to do the full set of races. I think we're fine there. All right. Let's uh, get that set up. Oh, you know, I don't think I have all the tracks installed. I don't think I've updated this game or played this game since like pack three or four came out. Ah. Maybe I should stop wearing the wool hoodie. I think that is what's fucking me over. take that off. Pretty sure that's why I'm getting electrocuted over and over. Alright. Alright, yep, I can hear it staticking as I throw it on the ground. Whew, okay. Alright, are we done conducting electricity today? Not in general, I mean just the current batch. Uh, yep, I got updates to download. See how long that oh. <laughs> oh that's gonna take a bit. Well I might as well start packing up the games that we did play. Let's 
So how's everybody's day? Oh, here comes a mister. Oh, hi, buddy. How you doing? Hi. Nice going now, buddy, but... Oh, what are you going to do? It's too late to go outside. Yeah, I'm staying daddy so I can record. Oh, good luck. Oh, it's not going to get so far. Mister. Mister. Hi, bud. How you doing? Hello. Mister, you came in and slept really early today. So you lost all your outside time. I did. So now you're a little foobard. Yep. Your supervised outside time is canceled. Yeah. Sorry, buddy, and you're stuck inside now. Tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. you're awake, Mom. <laughs> Tomorrow at 6 a.m. Great time. Mom, you're awake, right? Mom! <laughs> Mom! Mom, can I go out? Mom! Mom! Well, Daddy, I can't help but notice you're going back up the stairs. <laughs> There's nothing for you there, sir. Clo close your office door and you you'll probably let you record. And I don't want to make him mess up yours. I mean, you, you can be on cam if he wants to hang out down here. <laughs> make him work for it. Dance, monkey, dance. All right, I forgot it's download first, then install. 500 bits. 500 bits for what? For whenever Bagel gets on screen. Oh, every time Bagel shows up on screen, screen there has to be 500 bits donated? Yes. Okay. Is Bagel still grounded? He is semi-grounded. He can only go out in the daytime now. He can only go out when the sun's out. And he's also got a, a tracking collar on him. We have a GPS now we can track him with on our phones. So if anything happens to him, we know right where he is. Oh yeah, Constantine, by the way, sorry, I saw your raid there. Thank you for the raid. Uh, there it is. And so we won't take it off this time. We've tightened it up, so it's uh, hopefully not going to fall off this time. Hopefully he will not be able to remove it. I swear to fuck. <laughs> Freaking Houdini. Sun's out, sun's out. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how it works. All right. Um, time to get my ass handed to me. I haven't even seen half these tracks. Well, let's use the same code we always use, I guess. Uh, stream racing. There we go. Do I really just use the flashing lights warning to have that code? Sure enough, okay. There you go. That's the tournament code. Hop in. Let's play some Mario Kart for about 20 minutes. Oh, I haven't customized my vehicle in a while. I don't even know if this is the good setup anymore that I used to use. Did I put the code in wrong? Did I write the wrong code down? Because someone said typo, the first six is a nine. Hi, Lita. Thank you for the raid. Oh, that was your... Okay, so I did do it right. Okay, thank you. Got worried for a second there. 
Thank you for the raid, Ilata. All right, let's see who all we got in here. No account. Warrior Fire, Skyler, Shion Rose, uh, Mechan, Derek DTH, Tentacle, and the Ten Fan, Dark Arrow, Metasonic, Eight, and Slick Duke. All these new tracks, and we got an old one? Are you kidding me? Could have gone to Bangkok. I definitely thought that cheap sheep got me for a second there. And that's why I did not keep throwing my shells. I knew it was coming. Oh yeah, because this is also chaotic items, isn't it? Because this is our, our stream group's usually chaotic items. Oh, my own banana peel. Oh yeah, that's chaotic items, baby. Let's see, ninth place, we might get something. That works. No! That sucks. That sucks so much. Do we count that as a game over? <laughs> uh... Are we counting that as a game over? That's the closest you're going to get to a game over, Mario Kart. All right, I'm all right. I I might need a, I might need a poll for this one. I might need a poll cuz chat chat's 50/50 on this. Pulls up. Is that a game over? Yes or no? Oh, there's so many yeses. There's so many yeses, dudes. <laughs> there's 72% of the vote says that's a game over. It's going up. It's actually going up. All right, I'm going with chat on that one. I'm going with chat on that one. 73% <laughs> of the vote says that's a game over. So that's it for Mario Kart 8. It's still on the wheel. It might have, it might come up again, but that's a really funny way for it to end. Oh my god. You know, it's my own damn fault. I finished Mario vs. Donkey Kong earlier today, and it kept warning me then that I should charge my controller. But I'm like, ah, oh, it'll, it'll turn off by the time I get to the end of the game. It did not. It had enough battery power for the rest of the game. And so I was like, oh. Alright, I'm good. And I just forgot that it, I was waiting for it to die. So I'm just like, alright, just turn it off. Just move on. Uh, alright. 
That's so funny as fuck, though. Alright, let's go to break, then. The worst part, we didn't even see any new tracks, and we never will. <laughs> oh, I didn't even change the game, we were still in StarCraft. Oops. Let's just move it to Retro. Who knows where we'll land next. All right. Uh, let's drop some eggs. I didn't even read these out. So we had some fun gift subs during Disc Only yesterday, such as Gokai gifting a sub to Chafed Nipples. Uh, Gokai gifted a sub to No Nip Steve, and Tari gifting a sub to Nipple Chafer. If you have no idea the context of any of that, watch yesterday's Disc Only, because it was a thing. Bubba1995 MV for 96, Flipsider for 45, Pantero for 66. Dr. Zock for 66, uh, Benerius for 3, Jiggly Jelly for 41, Wither Witcher Andrew for 60, Gohan Skywalker for 74. Oh, happy birthday, by the way, Witcher Andrew. I just noticed that. Happy birthday. Don Smile Esquire for 23, Vile Dreams for 39, Straight Out of Winterfell for 86, Captain Candle for 106, Thunder Crates for 21, Daniel Bonin for 58, Bad Chetch Pun for 116, Star 64 for 69. Nice. Wanspell for 60, Zarifi 003 for 62, DB Koopa gets a sub to uh, I'm a Werewolf. Fuyuki Yuki for 81, Saburai for 77, Arcane NH for 20, Arthur Game Library for 6, Esper Magic for 69, nice. T Man 64 for 72, Guy even Online for 54, Chris M543 for 37, Ty Cyan for 45, Pit Viper 27 for 97, Mr. Chrissy for 68, Nakuniyame for 59, Saburai gets a sub to Entaro Adun. Dan the Warrior 101 for 25, Trafalgar Law 34 for 31, ADP for 11, Transgwender for 27. <laughs> electrocuting yourself, huh, John? I know you said you got to recharge, but I didn't mean it like that. I mean, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you just got to electrocute yourself and recharge yourself. Mere Artist for 62 and Naremea Amaria for 98. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... That's the wrong Dropbox folder. That's for something else. Disc only episode 40 is Jeopardy categories from Green Day Rock. Uh, no, what are you doing? What's this preview bullshit? There we go. Dropbox changes its setup again, apparently. Does this at least look right? Yeah, that looks, that looks right. Here are the categories. That John is little. Put the humor in me. Controlled by crowd. Northern soda. Himboza. <laughs> Banging <a> Pepto. <laughs> I don't know if I'm sad or happy you didn't use the the put the music in me where I was using the girl voice. I'm, I can't tell if I'm sad or not about that. Derek DDH with I don't remember typing of the dead's final boss being like this. This is the final battle. Show yourself. Our new both? ruler, yeah, the Emperor. Both. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. There was no way. There was no way tonight there was not going to be a Cerveza Crystal. I knew it. Thank you, Derek. And Gokai Orange with Duke's new favorite drink. Gee, I wonder what this could also be. Let's go get a cold one on me. 
Cerveza Cristal Cerveza Cristal Yeah Okay, okay, I might need this one. <laughs> if you don't know what that meme is, um, it got posted on Twitter. What was it? It was a couple days ago. It's it's fairly recent. Uh, the 2003 airing of the original Star Wars trilogy, episode four, five, and six, in Chile specifically interjected ads into the movies, so there was no actual ad breaks. And the Cerveza Cristal one specifically happens during, like, uh, Uncle Ben, or sorry, no, uh, Obi-Wan talking about Anakin to Luke. And a bunch, oh yeah, you know, here's the fucking clip. I can't show the clip, it's goddamn Star Wars. But, like, it straight up is, like, it's, it's the movie, and then, like, Obi-Wan goes over here to go, like, get the lightsaber. And then it turns out it's the fucking... It's the fucking ad. So they worked it into the, the movie as much as they can. And I watched on Colbert last night. Apparently they did it in a bunch of the other movies too. Like they did it near the end of, uh, of Return of the Jedi. Like the Emperor literally like summons one towards it. It's fucking funny as shit, man. It's so dumb. Bullshit. There's at least four I've seen. I've only seen three, because Colbert showed, um, that one. Showed the, the Emperor on the chair. Uh, what was the one from Empire Strikes Back? Or was that the par is that the one they edited in themselves? I forget. There's a couple. Oh, yeah, the imported the drink, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, the, the clip's up on YouTube. It's, uh, it's the monologue from last night. All right. Uh, that was the last egg in the carton, right? Yes. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, I'll grab some Cocoms. Oh, right, Dreamwatch. Oof. Dreamwatch and, uh, and some more wheel. See you guys in a bit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to do, spin the wheel first, just in case we have to download this one. So let's spin the wheel first before we go to break. Just in case it's something we need to download. I don't have to download it. I think it's actually sitting on the desk. We played this recent-ish. All right. Back in a bit with Monster Hunter Stories 2 for 20 minutes. Become electron gen now? Not yet. Give it time.
He says that you aren't... What? Who says that you aren't electron gen already? Um... Genetics? <laughs> oh. And spelling! I guess that would also be one, too, yeah. <laughs> Reality? Gen doesn't have an O in it. It's very silent, clearly. That, or you're really, really good at hiding the fact that you're Electron Gen. I deserve a goddamn medal if I could hide that fact. <sighs> bum 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 ba dum bum bum. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, fellow hot men, hot women, hot people? Burning? Well done. Remember, stay flaming. Alright. Back from Adbrick, are, you are, you cold, are you a cold person now? Me? No, oh, I was reading chat. Oh. Are you also a cold person, or are you a hot person? I, I just put on my hoodie, my other hoodie that I had here conveniently, that's not the completely wool one, so now I am a bit warmer. Ah, nice. John, have you seen that Waluigi Taco shirt from the Yeti? I have. It is very tempting. I have not looked at the other shirts yet. From, was it, is like, is the Flame Fatales running right now? What is running right now? Frost Fatales. Okay, I'm burning, Xenoblade. I'm gonna burn my notes. Oh no. There's a Xenoblade 3 shirt and there's a Waluigi shirt. That Waluigi shirt's really fucking strong though. If you haven't seen, look at this fucking shirt design if you have not seen this. Look at how fucking oh. powerful this shirt is. <laughs> that is goddamn powerful. That is so tempting to buy, just just so you know. I'm I may end up buying this. This one's still available for a couple days. So much money. Oh, yeah, how long is this one available for? Frost Fatales. Available March 3rd to 10th, so I got a couple more days. Alright. The other shirt they have is a Xenoblade 3 shirt. And, uh, I have not played that, or two, so I'm just, I'm not gonna buy it, but it looks really fucking cool. Just get Luca the M. Bison horse print to smooth it over? Oh, she's not, she doesn't want that. <laughs> she absolutely does not want that. Didn't she say that she was interested in it at one point? Just because it had the horse, and then she, cause she wanted it because it was so ridiculous. She's like, but you have to keep it down in the office. That cannot be in the rest of the house. I don't know, that sounds like an absolute win to me. Alright, so for those who want that shirt, I just slapped the link there, it's theyeti.com. Any updates on the hoodies and whatnot? Shirts are shipping. If you only ordered the shirt, uh, the Deathwater shirt, you should be getting those. I've actually already seen pictures of some people wearing their Deathwater shirt. Um, the hoodies are still in production. And I don't know what's going on with the pins or the mouse pads. I have not heard anything about either since, but I know they are also in production. The hoodies apparently have the longest production uh, stretch of time. It was supposed to be at least eight weeks. But uh, that order also went in two months ago. So I think we're, we're pretty close to it being done printing and should be on its way back. 
website you can have the bison poster if you get rid of the Mega Man Terminator poster. Oh, I'm never getting rid of that fucking poster. There's no way in hell. I love that shit. Yeah, I don't know. I assume you can see it if I lean back. Yeah, that shit right there? Like, fucking Mega, Mega Man as the Terminator? I ain't getting rid of that shit. Mm -hmm. That's fucking amazing. You know who did that? The artist of Dr. McNinja. I ain't getting rid of that shit. Bum, bum. You would download lasagna. There we go. Perfect. You would download a lasagna. I've done it. I've customized you know, my shirt. I was I was disappointed when you showed that shirt because I w thought it was going to be you wouldn't download a t-shirt. No, it's just way funny that you just say you wouldn't download lasagna. How many it's Garfield a good shirt. I just got, I just gave myself expectations of a stupider joke. That's fair. That's fair. That's Dr. McNinja? Yeah, no, I got that from the, the artist of Dr. McNinja's booth. He had those prints. I'm pretty sure he signed it too, but it's the artist of Dr. McNinja. You wouldn't download a streamer, would you? Well... You would download a Zanya, but would you download a Cerveza Cristal? Oh, I totally would, if I drank. Cerveza Cristal. Cerveza Cristal. All right. Let's do alerts. Crazy DK says, hey, John, continuing that weird tradition of donating on one's birthday. Got a new chair, ate at a restaurant, not the stab house. Got a messed up sleep schedule for the week and got to watch this going on time. Thank you for years of fun and more to come. Happy birthday, Crazy DK. I think that was yesterday, though, because I think that was during disc only. I uh, hope it was a good one. Sounds like it was. Gold Lightning says, pick up Berserk Boy. Good news. Already got it. Actually got an early code. You're actually pronouncing cerveza accurately. You're learning Spanish. Here's the thing. I've heard the cerveza cristal pronunciation so many times from that clip. Pretty easy to pick up on. Oh man, almost every other alert was just, just has no message on it. Flameburger says, Hi John, can you give a bit of advice? I recently graduated going college going full overachiever mode. I have an amazing resume, but being LGBT, I want to live near Boston instead of my red home state, but nobody will hire me out of state with no experience. What do I do? Ooh, that's a tough one. Ooh. I would, like, if you really want to be in the Massachusetts area, you've got to try applying. Like, you have to try the applications, no matter what. But if you're bumping into places that won't hire you at all without experience, you might have to bite the bullet, unfortunately. Like, do you know, I assume because you want to go to the area, you know people in the area. Can you ask them, like, for, like, if they know anyone's hiring, if you can get a leg in anywhere? That's the problem, is because it's just, you're in a weird, tough situation where, like, yeah, you're right, you need experience, but you can't be in the area to get experience, so, uh, I wish I had a good answer for you. The only thing I can think of is maybe agree to a job in your area, as much as you hate it, and then keep looking to see if you can get out of there. Like, some experience is better than none, and unfortunately you may have to suffer for a bit to get what you truly want. But that is life sometimes, unfortunately. I'm sorry I don't have a better answer for you, Flame. <laughs> like, keep trying your best to see if you can land in the Boston area, but if you can't, you may have to just take a couple years of having to deal with shit before you can deal with the stuff you actually want. Clockwork Pretzel says, Hoping to get Leroy Jenkins to hype you up to kick some ass. We did get at least one of those. I just, it was during StarCraft, I'm pretty sure. Leroy oh, well. Jenkins. Oh, 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 my dude says, game over, yeah! Use this money for cart kids on Steam. Cart kids, what is this? A chaotic racing game in which up to 60 tiny carts race each other in the hood. Interesting. Looks kind of neat. Looks frustrating, though. Well, it does say in the hood. It says in the hood. Alrighty. A chaotic racing game in which up to 60 tiny carts race each other in the hood. That is exactly what the game's description says. 
Hi, I Smiter. Thank you so much for the raid. Upon murder of the one man raid, Robert Cop turned himself into the authorities. He's currently serving a life sentence inside John's computer. Thank you for the raid, I Ice Murder. Man, those raiders really need to get better aim. Yeah, they take so long to aim their gun. You think they would have shot me by now? I think that their aim is fine. It's just that they just, you know, it's it's a lot of prep work. They're, they're, they're just being the dramatic. I think is what it actually is. Also, ah, yes, how many life sentences is Robert Cop like on now? So many at this point. He has murdered a lot of people. Do you know how many lives robots have? How many has he? Here's my next question. How many has he served when Ryu has killed him with swords, with kindness mm. and swords? Mm. Now, see, this gets into the Doctor Who theory of regeneration, right? Because every time a Robert Cop is killed, another one takes his place, right? I mean, that's just like, clones, essentially, at that point. Just mass-produced clones. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Also, hi, Chad. I forgot to eat dinner. Oh, my. Go eat dinner, dude! <laughs> I'm doing it on the side, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Grease Lightning says, I had the most awful thought. The scene of Obi-Wan and Anakin fighting in the volcano, but instead of lightsabers, it's Obi-Wan knocking Anakin unconscious with a beer bottle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Whack. All right. And with that, folks, it's time for Dream Watch. I had another bad thought. Qui-Gon is uh, doing the bet with, uh, oh, what's his name? doing the bet for to get Anakin and when they pull the th when they uh pull it out it is it is the beer bottle instead of the dice oh my god I'm imagining now the scene from episode 7 where they're Bato. all looking at the sky and like they look in the sky right it's a set of SI <laughs> oh my god there's gonna be eventually a Cerveza cut someone's gonna do it have you seen the Dune edit someone did I have not seen the Dune edit no Okay, I'll find it for you while you're doing this. All right, cool. All right, two dreams, both fairly long, uh, and some shit happens in them, which is interesting, especially Ooh. this first one. March 4th to 5th. I'm in London on some sort of trip. I'm here with a friend who somehow got an appointment to see the Queen. I'm down at an arcade in our hotel playing some games and losing track of time when someone taps me on the shoulder. It's Claire. Hey, don't forget we're supposed to be meeting the Queen soon. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mutter as I keep playing the game. This pisses her off. Dante, come on, take this seriously. This means a lot to your friend. I get killed in the game and look at her confused. Dante? I look at myself and sure enough, I'm dressed as Dante from Devil May Cry 1. Claire sighs. You've really got to start paying attention to what form you're in. Regardless, we're meeting up soon. Are you ready? I nod my head, then pause and panic. Oh shit, I forgot to take my meds today. Dude, seriously, come on. I'll just run upstairs and take them now. It's not a big deal. Good luck getting an elevator. You've got five minutes before we have to leave. She walks off as I get up from the machine and run towards the elevator. I get why Claire warned me about the elevators now, because there's a lineup for them about 70 people long. I consider the stairs, but our floor is pretty high up, one of the suites. Eventually I notice a staff member is going in and out of a service tunnel. The staff elevators! I run for the doorway once there's no nearby staff and enter into a long and winding hallway. It's a maze and I find myself running around for a while trying to find the staff elevator, but eventually I do. Taking it up to my floor, I somehow navigate the way out quickly and make it to my room. I hear music playing inside, so I prep myself to apologize to my friend. Hey, I start as I open the door. Sorry I'm late. I trail off as I realize no one's actually in the room. They left the radio on before heading out, and they left a note next to it. It's the address for where to go for dinner and to meet the queen, alongside a large frowny face. Yup, they're pissed. I go to my room, take my meds, get cleaned up, and start to head out when I realize it's going to take forever to get an elevator, and I can't chance the staff elevator again. The only other way is jumping down from the room outside. I grab a grappling hook I packed and rappel down the outside of the building as quickly as possible, taking large leaps and running downwards when I can. On the ground, I pull out my phone to enter the address for the restaurant and start running. I fire off the grappling hook to skip some busy pathways and traffic and make it to the restaurant in record time. Just before walking in, though, everything starts glowing red and black. The ground starts shaking and demons start appearing on the streets and inside the restaurant. People start running outside screaming. Well, guess I know why I'm Dante now. I pull out Rebellion, Ebony, and Ivory and rush into the building, taking out demons and helping people escape. 
The restaurant's a skyscraper, so I need to take an elevator or climb a lot of stairs to find where everyone is. I enter a large grand staircase room and start running to take out some demons when two blaster shots ring out and take them out first. I stop and look up the stairs and I see... myself? John walks down the stairs towards me. You couldn't even be on time to meet the queen? Dude, even I was on time. Do you know how hard that is to pull off? I'm stunned. How is he here? And why? Eventually I ask him how and where Claire and the others are. Uh, Claire's upstairs guarding the queen and our friend. They're so pissed at you, dude. How are you both here, though? I'm usually one or the other. Look, you're not yourself right now and you're not her. We don't just go away when you're not us. Dream logic, huh? Well, I guess that explains why the queen's alive. John looks a little smug as he finishes going down the stairs and stands face to face with me. Not quite lucid, but you're aware at least. Look, dream aside, we should at least make sure everyone's okay, right? Let's go up. I start walking towards the stairs, but John stretches his arm out in front of me, making me stop. They'll be fine. Claire's there. He starts to grin, though. However, haven't you ever wanted a chance to beat the shit out of yourself? I pause and slowly start reaching for rebellion. You have done a lot of shit that's pissed me off. He starts to laugh and steps back a bit. Same goes for you. None of us are without blame here. You know, I liked you a lot more when you used to be nice to me. I take a combat stance. Talk to me again when you're Claire and maybe I will be again. He transforms into Valkyrie form and pulls out her sword and shield. I thought you said Claire was upstairs. I quip at them. <laughs> she fucking is! She yells as she bursts towards me in flight, swinging her sword. I clash with Rebellion as a boss fight breaks out. We exchange sword slashes and gunfire as she flies around and I dodge and jump at her. We trade a few hits, but the dream ends before the fight resolves. That was a fun one. So you were at so you were at the Gaylord, considering it was at elevators with seventy people line up. <laughs> In London, though. Yeah. So, is this the part where I point out that Rebellion wasn't until Devil May Cry two? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you, can, you can use a Devil May Cry one outfit in Devil May Cry three. True. Plus, if I said Alistair, people would be like, well, "That's not his sword." <laughs> that is a sword you can get. I think at least I think it was a sword. John, you have problem. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> New Dream yeah, Girl, Dante like from Devil May Cry. Hell yeah. See, I've heard of your dream demons. This is just your dream devil hunter. There you go. Look, someone has to hunt the demons. Yeah. All right. The next dream. Uh, last night slash this morning, March 5th to 6th. The damn elevator again. I'm in full <laughs> Valkyrie gear, just waiting. Elevator music is playing. It's the pause menu from Mario Strikers Charged. I'm tapping my foot and sighing. Suddenly, I wake up at a school desk. I'm surrounded by teenagers I don't recognize, and the teacher is yelling at me for falling asleep. The name she's calling me isn't any I've used, so I look like in a pocket mirror, and I see, him a, I see a teenager who vaguely looks like a Ben 10 character, Kevin Levin. But I don't know anything about him. Class ends, and I walk around, listening to teachers talk about how special and magical the area they live in is. They almost seem to mean it literally. Uh, I get a text that my ride is here and to go to a friend's house, so I head outside and hop in a car. The driver is John. He seems surprisingly quiet this time around. A little bitter. Makes me wonder who won that fight last dream. He makes small talk eventually, telling me that this new area will be good for me and that I'll have lots of adventures here. He's playing the dream role. I sigh and mumble something about not being myself again, and he just smirks and says, You could do with being someone else for a while. Just don't get in any fights, okay? Not sure how many hits you can take as a teenager. I flip him off and he laughs as we arrive. We're at a decent sized house with another building in their backyard. It looks almost like a library of sorts. John takes off and I start walking towards the library, then there's a glitch in the dream and it skips forward. I go from walking to running, I'm inside the library and I'm being chased by robots. I'm throwing books and shelves and anything else I can find at them, but the robots disintegrate anything in front of them. Books seem to slow them down a bit more as they seem to absorb the data of the book first, but I am very much still being chased. Eventually, is this I see the Robobot armor? What? Is this the Robobot armor? It's just robots. There's, I'm being chased by robots. Uh, eventually, I see an exit door and make it outside, uh, barring the door with my body. Someone to my side starts clapping at my survival. It's some businessman. I began shouting at them about how dangerous those robots are, and then he says, That's the point! Another teen next to him talks about how this is a bad use of robots and they're capable of more than just destroying. The businessman laughs him off and talks about how destruction is how they made the money to build these robots in the first place. 
I get mad and start shouting about how dangerous robots are in general, and an adult grabs me and asks me to calm down. It seems to be the other kid's dad. You've had a traumatic experience. Let's get you inside the house and calm down. The businessman laughs and goes back to watching the robots destroy stuff inside the library. I get dragged into the house and the dad finally lets go. The other kid speaks up, furious with me. Dude, why did you go in there? I thought it was a meetup point. I didn't know it was a robot testing arena. Why do you even have that? We build robots. You know that. Then why build evil robots like those? The kid looks hurt by that question, like he's asked the same thing before. His dad speaks up instead. Because otherwise, we couldn't keep the family intact, he says. This, he says this while petting the three dogs surrounding us. Your dogs are transforming robots, right? Why not have them stop all this nonsense? Because, the kid speaks up again. You hurt their feelings talking about how all robots are dangerous. They don't want to show their real selves around you. I'm taken aback, realizing what I said. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I start petting one of the dogs, who whimpers slightly but seems to understand. I, I think I need to lie down. I move away from the door where all the arguing happens and lie down on the living room floor. One of the dogs comes up and flops against me as I pass out from the stress. The damn elevator again! I'm sitting on the floor, still fully armored, elevator music still playing. I start talking. Why am I stuck in here instead of helping out? Let me out of this damn elevator! I look around. Claire seems to have been scratching little graffiti messages in the wall of the elevator. Geez, she's been here for a while. I start trying to read the messages, but seem to get jolted awake instead. I'm surrounded by dogs. All three wrap themselves around me to keep me warm and cuddle. Guess they understood why I said what I said. Uh, the dad pokes. The dad was who poked me awake. It's morning time. I must have been out for a while. I'm heading to work. You don't have school today, so take today easy, all right? I nod and he heads out the door. I get up and decide to take a shower. I set my phone to play music and turn on the shower. The shower head sprays water directly on my phone somehow. I panic, move the phone, and fix the shower head. Looks like some of the nozzle parts got dirty and changed the spray angle. I let the phone dry off and get in the shower and immediately get blasted in the face with high pressure water. Jesus, were they pressure washing the robots in here? I eventually manage to lower the water pressure and take a normal shower. I get out, look in the mirror, and see myself, not the character I've been in the dream, in the mirror. Confused, I wipe the mirror with my hand, and the image changes back to who I am in the dream. I just stare at the mirror for a while, and the dream ends there. So, we can blame Green for making you play. It's, it's gotta be. I'm just like, I don't know anything about Ben 10. I've never seen a full episode. Who, why would I even know? I, the only thing I know is that fucking clip of, like, Kevin Levin. <laughs> When you gotta treat a car like you treat a woman. Go on. No. I sense I've made a mistake of some kind. I'm I'm confused about multiple things. One, I've interacted with John and Claire separately in both these dreams. And two, uh the elevator again! It's the same elevator I had like two dreams of like a couple days ago. And both times I was Claire in the in the elevator, so I don't know what's going on with Claire and elevators. But yeah, that's where that's where Dreamwatch is at currently. I'm in the not being myself in my dreams anymore arc. All right. Do 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 do. It's a sign to play elevator action. That sounds right. But we're actually going to be playing Monster Hunter Stories 2 right now. No, oh, it's a sign to watch Ben 10 while you're playing Devil May Cry. <laughs> Turn the code off because we're not going to be using that for now. Let's make sure that actually becomes flashing light one again. Oh, yeah, it's taking a while to load. Do you tell Luca your dreams? Reese doesn't usually like hearing my dreams that much, so. Interesting. But okay. I think that's mainly because people were telling her the dreams in her streams, and that's kind of no bueno. Like, don't fucking do that. Yeah, no, don't do that. Remember, Plus, that's something, like, actually relevant that, one, the streamer brings up first. Mm-hmm. Your dream officially featured Dante from the Devil May Cry series. That is correct. It, it actually did. Oh, you got the DLC. Nice. Nice. It was a DLC originally. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it? Was a... Isn't it free in the new one still? It's just like a patch, isn't it? 
for Dante? No. So it's like based off a, a later version that was uh, that added Dante, but the original version was Rido, who was a uh, I should make up a Tensei character. It is paid. Okay. Yep. Now you just need Knuckles and Funky. Oh God. So uh, this game, let's see. I see on my list here. Plus Bowser's Sorry. Fury. Guy in a sofa. Kaneko, Storm, Ten Chancho, Ch Ten Chunko. I'm sorry, I butchered that. Ah, oh, that's who suggested this one. I was gonna say a lot of people sound like they they did that. At least three compared to like the like what eleven from Mario Kart Eight earlier. <laughs> Dante was first. Rido was a later edition, apparently. I was. Oh, was Rido? Oh, you know what? No, you're right. Actually, Rido was a later one. My mistake. Well, it wasn't me. It was Way Wayward. Uh, right, Ryu. Right, Ryu. You know what's the wild thing too? The only reason why Dante was in that game hey, was because uh, like the designer, I think, helped. Oop, pretty dialogue. wild, right? I was worried you might get lost or something. I'm super glad to see you all in one piece. Huh? Yeah, yo, easy? yeah, yo. You look completely unfazed. Guess there's no denying you're Red's grandkid. Game's changed. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you even brought back an egg. Splendid work. Oh, wow. You're right. Huh. Are you sure you were Dante and not Jante? Yes, I'm very sure I was Dante and not Jante specifically. Thanks to your teaching or because no glasses, anything like that. Huh, who cares? The newbie did a great job, and that's what counts. What do you think, Kana? They're ready for the next one, wouldn't you say? Really? Isn't it a little too soon for the rookie to handle alone? Hmm. You should go with them too, just in case. Why so serious, guys? Whatever it is, we can handle it. We've had reports of some recent turf wars in the Pona grasslands. Turf, turf wars? wars? What's that? Splatoon. It's when monsters fight splat, over splat, territory. Splat. We've even found badly injured monsters in the grasslands. We can't just let them tear each other apart. It'll be bad news for the island's ecosystem if we do. Let's get moving. I'll meet you at the edge of the village. Or when you Dan Dante, the fusion of Dante and Shante. No, I was I was definitely not that either. Does this mean we can officially add Dante to the list of alt Johns? I don't think whoever turned to <laughs> a dream counts as alts. I mean, you in a way have a Dante alt John because yeah. you did like dress yourself up as Dante. Yeah, we have Dante. Videos. We have Jante and Jante. Yeah, those yeah. two of which are very different. One is Dante from Demon Cry, and the other is Shante. Yeah. Let's go back a little bit earlier. Now it was we actually... need Jante, but now we also need Jante, which is John combined with Shante and Dante together. Yeah. Am I not actually hatching that egg I delivered? Um, but yeah, for uh, SMT3 and Delvin Cry stuff, basically, Cosma Conico, who was known as a designer for a lot of the SMTs, did Dante and Virgil's double trigger forms to Devil May Cry 3. In exchange, they used DMC2 Dante for uh, Nocturne. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Mom, I want Thank Dante. You. We have Dante at home. Froton John is Dante. Yeah. Upgrade my sword. We have Dante at home. Just th all three, uh, cop all three volumes of the Divine Comedy. So Dante, Dante, and Dante walk into a bar. Oh God, I hate this. <laughs> Hammer, hunting horn, iron sword, sword. Five space sword. Iron hammer. Bone hammer. Bone Chris. Bone cleaver. Kulu arrow. Bone Chris. I barely know her. Surprised that wasn't the dream you got impaled. We don't know how that fight ended. I I actually was kind of surprised too, if I'm being honest. How was what? the one where I was Dante, not the one I was impaled on? It, it, it's the rare non-impaled Dante. I was shot a bit. That was about it. And I got cut up a little bit, but, like, I didn't actually get impaled. 
And like I said, the fact that the next dream, John seemed a little pissed at me. I'm just like, did I win that fight when it ended? With the dream in it? I can't tell. I like the idea that because you were Kevin Levin instead, that Kevin decided to show up and beat up both Dante and Valkyrie John. <laughs> I've since I've made a mistake of some kind. Nah, that was not a mistake, Kevin. How am I? Oh, that's just making it. Okay, so that's not. Look. Oh my God! Look at that armor. Yo, look at that purple snazzy as hell armor. Hell yeah. It's like Junpei's fucking tuxedo. Mm -hmm. I want the tuxedo armor. Can I do it? I can. Hell yeah. I was actually going through last night seeing like a lot of the changes between like Persona 3 Portable and Reload. There's a lot actually. It's very interesting how much like was added or taken out or like repurposed. It's really cool actually. Yeah, they removed Kashiwagi. <clears throat> Among other things, yeah. Though it's also interesting because Reload's based around a lot of portable stuff, which I find very interesting. Oh yeah, of course, no spoilers. Just like, just interesting like bits I saw here and there. Oh no, it's the unknown. Oh no. Uh... Uh... And now we're going to get uh, episode, I guess, the answer. It includes both names. <laughs> oh, I needed six. Ah, damn it. Oh, Let's go ahead and that Kansas. today. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I thought, that, I thought I equipped it. Why am I still wearing the other one? There's Art of Nightmare from Kirby as the Unknown. That's hilarious. I have seen that, yeah. Still waiting for FEMC. I don't think FEMC is happening. Sorry. They wouldn't have nah, been released. I, I, they, would, they would have put that into the DLC wave announcement if they were doing FEMC. I don't think they're doing because why would they re-release Portable if they were just going to like update it anyways with like the FEMC? People will play Portable for FEMC. Not to mention as well. Separate game, yeah. yeah. Exactly. It'd be, it would need to be a separate game because there's a lot of different like social links and dialogue and like cutscene stuff. Yeah. Meanwhile, the answer is an epilogue. Mm -hmm. A lot easier to put into a uh, DLC pass. Correct. I had a feeling we were going to get it as DLC based off oh, like same. Just, you know modern game design stuff. John, there's apparently a horror movie being made about the unknown. I saw that. No, I think no, it's fucking not. hilarious. No, it's not. Actually, that's fake. Oh, uh, they're not making a movie? Yeah. It is fake? Good. Yeah, that, that's fake. Good. That means that the joke can still exist. You don't have to worry about Morbius yet. It's like, a, it's like an image I saw recently where it's like uh, people liking meme and then just in the middle, it's just like brands and then it just gets overtaken by like more brands and then like people just leave the memes behind. <laughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. <clears throat> I'm gonna toss save. this cowboy to the garbage. <laughs> should save because I don't know if we're gonna make it back in ten minutes, but I don't want to lose ten this amazing minutes. suit I have. That's ten minutes, which is seven plus three. You are correct. <clears throat> Did someone say morphin time? Not until just now. Seven minutes is what you will hear on Friday when John plays more in Resident Evil 5 with Camille. That's Look true. Look forward we'll to it. We'll be finishing up Resident Evil 5 Friday afternoon. Scheduled for the week for those what? who haven't heard it. Ooh. Friday afternoon, Resident Evil 5 stream with Camille. Saturday, fortune cookie. Monday, game clearing. Shit, I got Lightning invited like on Tuesday. What the hell was the Tuesday thing? I don't think that's officially confirmed yet, so I'll, I'll hold off on that. But there might be something Tuesday. And then Wednesday next week, who knows what that'll be. Video game. It'll be some sort of video game. Oh, yeah. And then Reese will be <laughs> heading out on her trip then, so... I'm debating if I'm going to go completely ham on streaming while she's gone, or if I'm actually going to, like, take a week off and just recoup while she's gone. Hmm. I don't know. Debating which to do. That's your call. Right. Let's go check out where these turf wars have been happening. Sounds good, but what are we going to be checking out? Well, obviously we're going to find some monster tracks. I will not be doing gardening. No, Monsters it's still there's still snow on the ground. Go. You can we shovel can it. Follow those to wherever the monsters are now. Well, okay. But how are we supposed to follow a trail in such a huge area? No worries. I've got us covered. With our legs. 
A lantern. Yeah. Scout flies. Once we find the tracks, these little fellas will do the rest. For real? And anyone can use these flashy things? Even my buddy over here? Of course. They're a vital part of any rider's toolkit. Here, take some. Whoa! Whoa! They love my butterfly suit. Whoa! I'll show you what to do once we find some tracks. <laughs> Let us go, watermelon head. I love watching your YouTube uploads of game clearing. How often do you do game clearing? Like, how did you decide when to start that? Such as when you did Spyro or Conquer. Um, we do game clearing on Mondays. So that's what Monday streams usually are. Uh, and I started game clearing in... What? We officially started calling it game clearing in 2017. But I think we technically started in 2016. Mm-hmm. I know that was around when I started watching you regularly, because, uh... I, I don't remember what the actual stream was, so I'd go with the closest one that I definitely remember. It was the, uh, <laughs> the Muppets, the Spy Muppets one. <laughs> I still remember the first stream I saw. It was on YouTube. I, I saw John upload a video. Hey, I'm streaming on Twitch. I go, I see Blue Dragon on a cookie night. I'm like, hell yeah. Oh god, that's one of the first streams I did. Yeah, man, I've been here for a while. <laughs> Thank goodness I stopped at Subway in, o in order to get this sandwich. Yeah, by the way, Blue Dragon, sick as fuck, uh, RPG on the Xbox. Super underrated. I never played it. I only ever watched the TV show. And even then, I was just like, maybe saw five episodes total. The show and the game are very different, I would say. I figure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 360 specifically, but it is uh, compatible on the series X and S. I forget, when did you start focusing on streaming rather than YouTube? 2013. It's a weird way to say Lost Odyssey. I'd like to play Lost Odyssey at some point. Heard good things about it. <laughs> I remember people calling it the real Final Fantasy 13 back in the day. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck up every mo- Oh, I can't do that one. I almost fucked up every monster I saw. Fuck him up. Just leading me. Oh, to the lair. Okay. Maybe not to the lair? Yep, rare oh, cool, monster, Dan. Cool. Let's go. Ooh. Started watching Rayleigh on YouTube around Dead Space 2. See this like monster collecting game here? I actually found a physical copy of Dragon Quest Monsters of the Dark Prince recently. And I've been playing that and like, man, that game's great, dude. I, I miss a Dragon Quest Monsters game. Last I played was on the DS and it's just such a charming game series, man. I really enjoy it. Dragon Quest Monsters is pretty fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Going on a quest for some dragons. It's how monsters out cold. Let's try not to wake it. It needs its beauty sleep. All right, you say try not to wake it, but like, what do we do to not do that? <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, sweet. A whole rib cage. Just slap it in my pocket, man. That's what you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, 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 it's like on the old Mortal Kombat. You can just uppercut a guy three times and three different skulls will come out. Yeah, exactly. You gotta keep those. They were just full of skulls. Yeah. All right, we got a couple eggs. Let's see what we get. I have to get off this guy for this right. Yes. Give me a sniff. Doesn't really smell like much, and it's light, too. Just the egg you want. Nope. Give me a sniff. Doesn't really smell like much, and it's light, too. It's not so great for too long. I think it's the last check I can do. Ooh. Give me a sniff. This reeks, and it's light, too. Oh, oh no, the oh. eggs, they're all gone. Well, let's leave. Oh, no. The eggs are all gone. Oh, no. Dude, that mother's gonna be pissed when she wakes up. And may she stay asleep that entire time. Hmm? <laughs> Humble bird wyvern egg. 
You know what? I don't think we actually have enough time to do a proper mission. Maybe we should just go hatch that egg. Let's do it. We're hatching eggs. We're hatching eggs. Going We're on hatching action. lots of eggs tonight. Now break it down. Remember where I hatch the eggs. I'm sure we could try like all these houses. One of them's got to be the egg hatching place. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? The prayer pot. Prayer pot bestows various blessings when you pray to it. Offer a charm and retain the effects. So keep the effects for a certain time. Keep making offerings. Level the prayer pot for better blessings. Experience gained in battles increased by one percent. Use an amiibo. It's the stables? Which one's the stable? This looks like a stable to me. Why not hatch one? Let's hatch an egg. Smell. Amazing smell. Yaku. Well, he's got some abilities I don't think our other one had. Non element defense boost, critical all out, stone shield. Shiny bird up, but we already got bird up anyway, so let me do, do shiny bird. And I'm going to see what this one is. It's probably the exact same thing. Ooh, Velocidrome. I'm going to name him Chompy. Why did it not delete Velocidrome? Why would it think I would want to leave that in there? Well, I apparently have learned that my memory is fake. What? Yeah, so I rem remember how I always said just like the thing, the thing that started getting me to watch your streams was uh, Rosie's picture of Lara Croft with the light up boobs. Yeah. Yeah, apparently uh, it can't be that one because that picture was posted after the Spy Muppets one, and I definitely saw that live. Interesting. So I'm like, all right, I don't know what, I don't know what, what got me to watch your streams. Never know. Yep. I was assuming Memory it was just the funny. fact that MC had you be a mod here. In 2017. Hmm. Yeah. You know, years after Spy Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still convinced that MC just like asked me because he's just like Montaro's gonna be watching this anyway. Let's see if I can get work out of him. Mm. Oh. All right. Well, we only got 30 seconds left to the game, so we'll tap out here then. And let's go to the wheel. Alrighty. Yeah, Showtime has a demo right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a demo that can be like transferred Boss. whenever you get the game, though. No idea. Speen. Contra! Oh Contra. boy! Wow, the original. 20 
minutes. I don't think we can beat it in 20 minutes. We can try. Um, I see one submission for the first contra, and that was UK Cats 0066. All right, Arc Dargo, here's your Wisdom of Duke Nukem. So fucking confused, dude. I'm glad that that got made into a variant. Mm hmm. I'm glad Draco found a way for it to work because he was just like, I want to do this, but I don't know how we're going to pull this off. And then, sure enough, he found a way to pull it off. Oh, right, I'm just loading up the Contra collection. It's just easier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, which Contra do I want? Do I want Contra, Contra, or Probotector? Ooh. Decisions, decisions. You can want Contra? Hmm. I wonder, will this actually fit in the other screen? World record is 9 minutes 47 seconds, apparently. Well, that I don't think we're gonna pull off right. 9 minutes and 47 seconds, but we can try. What, you mean, you don't expect to get a world record it, with uh, zero practice? Yeah, weird how that works, huh? <laughs> On a pretty optimized game like Contra. I like this game. I'm not very good at it, though, I'll say. So I know nothing about Contra. I thought you just died right there. <laughs> just like thinking, yeah, it's an NES game. You fall into the water, you usually die. Ooh, let's see that spread. I'm only gonna get the spread before it disappears. I'm afraid if they disappear in this one. Is anyone good at Contra? Uh, I imagine the person who got it in uh, 9 minutes 47 seconds. Also that. Imagine also them. Tim is very good at Contra. Like, this mm -hmm. is one of his specialties. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna say Contra is like impossible, but I'm gonna say like it just requires a certain gaming mindset, really. Oh shit. Well, I should clear that. Uh, might be okay, yeah. Tim did on one life. I believe that. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that 100%. If Tim knows a game, I'm just like. <laughs> Uh, oh, he did one life? Yeah, that, sound, that sounds like Tim. Basically, if Tim knows a game, like he grew up with it, 100% bet on him to be able to do it, no problem. If he's mm -hmm. in a competition, it's probably his to win. This is my competition. No one can stop me. <laughs> to be fair, to be honest, anytime I see some sort of NES game with difficulty that kicks you in the balls, I expect Tim to be good at it. To be fair, I don't think I've ever seen Tim try Ninja Gaiden. Or, like he's 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 done Ninja Turtles one right like like those are my two specialties but I feel like he's got to have done those two right. Man, see this level here. I had this for an arcade bit challenge recently. It was just like do this section, but it was like with like the base gun. <laughs> oh, that sucks. With just base gun. Yeah, it like it was like myself and the other guy. Like we took a bit on it, and like they barely won in the end. I was like, dang, but that's just how it goes. Except Battletoads? Uh, he got good at Battletoads after that race. He got very good at Battletoads. He just didn't- he wasn't good at it at the time of the race, but he is very good at Battletoads now. Mm-hmm. I forget, was that the first time he had played it, or like, the first time he completed it? I think it was the first time he completed it. Was it a no? And I don't think he actually completed it in what was in the recording. I think he just said- I think he just went and did that after Shit. the fact. Ah, oh, dang. Bad time for that to happen. Not the spread. Is it way for making a remake of this game? Yeah, it comes out in like a week. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I forget that's like in a week, dang. Dude, there's a lot of shit coming out in like a week or so. Like Operation Galuga, which is the one we are just talking about. I'm trying to remember what else is Beach out. is not in a week. It's uh, a month, I think, right? Uh, week and a half. Two, like, week, two weeks and a half. That was like yeah. March 28th or something like that. No, it's 22nd. Uh, 
Nice, nice. Oh, nope, that's right. Also, this guy. Oops. Yeah, this is the guy that fucking killed me at the end of the challenge. I was like, damn. I just want a hula hoop. Thanks, Alvin. Alvin. Alvin! Alvin! Okay. It was one of my niece's favorite songs, so we got to hear that a lot from her. Mm hmm. Stage three, waterfall. What are my albums up to nowadays? Retired, uh, I would assume. <laughs> probably singing. <laughs> He's still singing. Time for my curly shots. What a legend. Ah, oh, goddammit. Oh, laser. How long till you absolutely hated that song? Yeah, I'm not gonna hate it. I find the song funny. It's just because you wanted a hula hoop, that's all. Yeah. I had a re or my rather, my parents had this record called Looney Tunes back in the day, and that song was on it. So I heard it all the time whenever I used to play the record player. Nice. Mm -hmm. I got the barrier at least, and I put it in like the worst spot. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's still doable, of course. See, there you go. Now we have the barrier, nothing can go wrong. Until the barrier wears off, and then everything can go wrong. <laughs> and everything goes wrong. But as... <laughs> Until then, we we're it. doing great! <laughs> and we got the spread shot again. Yay! Is that Yay. a good thing? That is a good thing. Laser does way okay. more damage, but uh, spread shot has more coverage. And still does pretty good damage. My knowledge of Contra spread is, like, the way to go. If you want pure damage output, you want laser if memory serves, but, like... Otherwise, spread's the way to go, because it just... If you want, if you don't want to learn how to, like, do something like precision... If you want to have an easy time, just fucking use spread. If you want to, like, be a fucking speedrunner, go for laser, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, even then, there's gonna be times you're gonna use spread shot anyways, because you hit multiple targets. Mm-hmm. Yo, oh, here's alien. Boy, an alien. I never remember. I never remember where I'm supposed to stand to just easily kill these arms. I love I that, like, Contra arms. Just, just has this whole thing with, like, hey, man, it looks pretty normal at first. If you be the first two stages, it's, like, uh, aliens. Because I think it's, like, Contra 3 that's, like... I think it's specifically titled The Alien Wars. Yeah. I mean, they're all against well, aliens. That's, that's just what they all are. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, alien. Goodbye. Your parents let you touch the record player? Mine never let me touch it. Hell, I'm 37. I still don't think they'd let me touch it. My parents... I was a good kid. <laughs> nah. I definitely didn't just learn how to use the record player on my own. Shit. I definitely wasn't the kind of kid who just watched people do things and learn that way. No, not me. Yeah. <laughs> no, routinely no. They, would, they would come home and I'd just be like, hey, can I play something on the record player? I want to listen to this. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, sure. As you know, John was a model child. Uh, he never got in trouble. He always listened to his parents. <laughs> that changed when I, when I went out. <laughs> 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 but no, I, I, was, I was definitely the, the youngest child, the spoiled brat. My sister never fails to lord it above me. She's like... You got I, bribed you, with a video always... game and then still... And... Hold on. No, no. They got caught anyway. Wasn't that the case? What? You got you got bribed with a video game to not uh, reveal, like, a party or something. Yeah, they and got then I, nar anyway. I narked. I was a fucking okay, narc. Okay, you did kid. narc? Okay, oh, no, I will not deny game. I was a fucking narc. Okay. See, now I think I it was both Elden mom found out because one of the neighbors said it and they, they went to me for confirmation and I said, yeah, this happened. So, unfortunately, I get why she gives me shit because I was a fucking narc as a kid. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, it's funny. We had what was it, like a couple Christmases ago. Uh, we were talking about which kid was the favorite, and my sister Jen, she's like, "Yeah, mom doesn't believe that you were the favorite." I'm like, she's like, yeah. it's just, she's, like uh, she's like, her mom was like, "Yeah, no, 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 I, I never had a favorite." Uh, and then Jennifer goes like, "Jonathan, who do you think is the favorite in the family?" And I thought it was me. I just straight up, like no pause, like yeah, I thought I was the favorite. And she's like, see? I told you! And mom just starts laughing. He's like, Jonathan, don't admit to that! And look where you are now. And look where I am now. 
playing video games and having like nightmares every day. <laughs> well, not all nightmares. <laughs> Existential crises, maybe? Oh shit. You're just gonna become a screenwriter eventually. Yeah. Like, that could be fun. To be fair, like, my, my brain's- I apparently have the creative capacity for- based on how my brain works when I'm not conscious, but... Do you know my MLA sleep paralysis God? demon wrote a script. Oh, I should've got to draw power up. Shit. Interior. John's room. I have successfully summoned the sleep demon. Enter the sleep demon is played your by George Costanza. Is name actually Jennifer? Because if so, those are borderline twin parents. Yes, my sister's name is Jennifer. I'm Jonathan. She's Jennifer. Nice. Yeah. Did you did you actually not know that? I thought that was like that's not something I've ever really hidden. No, I'm pretty sure I knew that. I'm just like you know like hyping you up. No, no, I'm just saying that I the chat. I... Someone in chat asked. Oh, okay. I think I knew it, but I also half thought that the entire electron gen thing was a joke. So. I think I half processed any time Jen was said it was never her real name. Oh no, <laughs> Jen, Jen is my sister's actual name, so yeah. No, okay. That... Oh shit. That was why Emil I was like, he's like, I want to meet Electron Jen someday, because yeah, no, she's my that's my sister, and he did meet my sister to be fair. Oh wow, my score was exactly a hundred thousand. Nice. Nice. That's a game over though. Oh shit, you're right. Oh fuck. I forgot we were using that rule set. I was about to keep playing. Uh, <laughs> I had to stop you. I had to pull you away from the machine. Thank you for reminding me, because I definitely would have kept going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just Jen is a, it's just short hands. Look how I'm Jonathan, but I always just use John. What up, Jonathan, Jonathan. The saltiest man on Earth. Hang on, Robo. Was more salt Fixed. than man. Fixed. Like, like the sea, he was full of salt. <laughs> Yeah. Thousands of yeah, years no. ago in the future. Yeah, Jen and John are just nicknames because we're, we're Jennifer and Jonathan, so yeah. Alright. What's up next, then? Scene. Spin that wheel. John Sleep Demon aspires to be like Hideo Kojima and become a big name movie creator to put Hollywood to shame. What's the age difference between you two? Mr. Gimmick, hell yeah! Who the fuck? Nice. Oh, hang on. Uh, this was Shy Dispatch's choice. Good choice, Shy. What's the age difference between you two? Uh, five years and two weeks exactly. Her birthday is two weeks before mine. Yay. All right, Mr. Gimmick it is. Uh, Boss. I don't think I have the re-release of Gimmick, so I think I actually have to bust out my cart. Shit, do I have this as a, as a repro, or do I have this as a... I have this as a repro. Hang on, I'll be right back. So how are you doing, fellow hot men, hot women, hot people? I'm doing great. Yay. How are you, Chad? Feeling spicy tonight? Me hot? Yes. Flamio, Mataru Flamio. Yeah, stay flaming. I hope that I hope that when Reckoning of Roku comes out, that is just stick that all of those terms are stated everywhere. I hope it's that's the case. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be one we're gonna get in, in July. This is a game we're gonna get a game over on very quickly. Just a heads up. <laughs> nah, dude, you got this. I've never I beaten this game. You. This is one I would like to do for game clearing, but apparently you need to do some absolute bullshit to get the best ending. Oh, really? Yeah. That's fun. You have to, if memory serves, you have to find all the hidden items in every stage, and not use a continue, I believe. Ah, oh, it's like a fighting game in that regard. Ah, sounds like fun. Mr. Sunsoft? Yay! So, a retro game. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yes, but... A, a specifically mean one, so it's a Sunsoft game. 
Once upon a time, there was a girl who had a family. It was her birthday. So she opened the and cake mom was and found a blob. Pink. She was happy. A little guy. Just a little guy. She brought the little guy to her bedroom to hang out with all her other little guy friends. And then nighttime happened. While she was asleep, Mr. Gimmick looked horrified and sat on top of a bookshelf. Bah. All the other toys were jealous, so they murdered the small child. Well Gimmick then. fell off his bookshelf because he was so shocked. And then he was sad. Everybody everybody knows that feeling when your plushie falls off your bed. So then so he opened up a warp to another dimension. <clears throat> I have decided I do not want to be in this dimension anymore. Goodbye. One definitely had a knife, yeah. A really mean retro game, so a John Core game? Is that what John Core is for video games? Hmm. Oh, right, this fucking game. Where the hell's Keon? <laughs> yeah, where's Keon or Edo? Either one of them is excited. Yeah. I've, I've played a bit of this game. It's, it's kind of fun, honestly. It is a fun game, but, but it is not easy. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of this game. It got a like re-release on the Switch somewhat recently, too. Like, within the last oh, year or so. I like to think this guy canonically sounds like Meatwad from Aqua Teen. I could see that. Uh, there we go. Ah, damn it. That was the exact bounce I needed, too. I would accept John Corbin a thing. Do we need to get the uh, high-pitched voice changer up? Wait, why do we need the voice changer? I'm making a Nightcore joke. Oh. <laughs> that would be why. This just reminds me of this video I saw recently, where it's like this concept of like, Dana Snyder, who what? played Master Shake. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, Dana That's Snyder different played... Dance. <laughs> no, Dana Snyder, who played oh, Master Dana, Shake. Oh, Dana, okay. Yeah. Dana Snyder, who played Master Shake in Aqua Teen. The idea of like, because he also plays uh, a character, he plays the ghost in the Ghost of Mario McGee. The, the concept was like him as like King Dedede, and I'm like, fuck, I kind of want this now. <laughs> oh, the, him as King Dedede is really good because it's mostly Shake quotes, and then mm -hmm. a couple of the other character one, but that one was really mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Yeah, also Gaspacho and Shouter. I think, like, Por like, I think Porky Draws did that because I do remember following the artist that posted that. Was that Porky Draws? Let's I'm pretty sure that's Porky Draws. D D D. It's the name you should know. D D D. He's the king of the show. So that's oh, yeah, that one. That's draws. one of the items we need to actually get the perfect ending. We need to find six of those items scattered around the. I just got two one ups for finding that. Wow. Yay. Nice. I'll post the video in chat so others can watch if they want. It's very good animation. I saw a bit of Ghost of Molly McGee. It's not a bad show, honestly. These items again. How do I use Jinx. items? That's how I use items. It's con it's con er, Castlevania style. Shame the uh, show got canceled. Ah, damn it! There was a power up. Ah. Uh, no. Now we got some fish. I love a good grumpy sunshine duo. Yeah. <laughs> What I recommend? What I saw of it, uh, yeah, I, I can recommend it. Oh. Second I landed on a platform, I knew my throw was gonna miss. Dang, you died like Mega Man. Oh yeah. This this small plush toy full of nitroglycerin. <laughs> Is that what Mega Man's full of? I mean, that's he's probably full of like some space age energy. He's Probably. filled with love and explosives. Yeah, full health. You, you see this bad boy? This bad boy can fit so much rubble, Enza. <laughs> I never really got down the hang of like how you're supposed to bounce off the stars and shit. Aren't most plush toys? Yes. Filled with love and explosives. Yeah. Damn it! No! Oh, 
Latex, latex and steel, zeros and ones make up my son. <laughs> ones and zeros everywhere, and I think I saw it too. Leave me alone! Stop chasing me! Go away. Alright, first boss. Oh my god, that's how he starts? Okay. <laughs> There's little guys at you? <laughs> Just throw some little guy. Oh, oh, I, do not remember, I do not remember him being this aggressive. Holy shit. Blup, 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 aggressive. Blup, blup, blup. ding a -ling. Away from me. There's a plush version of gimmick with the as part of the collector's edition for the modern version. Cool. That's cute. Will it oh, protect you from hits, all your so other? Aggressive. Will it protect you from all your other plushies? I believe that the color of the flag they're waving shows it whether or not you found the the rare item. So kind of like how uh, Donkey Kong Country does the exclamation point. Yeah. Ah, oh, some spinies. Just riding on a boat. No big deal. Heading towards a bigger boat. Getting some Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Tag plushies. Nice. Hell yeah. I think the next plushie. I, I think the next plushie I'm waiting for is the King of Dokapon. Oh yeah, I think I got another yeah. one too. Did that actually get funded? Yes, it did. Excellent. That's good. I got the dumbest thing for myself uh -huh. today because I could not fucking resist. I think I've showed this off on stream already, or at least mentioned it. Uh, so I used to play Guilty Gear all the time in University. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Did you get a Totsugeki? I did get a Totsugeki. <laughs> he ruined his story, Montaru. I, in fact, have a plush Mr. Dolphin. <laughs> nice. Mr. Dolphin. Whoa. Oh, I was not expecting that. Ah, see? W what was I saying? Old game, fall in water, immediately die. Yeah. People say Contra is hard. <laughs> Contra's got nothing Pixar on Pixar didn't have it? I mean, I'll go get the plush if you want me to. Totsugeki. Totsugeki! Just throw the dolphin at the webcam. That's I pre-ordered the main key cinema role in Mando. Experience at that point. Yeah. Hello, big boy. See? Oh, you are tough, big boy. Oh, there we go. Large friend is dead. Plush tax, yeah. <laughs> you either have to pay the cat tax or the plush tax. Does anyone remember if I have to ride that cannonball to get the next treasure? Or is it, like, up in the crow's nest? I can never remember which it is. I wish I could tell you, man. Sorry. Chat will know. Yeah. So, someone's gotta know, right? First thing I see in chat, all caps, yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. Mario, I'm riding an egg all to the ocean. Oh, fuck. I didn't get any health containers. Oh. I probably should not have skipped those, that path. I think that's how you get the health containers. Eh, you'll be fine. You do have to ride the cannonball? Okay. Oh, to reset the cycle. <laughs> yeah. Ah, fuck. Is zero a <laughs> life? Zero is a life. Yeah. If I get the Ooh, item, I can yeah, just. I'm just gonna. I'm actually gonna go in the boat because I think the health containers are in here, and I could probably use them at this point. It's so interesting how some games have like the one life, or rather the one life is your last, and some is like zero is your last. I don't know. Like, kind kind of interesting how some games differentiate between those. Yeah, it's weird that there was never a consistency with them. Yeah. Because integers are hard. Hmm. Binary is very difficult. So if the binary is difficult, we must non it. Oh, okay, that works. Well, okay, we yeah. got on. Oh, but what do I do here now? 
Oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm going to suggest not that. Game over. Here's my suggestion. Spin the wheel. Yeah. I'm like, what do I do next? Nobody said there'd be math. If you want the item, you also do have to push the can. Uh, oh, fucking interesting. Sneaky. Fucking sneaky. I was wondering why that shot seemed a little too high. All right. We had nine minutes left. Uh, That was three games. Do we want to take a break or do we want to fit a fourth one in? Because like, two of them were short. I feel like with two shorter ones, you could throw in another one, right? Yeah, let's do Let's throw in another one. Yeah, sure. One more game. One more oh, game. Till break. <laughs> Not till the stream. We end early, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for me to take a B. Cubivore, call the wild. Um. Oh goodness. So which one? Oh, There's one call of the wild in here, which was from Cyber Kirby 19. I think that's a different game from the first Cube of War. There's only one Cube of War. Oh, shit. Okay, then there's a number of people here then. Well, I guess that one specifically was called Call of the Wild, because the rest are just labeled as Cube of War. Um, okay. There's like seven names here. Blarg, Blarg. Hang on. Uh, actually, no. Oh, what's up? Wait. Hang on a second. Because that's, yeah. you're right, that's not the subtitle of the GameCube one. Hang on. Did they just write in the wrong title? Looking us up. Hang on, I'm putting, it was, what was it called? What did they put on the wheel? It was Call of the Wild. Yes. Did they get the name wrong? Uh, yeah, they got the name wrong, because I only have one keyboard. Okay. And it's called Survival of the Fittest. Okay. That answers that then. Okay. So let's see. Uh where the names out again. Okay, there was five from Flarg Blarg. One from Cyber Kirby 19, and one from Kira and I hit a Yoshi. That's, that's people gunning for some cube of war. You say one person put it in five times? Yeah. Jesus. But based off the way I wrote it down, I think it was specifically uh Cyber Kirby 19, because they wrote it differently, as <laughs> Call of the Wild, which doesn't exist. Hello, Star. How are you? Hello. Hey, Star. I heard you invaded John's dream in an interesting way. What? Because uh, Kevin Levin, because we played Park Oh, right, Park okay, yeah, no, I guess that counts. Yeah, the punch time, oh, and I then, guess, you know, dream invasion. On, turning on the GameCube or plugging it in would help. Kevin, was, Ethan, Levin. Who has summoned me? Well, Kerr and I... You are one of the people who did suggest this game. Out of, like, the uh, thousands of games on there. Oh, what's up? That's not a good sign for that power bar. Did it spark? Be... No, it, uh, it wouldn't take a plug. It was blocked. Hmm. Hey, I didn't invade it. I influenced it. That's different. Uh-huh. I mean, True, I guess it's te like, technically. It's kind of like John, right? Like, John's an influencer, right? He's not an invader. <laughs> John, if you were to invade something, what would you invade? My bed so I could go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> invade the bed? Okay. I'd probably go to, like... Hmm... There's no repercussions for my invasion. I gotta think about this. Uh, that was never discussed. That that was never clarified. You just said, where would you invade? Okay, well, you have... Okay, so you can invade anywhere you want. No repercussions. Where do you go? Grizzly Wesker, king of 19 cubivores. Why would I invade anyone? If I invade someone with no repercussions, that means that I win and I'm gonna have to start uh, start ruling it. I don't want to do that. God. Well, you, you're thinking like big time. We could think small time here, right? You can go invade like the re nearest Krispy Kreme and just like take all their donuts, right? Yeah, but then what am I gonna do with all those donuts? Eat them. <laughs> what else are you with donuts? Fucking you know how many tower? donuts are in a single Krispy Kreme? Yeah, but like you could be like, you know, the donut lord. Do you want to be the donut? I don't want to have to deal with a hedgehog. <laughs> don't worry, he's also dealt with like other animals in his car. 
I, I love that fucking what the James Marsden just keeps being in movies where he's just like driving like animals around. <laughs> I swear there's like five images of that. It's like Sonic and like I think Alvin of the Chipmunks and like Donut Boy. It, the rabbit from Hop. Yeah. I don't remember how the fuck to play this game. I've never really seen gameplay of this game before. It seems neat though. We have streamed this a bunch, but it was back when I lived in an apartment, so it was a long ass time ago. Nom 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 nom. Can James Marsden drive me around town? I'm sure if you ask nicely. It depends. Are you a chipmunk or a hedgehog? Or a rabbit? Why doesn't the big cube eat the small cubes? Is he stupid? <laughs> Why did the cube beat the square? Because seven, eight, nine. It's, isn't wordplay just so fun? Why can't I step on these squares? I do not remember. Because you are the small cube. <laughs> you, you you need to grow larger. Eat the big cube. Come back here. Where did you go? Chomp chomp! Chomp chomp! This game had a trophy in Melee as a future release. Interesting. Oh right, it did! I forgot about that, yeah! Is Cubivore a doggo? No, it's... it's a cube. We are... we are part bear, I do believe. Oh, we're a bear? Is I guess that a bear? A bear it's like a bear print on us, yeah. That's why it says grizzly, or did. Guess that would make sense, yeah. Sure, surely you mean platypus bear. No, just bear. This place is weird. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. how the line went. Need one more Wildebug. Let's eat this hippo. Mullet, pale, two limb. Chomp. Give me your limbs. Don't call me Shirley. I will call you Shirley however much I want. Give me your limbs. Remember, they chat. Mine Surrend now. Surrender your spare lim limbs to Proton John today. John, what would you do if I like brought you a prosthetic arm? Hey, you know I how much where you got it from. Get cost? <laughs> That, that might be the only thing. I'd be like, where the fuck did you get a prosthetic limb from? And it's not one of yours. It's, it's not, no. You understand my level of concern from seeing that, right? Yeah, but like, what if they like made it, right? And just like gave it to you as a gift. Wilderness has returned to the land. I can enter now. Yeehaw! Saddle up! Oh, boy. Technically, you can just 3D print them. Do you know how much all that 3D print would cost? Yeah, so 3D printing isn't just like this magical thing you can do. It actually does cost some money. <laughs> Even if you have access to the printer, it still costs money. Yeah. Horn <laughs> points, oh, 14. Well, well, I don't there's a love chat. bits. I'll be big man on the mating grounds. Aw, yeah. He's got a little heart at the end, too. Half this shit even does. Less than a normal prosthetic, I imagine. You're not wrong. True. I'm, I'm sure people out there have 3D printed their own prosthetics. Yes, I've definitely seen people do that before. I. I... Oh, fuck you, Gwen. <laughs> okay, but you can do amazing things with a 3D printer, speaking from experience. Best investment I ever made. Hmm? Gwen made me that the, the giant 3D estrogen <laughs> container <laughs> and the small one as well. Why doesn't the big estrogen container eat the small estrogen no. container? I mean, Is it stupid? It technically could. <laughs> I just remember, chat. If you see something smaller than you, eat it. Don't you make me repeat it. Don't you put it in your mouth. 
Grab some more chicken. Grab some more pie. I see you in there. I see you. I will stalk my prey. The wild thing is, actually, we had the conversation the other... Oh, there was a conversation on stream here the other night about that. And I was, like, listening to some of Beat It's. And I'm like, man, I don't know if I've actually properly listened to this versus, like, Eat It by Weird Al. It's very interesting. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of nerdy kids probably would know the Weird Al version over the actual one. Mm hmm I don't think I've listened to either of them aside from the chorus. I lost my legs. My leg... My lag. I know I definitely heard like I think the first time I heard about Weird Al, I was like I think it was like in the fifth grade. Gaming grounds, hunt your heart out. Zoinks, two beasts with raw meat. So raw meat. Many beasts, I, so many colors. I can say with almost certainty what the first Weird Al song I would have heard is, but I definitely did not know it was a Weird Al song. What That's was where it? I was because. Oh, you see your thing. Uh, everybody, Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Ah, that would make sense. Pokemon credits make sense, yeah. I never me. It was back in the fifth grade, and uh, it was white and nerdy. Was a specific song that was like going around, and like, it was like the first time I think I heard about Weird Al, and like just, I, I don't know. I, I remember a fair number of people like in my grade were just obsessed with that song. <laughs> I think we're about to die. No. Amish Paradise is my first. Good choice. Ah, shit. Yep. Ah. Uh, yep, yep. I'm gonna be honest, I can't think of too many other Weird Al songs I would have heard. The only other one I can think of is Eat It, because it was like uh, on a Total Drama Island like a, so like a song compilation thing. Just like, hey, here are songs that fit all the characters. Mm -hmm. And that one was Owen, because of course it was. Yeah. You know, I thought when your, like, stomach ran out early, I thought you would have died from that, but I guess not. They have to rip the pieces off of me. If they don't, ah. if they don't do that, then I get to live. Okay. Someone made an AMV for Toll Drama Island? I'm sure they have, but no, this was, like, uh, just, like, silhouette, those, like, iPod silhouette things. I don't know how many people remember this as a thing on, as a trend on the internet, where it just, like, took a character silhouette and then showed them with, like, iPod headphones in. Oh, yeah, like Bad Apple? I believe so. <laughs> yeah, Bad no, Apple actually. absolutely did that. Eep. I mean, it's the same style. <laughs> Whatever you say, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm not that old, Sonny. I am! You dosh yard whippersnappers! I'll kick your ass. Old man yells at Cloud. Back in my day, we had to write our Pokedex entries in a notepad. Man, I love that. Like they did that for yeah, Legends Arc. Can you tell me what a Chugi is? Like, I think my favorite thing about that, with like the whole like written entries in Legends Arceus, is when I see Porygon and they're just like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> <laughs> No, I I love uh, Laventon's like uh, Pokedex entry for the three Porygon po Porygon line. Mm hmm. I was just like, what is this? It doesn't breathe. It does not like eat. It just it is here. It doesn't have a heartbeat. What is this thing? <laughs> this concerns me. Yep. Mm hmm. Rotom appliances. Why does this metal box feel cold? <laughs> Yawn. I'm tired. 
hunting so ruthlessly. He's frightful to speak truthfully. He's the centaurus' friend, and if you get trapped in a dead end, watch out for the CEO beast, Grizzly Wesker. Daytime. It's time to wake up. What wake up, you need to go drive to, you need to go teach Gwen how to drive. Wake up, Kevin. I was about to say, like, which Gwen are you talking about here? <laughs> John, if you were a driving instructor, like, like if you, if you were paid to be a driving instructor for like a day, would you do yeah. it? Like, would you teach your audience how to drive? I mean, I taught one of my friends how to drive. Like, I was helping with their instructing. So, oh, god damn! I keep hearing that sound. I keep thinking it's bagel. Uh oh, trapped by brackets and carrots. Or carrots. Who's and teaching you tongues. how to drive, Kevin? <laughs> I would use a parapas on teach them how to drive. Yeah, that'll go great. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you know how to fly out of your seat if they start doing everything correctly at first. That's what All we call right, you don't checkers. need me. I'm out. One day, John, I gotta get you to beat that game. You know, I gotta play a Parappa? version without any fucking latency, though. Oh, I mean, okay. I I get that, but honestly, I feel like you could be, even beat it with latency, because, like, there's, like, freestyling, right? And, like, the they'll still give you the points for that. Freestyling is not the easiest thing to do in Parappa. In Parappa 1, okay, Parappa 2, but... they kind of accounted for it and made it easier. That but is can fair. we get you to actually beat it with the Thrustmaster? Mm. No. <laughs> the thirst master. You slam your penis in the car door. This is where I watch my parents I mean, die. I'm taking, I'm taking so much damage from this. This is guys. where Hold you on. watch your parents die. Oops, oops, oops. I cannot enter the mating grounds until I find some new raw meat. Oh, and there's a new raw meat. It's the CEO beast, and he's got a raw claw to boot. The CEO. Eat the rich. Oh, okay, we're in trouble. Yeah, literally eat the rich. What is this thing? Slot token. It's used to change the color of my flesh. Want to use it? Sure. It's just like Kirby. My color yeah. changed. Just spray paint. The, just spray paint your Kirby. Yeah. Oh my god, that did 20 damage. That's a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage. That's a lot of shit, nuts. Shit, shit, shit. One wound. Oh no. Oh, we are super losing this. Are you, like, bleeding purple? No time Crazy. for that. Blood. Oh my god, this is doing so much damage to me. That'll be four bucks, baby! You want fries with that? <laughs> Need to actually watch that movie. Which movie? Kung, Kung Pao. Pao. Oh. Poof, that was seven still blocked. Jesus. He just left with nuts. He ran! Gung Pao is a stupid movie, knowing that the guy behind it went to make Jimmy Neutron makes a lot of sense. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah it sure does. <laughs> I Jimmy did Neutron not know that. and, um, Barnyard? Oh, man. Okay, I can... 
I didn't know that, but god, these make so much sense with like the like unhinged energy those two shows have. Oh, the little guy's getting my damn thing. No! No! I lost the little guy. He was just a little guy. Game over. Game over. Oh, Game well, over, four yeah. minutes left on the timer. All right, let's go to break then. Oh boy, break! break. Time. Well, let's spin the wheel first. Let's see what we're playing after break. Okay. Yeah, so we know that. So that we know if we need to download anything. Exactly. Bean. Final Fantasy 16. Oh fuck. I mean, I have that installed at least. Yeah. Final Fantasy 14. I actually also have that installed. <laughs> Final Fantasy 11. Pokemon Puzzle League. Is that on the NSO? Yes. yes, it is. And I'll just play the innocent This one. was from Vanimal613. Oh, Alright. Let's drop some eggs. Ariel Lynn gives a sub to Dead Controller. Chucky Red 164 for three. Cobel uh, Cobelarus or Co Cobelarus for 12. Coraluna for 74. X Arian for 76. Legend of Daniel for 56. Dragon Teamer 2002 for 48, Michael for the win for 105, and Mimo Riru for 35. What do you mean John hasn't invaded anything? I mean, why else am I giving him money if I'm not being held hostage by an invasion? Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... I got one in the carton. And it is from No Account Gamer. I'll add to the joke. It's an audio one. You will give me an- Not shocked. Not shocked. Alright. No, no. But I approve. When we come back. Pokemon Puzzle League and some a bunch more stuff from the wheel. See you guys in a bit. Our block has been busy and it's almost exclusively Pluto. <laughs> Should I be surprised? I, I say almost exclusively, it's more like uh, one, two, three. Yeah, it's four pieces from Pluto. Okay. Speen. Four Plutos. What if we only want one Pluto? I, I, can, I can barely handle one. I don't know if I need four. How y'all doing, by the way, chat? You guys have any questions for us? I believe this is first art. Uh, is it first art block? I think it's first art yeah, block. First, yeah, first art, because we had dreams. Yeah, we had dreams earlier. Dream, 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 dream. What, do you have such late dinners? Uh, because, uh... Uh, next because question. Because Maniacal is bad at planning. Well, more like sometimes, like, honestly, I've had times where I'm like, I think to myself, man, if I if I didn't have to eat, like, I probably would, right? Because, like, <laughs> this is going to sound really bad. I had one time I challenged myself, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, To see, like, uh, I, I basically decided to fast just to feel, just because I could, right? Um, Just like, uh, it's like how, how long could I go for? Uh, Question, did you look up actual fasting or did you just uh, decide to not eat? I, I just decided to not eat and called it fasting. <laughs> well, 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 well done. Girl, like, I want to give it a try. It was not a great decision. <laughs> uh, as a reminder to everybody in chat and maniacal, any food is better than an eating disorder. Yes. Like, in actual seriousness, yes. Like, at least get something in you. Uh, they didn't say what the reason what what the reason was of, uh, about. They just said due to various development things, they were uh, prob they were initially against the answer, and then when the announcement came up, and they're just like, "Hey, can this have the answer?" They decided to go back and do it, but they never yeah. specified what it was. I mean, I think the specification, in all honesty, is probably just money. <laughs> You like, probably was. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah, I mean, shit. You see the rest of the DLC. That's what can't really have the answer. Persona Three Reload. 
But Honestly, now it ha now it's getting it as in the form of a DLC expansion pass. Mm -hmm. I felt like we were going to get it as DLC at some point or another. Yeah. I was following the camp of like we were. There's no way we weren't seeing it. Uh, let's see the questions in the chat. Uh, when I go to bed last night, that's a great question. I don't remember. Pretty late. Uh, I think. six o'clock. Is is that you saying for you or for me? For me. Okay, because I think I was about the same. <laughs> was it leaked sometime in January? Uh, I think so. I'm trying to like bring up leak stuff too often, at least like around here, just in case. At least for like stuff like that. Don't know if it was. your favorite paper mario super i don't know i can't remember the last one i really played i think the last one i played would have been thousand year door and that would have been in like uh that would have been just sometime in college <laughs> when is the last time you ate what was it uh i ate like an hour ago like as soon as i got on a call i'm like I was like, I was, it's actually why I took a little bit to get onto the call. I was like, oh, I should probably actually like warm up some food real quick. <laughs> so I warmed up this, uh, so we like the other day had this like, uh, it's like this chicken bread. So like some like breading on it with like some barbecue sauce and some bacon and like some mm -hmm. cheese on top. It was really fucking good, actually. Uh, we had some leftovers. I'd say the rest of it. What's the longest out of context compilation you've ever seen? I don't know, probably the Persona 4 one. I, uh, I don't know, honestly. That's a hard one. I'm not. Really I like. Oh. I like scrolling through the Boba Bo one on Twitter. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, I feel like I probably would have like a Game Grumps compilation. I probably saw at one point just for like some background noise. Three old ladies, four old ladies, five old ladies, one old man. <laughs> What should, I, what should you ask us? I don't know. Whatever you want. Ask us some, like, interesting questions. We will judge if they are interesting or not. Ask us about... Ask us about, uh... Rise of Kiyoshi. Mm. The hit novel done... by FCE that you can purchase right now. Oh, boy. Who wants to talk about murders? Can I do escape rooms? I want to do an escape room, actually. That'd be so sick. I've never done one, but I really want to. Surveys at Crystal. Survey the Crystal. What are my thoughts on Rising Kiyoshi? It's so much fun. Rangi's the best. And I like the Flying Opera Company a lot. <laughs> Jenju is an ass, but I still enjoy him. Beef, beef or chicken? chicken? Chicken. Um... Beef, honestly. Have I read Shadow of Kiyoshi? Yeah. Zoryu is also an ass, but eh, he's trying. Also, I will... I'm disappointed that apparently the Avatar Gasha game uh, went out of service before they finalized a raid boss for Father Glowworm. I'm just like, but these concept arts look so good! Did it get a Persona collaboration? That usually heralds the end of a gotcha. <laughs> it did not, no. Dang. It, it I don't like... think they were going to combine Avatar with Persona 5. What? No. Uh, see, I don't know if you actually like know anything about that whole joke or not. Just oh the yeah, whole, no, like... I know, I know. Okay, okay. I guess for those in chat who don't know. Lo I know Dragalia Lost was one of them, I forget the other mm -hmm. two. Um, I forget what the other ones were, but that's correct. Basically, the whole joke is like, anytime Persona 5 has a collaboration with a gotcha, end of service has to happen pretty soon after. My favorite the, thing with the... Oh, you, what was that? But wasn't the gotcha pretty bad? I don't care. It gave me official artwork of Heiron and Tagaka. I wanted official art of Father Glowworm and Kirima. <laughs> See, 
Ah, oh, shoot, what was it? Ah, uh, it was in chat. I, I, want to I, see, I want to see Tiguai the Immortal. I don't care how oh. bad this Gacha game was going to be. I remember now. So there was this, um, I think people maybe maybe saw this. My favorite thing with the Gacha end of service thing recently was that one Love Live game that got announced. And we're like, hey, by the way, this is getting an end of service in like two months after it releases. <laughs> like, it's like, why? Why'd you even announce it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what about Cabbage Guy? I don't know if he was in that. Cabbage Man Avatar. Right. That's also correct, Lindea. We actually don't have a release date, like for the gotcha itself, but we have an end of service date, which is really funny. Oh, yeah. I learned something interesting. So in the last Avatar game, the the quest for balance, they had uh, James say, uh, I believe it is say how you say it, uh, as the voice of Ozai instead of getting Mark Hamill. But they had, he is the, he was the voice of the Cabbage Man. But they had a different person voice the Cabbage Man in that still? So they had his original voice actor voicing other characters except for the one that he originally played. Interesting. Why? I don't know. Life service games are failing fast. Unfortunately, they are. I love that WB was like, hey, man, we're going to like double down life service games and like, you know, not care as much about our other games. Kind of why Mortal Kombat 1's been in a bit of a rough spot right now. It's like, man, I love seeing everything Warner Brothers touches slowly collapse. It's great. <laughs> we'll never get a good Avatar game. I heard, I want to play that fucking like Platinum Games B Team Core game. You can't really buy it anymore. Yeah, you know, that's it's like physically. Which sucks. I know Juke Juker always said that it's the worst Platinum game, but I think people still say that it's one of the best Avatar games, even with that distinction. Avatar never really got good games, was my understanding, which is unfortunate. I know it's probably like not a super great like Platinum game. I never had the chance to play it. I know there's like 3DS versions out there, but obviously those aren't really what the one. That's not really the one I want to play. You know. You need to find the time to read the Yang Chang novels. They're good. Uh, if if you ever wanted to see a spy thriller in the Avatar world, read the Yang Chen novels. It's a description that not a lot of people, like, thought of at first, and then when I described it like that, they're like, oh god, that's exactly what this is. Yeah, I, I'm aware about the Rooster Teeth stuff, yeah. Yeah. Sucks for the people who lost their jobs. I'll admit, I stopped... It, it sounds so bad to say, like, when they, like, obviously all this happens, but I stopped caring about their stuff a long time ago. It's just, like, I just feel for those who lost their jobs at this point. Alright, sorry about that. I had to hand-feed the cat. <laughs> Aww. Yay. With a spoon? No, I literally had the no, whole with plate a hand. Up, and he ate out of that. Gotcha. He needed it held up in front of him as he was on top of his tree, because it's the only way I could get him to eat. Mm-hmm. All right. Casper Stone Nature says, Do you have Hell Divers 2? I do not. I have not picked it up yet. I have been hearing good things, though. JTM Inc. says, Hey, John, it's the big 32 for me, and I am kind of scared. But here's hoping some of your luck rubs off on me. I've come this far. Might as well keep going. Happy birthday, JTM. 32's not that bad. Trust me. The 30s are pretty good, all things considered. Don't worry too much about it. Legend of Daniel says, You will give me an egg, he says, while stealing eggs from a monster. Shush, 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 shush. Ramnet says, I actually have a story that I can't remember, but my parents told me later. Apparently, as a toddler, I loved to play hide-and-seek, but when it was their turn to hide, I would go and mess with all the pots and pans in the kitchen, and they'd have to clean it up when they realized I wasn't looking for them. Truncated a bunch, <laughs> but the core plot is there. That's incredible. Hell yeah. That reminds me of one of the best ways I managed to win a game of hide-and-seek. Uh, I was... I was seeking, 
but I couldn't find my siblings. I'm just like, wait, I know I'll get them to come out. So I went to the front door, opened it, closed it, and waited by them. And they're just like, oh, no, he went outside. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. That reminds, that I, I love like that doing that. I, that. I think I did that once I was a young kid, like playing like tag or something. Just like fooling them with like, you know, audio. That sounds like something I would do to get Bagel out of hiding. All right, art block. Aww. I feel like I would have noticed if Pluto gave me fat boobs from Pluto. Just a picture of Green since she's the new co-com. Congrats, bestie. Don't forget me when you're rich and famous. Green's hair is fun to draw. Mm -hmm. This is, of course, immediately ruined by doing exactly what she said she was going to do. Ha ha, doofus get blomped. Oh, man, I've been in the dumps lately. I forgot how fun boobs are to draw. They're so fun and soft and warm and so amazing. My God, Pluto, tone it down a little bit, girl. Well, back to work in the boob mines. Goodbye for now, friends. Thanks, Pluto. Well, then. Blomp, 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 blomp. Get boobs, get boobs, get boobs. Wow, what a source. Versus, what was the other original source? Gotcha, green. Love you, breasty. Fucking breasty. Jesus Christ. Instead of bestie. Well, we also had monsties earlier. Yeah. True. All right, this is from Disc Only. So, from Tiger Tiger, <laughs> a, a potential solution to Jared's shirt chafing his nipples. Wearing a bra? If he doesn't want to buy his own, he could always borrow one of Erica's. And if he does, that would make two members of Disc Only associated with bras. Now, if we just need to get Tom and Steven to buy slash start their own bra lines. Context, episode 40 of Disc Only, hosted March 5th, 2024. Yeah, Jared was talking about how the shirts he wears chafes his nipples. So, of course, someone was like, just fucking wear a bra, Jared. Half the population does it, join in. Oh. Please tell me I'm remembering correctly. It was Jared and Chatia who gifted you the bra, correct? Yes, Jared yeah. and Chatia <laughs> gifted me a... What the fuck was it? Was it 32... N bra or something like that in like Rosa Blue for our like Secret Santa gift set. They also mm -hmm. gifted me like an actual board game to go with it, but it was just like, here's the joke gift, you get a bra that does not remotely fit. <laughs> Gotta grow into it. Uh, no, 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 it was too like small. More shrink because the band is way too tiny. I missed her. I'm glad I remembered that. <laughs> Bagel, where did you just go? I literally just pet you. What the fuck? I have decided to hide, Father. I hear him. Hello. You Mr. cannot find me. Do you want your weed? Am I grabbing your weed? Is it time you cannot for tempt weed? me, Father. Get the meow, Joanna. Father, the weed is tempting, but I must try my best to resist. It doesn't fit now. I'm going Just get clean, your father. Boots. Problem solved. That doesn't solve the problem. The band is too small. <laughs> yeah, the the problem is that it's too small. The band I had for Rosa was like 42 or 40. You, you can just get smaller, right? That's how, that's how that I, works. I don't think I can just squish my rib cage together. It... Yeah, boobs you can squish. Ribs, not so much. Not so much. From Spont Combust, John is here to change the world. Hee <laughs> hee. Saw the re-release of Captain EO that happened in 2009. I thought it was pretty mid. The best part was the major dance sequence at the climax and Angelica Hudson as the Supreme, or Huston, as the Supreme Leader. But I wonder how I would have felt if I saw it in its prime in the 80s during its original run, which featured laser and starfield effects. And although I guess the re-release did feature new effects recycled from Honey, I Shrunk the Audience that replaced EO originally. The new effects are lame, IMO. Now we're here to change the world. It's stuck in my head. It's too catchy. Good shit. What an outfit. What a fucking outfit that is. God damn. Whoever made the cat noise, I want you to know my cat is now wondering what the fuck. I mean, my cat made cat noise. Did you hear my cat? No, that was that that, that was me earlier when you were trying oh. to look for Bagel. Oh, buddy, you okay? That was like a poop howl. Did you just poop? Oh, I think he just Father, I left you a present. I think, mm -hmm. I think he did, in fact, leave me a present. Hang on, let's jump through art block here, then. From Ditto, I've been getting back into drawing thanks to making small, simple doodles, so I figured I'd make a quick warm-up doodle to get myself back into drawing for the live streams. Have a little Jonna for your troubles. Sweet. Thank you, Ditto. Appreciate it. Jonna. Next up, from Pluto. Claire Power and Girl. Power Girl's outfit, because, uh, dream, powers, and stuff. Nice. Smooth. 
Yeah, nice. power goal because 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 okay fine I like boobs the scandal's out now ah yes no one ever knew Brand Okay but new. what about what about Galatea then Claire's big old bazonga donga bomb 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 Thanks Pluto I'm just shaking my head here though Nice ponytail though Ponytails are pretty good Yay ponytail Claire Justice. Ooh. From Grease Lightning, the center card, the card that balances the greater arcana. Justice is the bringer of it. Claire being a Valkyrie and warrior of good brings her to be a prime candidate for the card. Casting judgment on wrongdoers whenever and wherever she is present. So let her sword guide those who want justice in this. Justice represents its own word. Goodness, balance, and serving of justice. It brings the 11th card in a 22 greater set is telling of its purpose. The cards beforehand all had some grounds in Earth or had a human touch. Now we stand on the precipice of the divine and the seeking of it. Interesting. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you so much, Grease. Oh, I guess Justice has a crown normally because I was going to say Claire does not have a crown normally. Thank you, Grease. Thank you. King Justice. I had to know what happened. Oh, did you just sit next to my cart and just see what happened on the racetrack? <laughs> So that's what happened in the game. I'm rolling forward a little bit, at least, as I'm trying to plug in my controller. Thanks, no account. Next up, oh, this is sick. Hell yeah. No. Kenny Rocco. Did I use a preset thing for the picture frame? Yes. Do I regret it? No. Hi again, John. I haven't been doing a whole lot of art recently as my spoons have been getting stolen from for, for work. But hey, if I can get the overall quota, then I get to get an expensive dinner with the boss's card. Ooh, that sounds good. I miss a fair amount of streams, but I'm hoping to be able to get back into the swing. Gender crisis, dream hot potato, and whatever else the community decides to fling. Gender crisis, dream hot potato, and whatever the community... Eh, that sounds about right. Thank you, Kitty Rogue. This is very nicely done. Here's hoping you get that free dinner. Take them for all they're worth. Next up, from Pluto. <laughs> Did you actually? Behold, <laughs> Jante, 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 John, Shante, and Dante. Somehow I didn't think about combining multiple characters at once into an alt. Weird. Put tons of effort in this because today I had a meeting with a college professor whose class I was going to for the entire semester. It was on fictional writing, which I'm really passionate on. After missing the, like, the first time period for it and having to go back later in the day for a proper meeting, it only lasted 10 minutes and there wasn't a word of praise for me or my work. She said she liked my final project, but ugh. Yes, I do need praise, and tons of it, so I overcompensated by making this art. Life keeps crapping on me, so I'll keep drawing boobs to cheer myself up. I'm sorry I had a shitty day, Pluto, but this is very nicely done, so... Thank you for doing this. Yee. Yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm a bite. What part is me of this? Because this looks very, almost distinctly, just Dante and... And Shantae. Is it the pissed off face? Is that the part of me that's in this? Is it the star clip? Is, is it the little gamer pin? It's probably the star clip. It's the, st the stink eye and the star clip. That's me. The glare, mostly <laughs> the hairpin. The butt, you just can't see it, and the angry mom face. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Pluto. <laughs> and last but not least, an art block here. From Ditto. Yeah, I had to draw that first dream where you were Dante, and to go along uh, with seeing yourself in the dream, I gave you the colored outline in the second panel. Gotta say, it's nice to get back into drawing this dumb shit and to get into drawing the dream girls again. The child-bearing yeah. hips. Uh, she looks like a pissed-off mom. That's how we know it's you. Thanks, chat. Thank you, Ditto. Very nicely done on this. That is art block. That is art block. All right, give me a quick second. I gotta go check see if the cat did actually poop. Be right back. Okay. Okay. Do you have more questions? Quick, hit us with questions before John comes back. you mom voice all right sweetie how are you fair pokemon uh depending on the day blaziken or deoxys those are my those are my favorite ones Kingdra, meloetta and frostmoth i'm gonna go with my other three for my top five that's uh scizor metagross and umbreon what even is gender yeah whatever you feel like 
Yeah, that, that's my understanding. Like, just, you know, find yourself, be yourself. Be you. Be the you that you can be happy with. It's a word that is in flux. Social construct. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Gender, I hardly know her. Why do you like answering questions? Because it helps fill the air, because otherwise we're just sitting here in silence and like, you know, it keeps the chat engaged too in some way. Plus it's I mean, also tradition at this point for question answering. Would you rather the silence? I can be quiet for you, chat. Would you like that? Welcome back. You ruined it. Oh, uh, you guys start silence as I was coming in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, were, we were gonna start silence, but then you ruined it. Like how you ruined the iPhone. Yeah, it's my fault. Yeah. You're the one who got rid of the headphone jack. No, feel free, feel free to scream. Ah! Bagel's yodeling in the background. As he does tree falls down but no one is around to hear it doesn't make a sound yes unless it's on the moon <laughs> but if lincoln park sings a song in the forest and no one is around to hear it in the end does it even matter uh, i think i'm i think i'm just becoming numb to these jokes i'm not yeah they're crawling in my skin i'm not <laughs> it's okay, John. No matter, like, what is it? What Montar has done is a lot. A lot, lot, lot of jokes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did we do know. eggs? I don't know if that was yes. a Linkin Park reference. I just didn't get on that one. I didn't I, either. I, I could have phrased that one better. That's supposed to be what I've done. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, yeah, you were way off on that one, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. Like, I, I, I really mess with my jokes sometimes. I gotta break that habit. Uh, that one I got. <laughs> Last core, baby! Last core! But unfortunately, we're not doing Blast core. I mean, I Fortunately, like we're, we're doing a pretty good game, too, instead. Nintendo. 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 Are you handling this on story mode? I guess. Now, is it a game over if one of us beats you? <laughs> Wait, are we are we actually doing this? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'm just proposing it right now. <laughs> oh, did you want to play multiplayer? I didn't even think of that. Did you want to play multiplayer? Um, did you, say, did you want to, Montar? Uh, I'd have to go grab my Switch, which is all the way over there. Um, I probably could. I haven't really played it in a bit. What are we counting as game over if we're doing multiplayer? Because you're probably gonna, you're, you will probably win. You probably play Tetris Attack more than I have. Here, hang on. Let me get this N64 online app set up. Ah, uh, check my controller. Well, while you're doing that, I'll go do. I guess I gotta put a name in. And if you hold L R L R Z, I believe you unlock everybody. Like supposed to be like lures to get everybody. I think I hear an incoming. Oh, incoming! I already cleaned it up. That was me. Bow, bow, up bow, bow. He's gotta bow. have a blueprint or something. Mm-hmm. He ate some of the plate, but not all of it. I had to freaking like hand over the yeah. What okay, is that? Sorry. It's the unknown. Oh no! All right, I got my N64 ready. Puzzle League begins. Well, 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 Ashy boy. Oh, Ashy boy. Play online. Oh boy. How good are you? I'm Gary. 
I have 16 badges. Don't ask me where the other eight came from. It was 10 badges. He was going for his 11th. Join in whenever. Okay. Nintendo. 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 Is this like the Wii Virtual Console where the 3D Playfield plays like shit? Probably. Oh, you busted out the N64 controller for this. Oh, yeah. Nice. Gary was here. Ash is a loser. Oh. That was a, certainly a sound. Hmm? Two P versus. Okay. I guess I'm the guest. I mean, you can just make a new name. It's, all right, never mind. It's okay. I like being the guest. Two D. It's or like 3D? being the beast. Do two D. Okay. Uh, do it middle. I think if you hold L R Z, you unlock everybody. Oh, I think it might need to be both of you. I like Erica. I don't remember the inputs on Pro Controller, so I'm just holding all the top buttons. Team Rocket, let's go! Yeah, I gotta, I gotta be Team Rocket just for their lines. Yeah, well, in that case, I gotta be Lieutenant Soyge. Lieutenant Soyge? Oh, poor baby! Ready when you are! There's my boy! Go! Go! Amazing. He sounds Go. like Ren from Ren and Stimpy every time. <laughs> Oh baby. I'm feeling giddy. Oh, 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 baby. Oh. I'm glad James is feeling giddy. Since I Same. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I mean, I did this for Pokemon Retrospective, but uh, that was uh, <laughs> that was a uh, endeavor and a half. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Oh, baby, 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 baby. <laughs> Got me just on my screen. <laughs> I feel so sluggish playing this right now. I know. <laughs> I have very little to Tetris Attack, but it's a fun game, honestly. Of course, it's not Tetris Attack, mind you. Why does that laugh sound like the Joker? I don't know. I'm feeling giddy. I'm feeling giddy. I'm feeling giddy. Just think, chat. In a moment, my special move will come out. Will he be uh, able to execute the extreme technique? Start echoing at me, I got scared. Jolt! 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 That's the finale, kid. Hell yeah. That's the finale, kid. I have two more Poggers. Pokemon left. My mons are dying. Where the hell what is are you Golbat doing sending from? out a Golbat against an Electro-type? It's okay, I got this. It's okay, there's no type advantage in this video game. <laughs> That's what you think. That'd be really funny if they programmed that in, of all Could things. you imagine? Oh, poor baby. I mean, they programmed that into Smash. Did they? Yeah, if you use uh, if you use Squirtle's water gun on uh, Charizard, it actually goes twice the distance. If you use it on Ivysaur, it goes half distance. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> and if Charizard or Incineroar is in the water, they actually take damage. Same with Inkling. 
Joel? What the hell was that noise? Joel? No! Playtime is over for baby. Oh yeah, and Sonic. It's just like somebody else, but I can't remember who. Squirtle take more damage from Pikachu though. I do not remember. I would not believe so. Sonic, the famous non-swimmer. Yeah. He never took those classes at the country club. They wanted to put him into the beginner class. Can't swim with a bunch of five-year-olds. They can be so cool when they sense weakness. Did Lieutenant Surge actually say, oh, poor baby in the anime? I don't remember if he said that specifically, but he was calling Ash a baby a whole lot. He's just like, oh, look, little baby brought a baby Pokemon here. No. All right, John, you don't realize, right? I've been slowly powering up. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more. Are, are you ready? Are you ready yes, for my I extreme am, power? I'm, I'm ready. I'm real ready. Will he be able to execute the extreme technique? Oh, poor baby. So you that with five. Crazy, right? But don't you worry. Before I unleash before. Whoa, no, I've never done that before. <laughs> that is scary. What are you doing? Sonic isn't wrong. Yeah, that's why that's why on the first day you have to beat up the biggest one in the yard. See, this is called the extreme gamer move of hyping myself up. Fun fact, Jesse had a survivor longer than she had an Arbok. Yeah, because she still has her survivor. It's like how the voice cast uh, from Pokemon Company has been around more than the uh, than the four kids uh, voice actors, aside from the handful that stuck around. How the fuck do you make a line? <laughs> Kaiba is equal to Brock. Yeah, and also uh, Meta Knight. Oh, poor baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Yeah, did you get, yeah, uh, Jesse and James gave all their Pokemon to uh, Team Rocket headquarters when they went to Unova because they're like, huh, oh, Unova doesn't have non-Unova Pokemon until it does. <laughs> and they pay they pay a small bit of lip service just like, hey, Me Meowth, shouldn't you also not be a part of that mission? Eh, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be okay. All right, GG's, John. It was pretty close. GG. Uh, GG. <laughs> GG, shake my hand. Now what? Right, you Thunderbolt, uh, go! Uh, how much time do we have left? Nine minutes. Nine minutes? Uh, okay. You want to just go again? I don't know what you want to do. Sure, I wasn't yeah. sure Montara was hopping in instead or not. Oh, Montara, did you actually want to go in? Uh, fine. I'll go grab my Switch. You don't have to okay. if you don't want to. But I want to. Oh, okay. Do it. Never mind. Audio quality. I'm not even sure how much you can actually still hear me. Decently. I can still hear you. You are very clearly in the background. Ah, hello. Welcome back. See, what this what this teaches me is that I should actually maybe try and properly play and beat this game with the hardest difficulty at some point. Hold on, let me make sure I'm saved in uh, Mario and Luigi real quick. I want to fight Mewtwo. I did not get to Mewtwo. I got to Gary level two. Nice. All right, I'm in N64 online. Okay, oh, yeah. join in. How'd I get out of this thing? Those oh, are all doing it? No, it's only uh, two player. Yeah, it's only two oh, player. Okay, how do I, actually, how do I get out of this thing? Hit uh, minus. There we go. Okay, Wait, online. So I was using Connecting to internet. I was using the 64 control. I'm like, uh oh. Uh, like, Join a friend. Out, it, was, it was a ZR button. Montaro is joining. Hooray. Yay. 
All right, Montaru. I weakened him down a little bit. It's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> Your save data will not be affected. You joined Proton John's game. Ah, that oh, one. <laughs> that uh, bar is looking real good right now. Mm. I can't wait for the mess of jolts. I'm Lieutenant Soyge. I'm Lieutenant Soyge. Hmm. Clap. Nope. Montaro is in control. Oh, whoops. Ow. Go. All right. <laughs> uh, fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I'm laughing hot, because hot. it looks... When you're hot, you're hot. Like... Well, well, for the Gary's portrait there, it looks like if you like lower the quality enough, he's flipping you off. <laughs> <laughs> Which honestly <laughs> feels really in character. All right, the competitors are at it again. Fire, grass, psychic, and electric. Back at it the four again, Krispy Kreme. The Krispy Kreme has been invaded, but it's okay. Because Montaro is making a combo. It didn't Am work. Am I? Yes, you are. A four. Never before seen before. Until now. The combo continues. A six. Oh, John's at the ropes. Uh, these aren't actually, these aren't combos. If they were combos, they'd be falling into each other. The loose combo has been formed. Ah, that's what it is. I'm tired with a few blocks on his end. But don't worry, we can turn those blocks into trees, just like in Minecraft. And like in Minecraft, we win. Uh, I think we... it's the other way around for turning things into... For You turn trees into blocks. Uh, the blocks have been turned one. into trees. John's sweating. Over there. He's bored. Full of colors. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the finale, kid. Whoa. <laughs> where's my where's my Rhydon? Where's my Rhydon? Where's my Nine Tails? Why do I have a Charbelian and an Arcanine? Don't don't question. Competitors, at it again. A line is there. An empty line. It's like the empty you're hot, you're hot. After a rough breakup. But these players will not break up. They instead they will break in together, working. All right. What are you talking about? Color commentary cannot be understood by those who have never done it. I've done color commentary. <laughs> I have as well. It was called uh, it was called the uh, breast cancer research stream. <laughs> I was part of Falcon Roulette. Oh yeah, you were. We should do that again. That was fun. Yeah, wasn't around for the last one, so I'd be down to be down for like the next one. Whenever that may be. And what also may be happening is in this hot, hot game here, Montaro may have two Pokemon left, but it's okay. John has three. And as you know, uh, three is an odd number, which is perfectly describes how Montaro will even the odds and win this game. Thank you. Thank you. Nice segue. Thank you. Remember, take your waitresses. Eh, that's not going to work. Yeah, you're right. To be yeah, waitress, there we go. Work. It's okay. Montaru may have stepped down, but he will rise back up like the burning phoenix. Charmeleon. Unfortunately, like his Charmeleon. Red, hot and ready. Hot and ready. That's right. I should have done Sabrina. I should have done Sabrina instead, so I could just have the line where she just goes, Play with me. <laughs> oh, so close. Play at it again. John's side, looking clean, but don't worry, that can change at any moment, Montaro's yes, it can. side. It can, not by me, though. <laughs> Montaro's side, filling up, but don't worry, like an oil rake, it will, uh, what? It will catch on fire, just like his Pokemon, fire types, where he will burn brightly through the sky. You're thinking I care too much about this game to, like, actually do <laughs> combos. See? <laughs> I got I got through hard mode once and I'm just like, yeah, no, nah, that that's good enough for me. Alright, that's the way. 
I don't think that's how oil rigs work. That's <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure they do. Let's let's see how the 3D is, shall we? Yeah, sure. We got two and a half minutes. 3D. We're gonna need some glasses for this one, folks. This is about to be a bright Aww, match. Aw, she didn't say play with me. I'm sad. It's such a creepy line. <laughs> play with me. Here comes the 3D tubes. Oh, I'm already getting a headache looking at this. Jesus Christ, I forgot about all this yeah. nonsense. Yeah, I don't, I don't like 3D in this mode, dude, or in this game. <laughs> Not a fan. I told you so. The board may be confusing, but that's okay. Our player's even more confused. But the cobbles are forming. The bars are set. I told you so. The lines are formed. A six combo from Sean, a three from Montaru. Thankfully, six is twice as much as three. You won't. John forming new pieces. Montaro also forming new pieces. Where will they combo? Where will they go? Hello, Kazab. Hello, Kazab. Hello, Kazab. Montaro with the hot, hot eight. Nothing can stop a hot, hot eight. Oh, John's against the ropes here. No, I am, because I don't know where I'm uh, above the line. <laughs> I could not tell where, just like, I suddenly saw that, I'm just like, where is that? That looks like a staircase somewhere, so it's some random thing. <laughs> I wish stairs are real. Here come the tubes again. Tube. Tube. Totally tubular, dude. Like, totally tubular, man. Oh, poor baby. Oh, poor baby. Oh, poor baby. Oh, poor baby. Is this is disorienting us to something on a virtual boy? I don't want to imagine that, yeah. Oh, poor baby. What you can't imagine though is this hot, hot game no between Montara and John here. It's playing 3D Pokemon. How hot is this game? It's very hot, because when you're hot, you're hot. Yeah, well, uh, that was last game. Uh, I'm gonna lose here in a second. <laughs> it's okay. We, we have weakened the boss. <laughs> Hypno. 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 Found something interesting about the Hypno episode. Apparently, like, uh, mm -hmm. they had, like, uh, originally. Yep. You know how it was a bunch of still frames? That was because they were doing that, uh, doing an actual, like, effect beforehand. But then the Porygon episode happened, and they're just like, yeah, nope, no more lighting effects, so we're doing this, uh, freeze frame forever. That is fair, honestly. You're playing so the two hottest people I remember can't that it would always no. look weird to me, and I'm just like, why, why is it like that? Why, why does the Hypno not, like, actually move at all? And I'm like, then I learned up that. I'm just like, okay, you know what? That's fair. That is mm -hmm. fair, understandable, and I can respect that. I'll, I'll say drops. That's a weird way to say Erica and Lorelai, but like, I respect that. How was that not a combo? Come on. I don't know where anything is. The combos are confusing. The players' minds the are. The boulder is confused. <laughs> Isn't the point of the plan to attack during the eclipse? All right, that's the way. That's the way. Good job, Dorthion. USA, right. USA. Oh, back to the wheel, folks. Erica over Sabrina? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm more of an Erica guy. <laughs> oh, s***. Up. Proton John is in control. What will the game be this time? No, Pokemon, Pokemon Puzzle League. Freaky Flyers. Wow. All right. Freaky Flyers. That was Zilch the Zilch, is what I'm seeing here for the spreadsheet. I don't know what this game is. Uh, it's a flying game that's like cell shaded. It's a GameCube PS2 era. Okay. Erica is cute too, but I like Sabrina more in an I can fix her way. Which Sabrina? Oh. The one in the anime or the one that's a member of Team Rocket? 
But nobody read Adventures, Montaru. <laughs> Iwane did, because he saw Sabrina in rocket uniforms and just like, wait, what? Wait, why is people draw Sabrina in this? And then read the entire thing and started making, like, semi-official fan fan animations. Nice. I read a bit of Adventures at one point. Uh, it, was, it was cool. I think I read up to, like, the first, like, uh, arc. Up yeah, to, we like, got... We have Pokemon the current arc where we have Violent Lang, the Prince of Speed. Mm. And he is a dork, and I love him. No, uh, Sabrina didn't get the semi-official fan animation. Adventures did, because Awane, uh, one of the lead animators in Pokemon, found out about it, read the series, and started making some, some like, test animations, because he always does that. Yeah, Scarlet, who is just Wednesday Adams, and it's amazing. It is time for Freaky Flyers. Forty-three people follow this game on Twitch. Yeah. Those forty-three people More than are really I expected. fucking excited right now. <clears throat> Probably just like at their like bedside. They're just like about to go to sleep. They see someone's playing Freaky Flyers the on Freaky Twitch. The Freaky Flyers gonna... alert goes off. <laughs> wheel, wheel, Send wheel. the biplanes. I know it's mean, but you cannot fix anyone. Yeah, most people are worse. <laughs> I can fix them. What is the song? <laughs> what are these characters, dude? This is great. Yo, was that a fucking robot frog man? Hell yeah. Oh boy. You can follow specific games on Twitch? Yeah. Yes. yes. They're, they're all categories. Basically, it'll show you, like, people streaming those games. I know speedrunners will do it for, like, you know, they want to see, like, the games they run and, like, maybe watch someone play it and maybe potentially find a new trick and they glitch it out. This does technically qualify his music. Wow. Oh, look, it's a character Pluto's going to draw. <laughs> My goodness! No one knows where she came from, though rumor has it. That's not true. I am normal person, not genetic mutant freak product of some strange experiment by German Air Force. Ah, uh, okay, Tracy. I wasn't going to say that you're a genetic mutant freak. You were. Okay, I was. But let's talk about the race. My mission is to win Freaky Flyers race for pride of German Air Force. And I will let no one and nothing stop me. I'll look, Tracy. Forget German Air Force. <laughs> Since the beginning of time, man has loved to race. Erg beats Roar. Hands every leap in technology mm -hmm. only created further opportunities to compete against each other. Mommy Bill beats Erg. Limits of speed. That, that is, in fact, true. Man always wants to go fast. And now, yeah. Yeah. Plane invented Rip Erg. For the greatest race of them all, a competition that has drawn entrance from all walks of life, from several different tax brackets, from every rounded corner of the globe, all gathered for this monumental event in the world of aviation. All of these pilots and many, many more will fill the sky in the Freaky Flyers race. So what are you waiting for? Jump in your plane and get freaky. What am I looking at? Freaky Flyers. Freaky Flyers for the GameCube and PS2. All right. It does kind of it. That did kind of look like Captain N. Simon Belmont. I can see it. Yeah. This is two disc <laughs> Yeah, it's a two disc game. Really? Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's do single player. I guess we also have race, dog fight, mini games, high score, special. Special. Gosh, can, I, can I view all the movies? I can view a couple of the characters. I can do Johnny Turbines, Tracy Torpedoes. Myrna Bookbottom, Mick Bungadoo, and Polyachi. I love the name Mick Bungadoo, dude. <laughs> J 
Johnny Turbine, <laughs> Myrna Bookbottom, Mick Bungadoo, Tracy Torpedoes that we already saw, and Paul Ayachi. That's not something to be proud of. Th then why did they like advertise Final Fantasy VII Rebirth with the tagline of on two discs? Obviously, it's something to be proud of. We're flying scenic Canada. Avoid killer attacks, killer attack keys, and dangerous ice collating caves. Oh yeah, I need another controls. Gun, rear aim, use item, stunt, break gas, and reticle. Myrna Bookbottom, librarian, cat lady, extremely polite. Hello, I am very pleased to meet you, Governor. Now what is a nice young woman like you doing in this race, Myrna? Well, you see, I have always wanted a life of adventure. But I work in the local library and things just never seem to happen there. Until Margaret Basher came along. Margaret Basher? She is my alter ego. When I get angry, I turn into Margaret. And bad things happen. But you seem so sweet and helpless. And boring. Boringly helpless. Helpless, I. The moral is, you can't judge a book bottom by its cover. <laughs> Godspeed. Oh, hey, it's lunch. And yeah. Margaret Bass. Even her plane change is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Hopefully the cats are fine. Hopefully the cats got away from the machine gun. Yay. Bigfoot Mountain. Okay. Oh, it's loading. Oh, it's loading, baby. Ah, uh, you should have put in the second disc already. <laughs> Flyer, you are now entering Canadian airspace. It's quite a country, the kind of place where a virtual nobody with an airplane could reunite a lost Bigfoot with his family, destroy a logjam, and shoot down half-eaten trees all in the same day. And don't forget about the great duty-free shopping. You could pick up a gallon of perfume for the price of a half gallon. <laughs> that's saving. <laughs> Is that in the average day in Canada? It's pretty close. It's pretty okay. Close. Okay. All right. We must be placed third or better to qualify. Hint: shoot the ceilings in the ice caves for a nice surprise. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, lens don't exist in Canada. I. I isn't it some weird thing with how, like, uh, Imperial metrics are, like, used interchangeably for certain things? Jamie had, like, a chart about this earlier. So, how does this feel to control? Yeah, it controls well. Nice. Okay. We have a flow chart. Yeah. Assuming I remember the Jamie posted gave me, like speed increase or something. I remember Jamie posting that because just like you know, on the one hand, at least America is consistent with only using Imperial. Bye, Margaret. She's fine. She's fine. She got over it. You got shot better. the targets. Oh, interesting. Yay! Oh. So where do huh. I see my sub goals then? In that case. Break the targets. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. That's cool. Yeah. 
I got the F-bomb. I don't know what this does. Fuck. Ah, it does advertise. Final yeah, left. The final left. Oh, we've been flying over hockey game the entire time. Of course. Ah, of course. Hockey. Been in a hockey rink, but never actually like... Like ring, hockey, whatever they call it. Your, your, your rink uh, is correct, yes. Okay, I was like, I thought that didn't sound right for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I've been on one. Never really actually played the sport, though. I, I remember... Think I think uh, I've told this story on here before. One time when I was like... Uh, with my family we were going to a hockey game and like mm -hmm. i happened to just like be walking up to a set of seats because like i didn't know exactly where my family was i'm just like yeah, i'll just sit down and they'll get me late get to me eventually so i sat down sitting down for a while playing like something on my ds or 3ds whatever it was some guy comes up and hands me a hockey puck just like here, here you go uh yeah you'll want this i'm like okay and my family comes by maybe like five minutes later and just like, are you okay? We saw that hockey puck almost hit you. I'm just like, oh, that's why that guy gave me a hockey puck. Apparently a puck like got through the net and slid like right past my head as I was walking up the stairs, but I oh. never noticed it at all. Some Amazing. guy just gave me a hockey puck afterwards. I'm like, okay, dude, whatever. <laughs> Didn't explain anything. <laughs> that's wild, dude. <laughs> hidden sub goals we didn't give bigfoot a lift home we didn't shoot down our feller flyers and we didn't get the lumberjack chop down help the lumberjack chop, chop down trees free puck i i forget if i still have that Upon my return to England, I'm going to report after it like might be in some box but that's definitely in storage right now Save my handful of consoles. I was walking up a set of stairs, so no. I was saved by a step. Almost lost my head. I don't think a hockey puck was going to remove my head. Especially not after, like, yeah, it got through the net, but that also means that it probably wouldn't have, it might have hurt, but it wouldn't have, like, actually injured me. Somewhere between Canada and Mexico. <laughs> I wonder where. Hello, Madame Bookbottom. Yes, who is that? It is I, Andre Latoilette. Oi, it's a squirrel sucking true yoga. I wanted to apologize for yelling at you earlier. I get sensitive with matters concerning my big food. Oh, that's quite sweet of you, love. Yeah, real sweet. Now, bubble! Excusez-moi. Call me. And on second thought, don't you toss her. Ah, English women. <laughs> they fucking they sound effect. So Womp. Womp. Never heard that sound effect before. I know they use it in SpongeBob sometimes. That was the joke. Ah. It's like an extreme stock sound effect. Mm -hmm. Coyote Canyon. Womp. 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 Never heard it used for a mustache going flaccid? Really? Are you sure? <laughs> now we're going to describe it. I've definitely heard it for a mustache going flaccid before. I don't remember from what, but I definitely have. Attention, Freaky Flyer! You are now approaching Coyote Canyon. Made by nature, but made dangerous by man. See, I think we actually are in Arizona. It looks like a desert. Upon to save a damsel in distress. Take on gunfighters in a shootout and stampede cows into an Indian reservation. Sure, these all might be things you could have done from the comfort of your own home with a few well-placed phones. Texas, because of all the horseshoes. Now, so get to it. Save the cowardice for. Or maybe we're in like Vegas because we just passed a pyramid. Maybe so. This weird, like, amalgamation of the United States. Keep out. My hidden health stations to the left of the train tracks. How many flaccid mustaches do you know in uh, cartoons? A lot.
We're in the Wild West. Yeehaw. Is that a magic carpet I just flew past? Quite possibly. I can show you the world. I can show you the world! Tokyo Tomare! Got him. Shining. Slimmering. Splendor. Did you say slimmering? Is that not how, is that not how it goes? Shimmering. Shimmering. Oh. <laughs> Close enough. Ah, slimmering. The slimmest of things. I know they made a joke about that in uh, one of the Shantae DLCs because Ammo Baron is using uh, magic carpets, so he... He literally says, I can show you the world, and his title is uh, Softly Shimmering Soldier. Hmm? Ah. Aladdin? I assume you beat the SNES Aladdin. I guess probably also Genesis Aladdin by this point, John. Genesis Latin for game clearing, uh, SNES Latin I beat as a kid. Okay. It's a fun game. Kind of hard, but fun. I, I'd argue the uh, the Virgin Games Genesis one is harder. That's what I've heard, yeah, because yeah, I use the sword and stuff. Shining, shimmering soldier. Ah. Slimmering world, lose pound today. Did we? <laughs> Did we mean your weight or British money? Nobody knows. I was not going for Adam's family, but that works I was, too. I was going X Files. What do you mean, Adam's family? <laughs> Look, see, I was going for X Files too, but it, I thought you went into Adam's family at the end. No, just... I was going for X Files. <laughs> Okay. Look, see, here's what we do, right? We combine the two, right? We call it the X Family. That's just the X Men. <laughs> Shh. We don't talk about that part, John. Storm oh, Adams. Boys. Oh my Storm god, I Adam. killed him right at the end and got credit for Ow. first. The fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you won with murder. The god, Spy the X Family. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I only did one mission, which was the targets. That feeling when you get married and a daughter in three days, but they're neither but they're neither an assassin nor psychic. I would be honored to. I do admire your American Western adventure novel so. And I like to bash bandits. It feels very of its time. Yeah, Bandito attack. Yes, it seems very of its time. <laughs> Attention, freaky flyer. You are being called upon to protect the fort below from bloodthirsty bandits. <laughs> the tower defense? Stem the tide of these incoming marauders by destroying their bases and buy the resident soldiers enough time to repair any damage to the fort. Although you're risking your own life for these anonymous soldiers, I feel confident that knowing you're helping others is enough reward. Oh, how I envy you, rich with the satisfaction that can only come through charity, while I am forced to live my days with so much empty, meaningless cash and the large screen TV. <laughs> Good luck, you selfless wonder. Good luck. I'm feeling that one of us is uh, okay Don't with shoot the, the charity. Don't shoot the mariachi band. That's the hint. John, no, you can't shoot my people. So, John, you picked this character to be yourself and Cherry, right? You're the unhinged. I didn't know it was going to be a Jekyll and Hyde situation. Mm -hmm. No, no, Jekyll, Jekyll and Hyde. Of course, the he... first thing I found was the fucking mariachi band. 
If he'll be Mr. Hyde, then I'll be Mr. Seek. Really? <laughs> That's an actual lie to the book. I, I, I believe you, I've never read the book. Most people haven't, which is why True. it's all, which is why people are like, oh, it's split personality. No, it's not. Probably the whole like public perception, changing the osmosis of like how he feels. Yeah, that's about exactly it. what it is. He basically makes an alter ego so he can go uh, in indulge danger. in his base desires, which are never explained. Not to clues, I suppose. And then he starts mur and then he starts murdering people and it's like okay n uh, never mind it's literally his evil half no it is just like all right i'm putting on a face but this guy's anonymous so uh i can do whatever the hell i want like this your fort has been repaired oh that's nice cuz i got the uh the guy's there in time. Yeah. Don't do that. Well, I guess that works too. Oh. Yeah, no clues were given what he was doing, doing aside from the ones that we literally see. You're a fan of overly sarcastic productions? Uh, yep. But no, I did actually read it too. Your fort is in danger. So is my airplane. What's your point? Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. You think we go after the plane that's like shooting their forces? Yeah. No, nah, that would just make sense. Montaro reading books? Oh wait, it's Montaro, not Maniacal. Thank you. Yes, I <laughs> wow. do in fact read books. Wow. I read books too. Oh, we're fucked, aren't we? Yep. Dang. That seemed kind of tricky. Yeah. Yeah, Red and Blue are fun with their um, mythology and literature stuff. Michael, you misread books. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Name a book? Percy Jackson. I read the Percy Jackson books. It's been a bad, but I didn't. Oh, read you them. read name every book. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible. I was gonna Bible. say that's the easy one. Just do the Bible. No, the easy one is the Epic of Gilgamesh. Uh, is that truly the easiest one? All right, to the wheel. You question the words of the mighty Jimmy? That says the Bible. How can you read this? There's no pictures. Yeah. Some of us use our imagination, Gaston. Gaston, you absolute primitive. What is Nightmare Reaper? Who suggested this game? Let's find out. <clears throat> Xeno Type C is the name of the person who suggested this one. Alright, let's see what that is and what I have it on. My guess, Steam. I feel like it'd be a Steam game, yeah. Yep, Steam. Cool, cool. Mega Nerd, that's not how it goes. He was just transform. He was just tr transforming himself and then using that as a disguise. The Doomer shooter. Ooh, we were just playing Doom recently, or Duke Nukem recently, which is also that same style. True. Like, near the end, when he's starting to go crazy, he's starting to be, like, he's starting to think of it as a bit more split personality. M-rated game, by the looks. Ook. Legend of Daniel, here's your Wisdom of Duke Nukem. I wait for this to finish installing. 
Oh great, this again. I figured you'd be excited, Duke. It's a game that mm -hmm. plays like your game. I figured you'd be happy. Duke just wants change. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Duke games used to be side scrollers. I believe it. That is true. Bah. slider I need to make this not be obnoxiously loud there we go now let's get it on screen oh, my project Windows 64 shipping exe oh boy all right Kick. I have a kick button and a push button. Kick punch, it's all in the mind. It's Wolfenstein. Uh, We're playing Wolfenstein. Looks like it. I have. I know I have a Wolfenstein, but I've never played it. I think it's one of the newer ones. I think it's Old Blood. It's pronounced Wolfenstein. Well, my name is Igor. Uh, yep, sure enough. Old Blood, that's what I own. It could be fun to go through at some point. Yeah, claw oh. that rock. I like how earlier when you were like trying to figure out the body, it looked like you were petting that lantern on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yes, pet the fire. Pet the fire, caress it with your fingies. My precious fire. You are fire, burn higher, become a pyre, a true bone fire. Oh. Hmm? Ooh. The right knives. Are they unlimited? Let's see who gets that deep cut. I don't cut. see anything going <laughs> down, so I'm going to assume. You got treasure. What did that do? Oh, it opened the door. Okay. Alternate attack. This just... I have a Game Boy SP! <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I'm reminded seeing this game... Of like, uh, this is like one Doom mod that people might be aware of called My House. It's like myhouse.wad. I believe it's like the Is it full, in the like, middle of our street? Um, not sure. And the main thing I know about it is that it's that it's that it's it's really impressive like Doom mod that kind of like veers like the horror aspects. I've heard it's like really good actually. Do you want to know what's the real horror? You should like go into blind. Yeah, that, that's like what I've mainly heard with it. It's like best experience it like for yourself first. You want to know the real horror though? John just killed some baby skeletons. Did I? Oh, there's the yep, music. They, there were very. Hey. There were some very small ones earlier in the pat in the room just a second ago. Oh, I know it's not like my house. It's just more so I was just kind of thinking about that, seeing like a kind of a a game like this again. Here comes the metal. Hell yeah. John, murdering's normal Tuesday. It's Wednesday. Not anymore. Well, not for you. Still is oh, for me and John, though. A level two weapon. Only for 13 more minutes for John. Try grenade launcher. Try grenade launcher? Okay. Ooh. 
Alright, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere with this game. Oh boy, grenades. Oh no, babies! Oh. This, is, this is sick, actually. Like, kind of old Doom style like this. Metal soundtrack, hell yeah. Grenade launchers don't kill people, I kill people. I need more games. I need more games with metal soundtracks. Honestly, <laughs> I want to feel the power. Taking splash damage from a dam. Uh, have you heard of this wonderful video game called Xenoblade Chronicles X? No. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. The wind blows hard in December. Last fight, do you remember? Fender, attain a five times combo. Hell nice. yeah. Unironically love that song. Oh, I, lo I love Uncontrollable. Gun, and it sparkles like new. I love you, That's rock, not metal. Eh, close enough. Wow, this orb sucks. <laughs> Look, the orb is trying its best. That's the problem. <laughs> it's not good enough. No, the problem is it's trying to kill me. I don't want it to. Not good enough. I mean, yeah, you don't want it to kill you, but it's, you know, it's it's kind of orb family to feed and like orb food to put on the orb table. Hey, uh, that, no that table. enemy needs to provide for its family. Its family of orbs. It gets a bonus if it kills you before you get through all eight worlds of fun levels. Choose one level one weapon to keep. I guess the knife. Oh, interesting. Okay. Keep knife? Sure. Gun, though. I see you were in a hospital now. Blazing Big Games credits. Evolve PR. Eh, pay no attention to the screams. I've been anticipating the first meeting with a patient with a blend. Oh. I got myself into. I didn't expect the commentary. Yeah, voice acting. Oh boy. Back to bed, I guess. Night, night. Good night. Hollow Stone, part one. And that's why it's called Nightmare Reaper. Okay, I get it now. Fascinating. Yeah. I guess you guys are in a psych ward from what people were saying in the chat. And you're fighting things in your dreams. Man, this game is really perfect for you, huh, John? I know that you are kicking that, but I keep thinking that, like, you're just knocking rats off of the wall. Michael, I want you to think about the fact that you basically just said, I belong in the psych ward. <laughs> no, that's not the part I meant. I more so meant the dreaming parts. <laughs> I know, but you paired them both together, so. Look, it's like an Oreo, right? You can remove the cream if you don't want it. Uh-huh. Flutter combo. See, Star's got my back. She's like, I mean, is he wrong? Exactly. I'm not wrong. Do I... Star, are you tell me I belong in, in a mental institution? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, no. I'm just saying you have dreams, man. Like, you have Most a lot of them. Most people do. Yeah. Just I have a dream. I have a dream. John, we're going to take you to the Pharma Province. Just trust us. Oh my God. John, are you a cyborg? Did you take your HDMI meds? Yes, I took my HDMI meds. Fine, I plugged them in. Could you belong in one about as much as I do, at least. Eh, fair. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a friend. Go give him a hug. Just remember, sanity is a requirement for our kind. 
a lot of skellies. Skelly boys. The things obtain 20 treasures. Spooky. Why did you scratch the door to open it? If I have to imagine, it's probably because of like the like whole, I guess, craziness, I guess you could say, like if a character losing their minds, that's what I'm imagining. Obtain a legendary weapon. Ooh. Sanity is for the weak. Tell that to Professor Paradox. He's really tough for you. He got bored of going mad and went sane. Very sane. Okay, you're just very tough. All right. Isn't Professor Paradox just the doctor? No, he's only one person and also immortal. Shiny obtain a he rare weapon. They're just giving me fucking everything now. Auto pistol rare, 22% magazine size plus 232% pull. Semi-auto rifle legendary, random project random projectile plus 20% chance sun chance plus 7% critical chance. Interesting. Oh, and a chest too, Jesus. Everything was in this one room. A regular ass Glock. Obtain an uncommon weapon. You're welcome, Green. Everybody say thank you to, to, to Green. Why are we saying thank you to Green? Oh, you know. Really? I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't thanking. I was saying you're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? I think this actually is kind of like a mixture of roguelike and boomer shooter. Yeah, this game looks sick as fuck, actually. I'm not going to lie. Like, watching this, I'm like, this actually kind of seems up my alley. Which is funny, because I don't really... I haven't really played much in the way of boomer shooters, I guess you could say. Like, I played... I mean, I... I, 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 I played 2016 Doom and a Doom Eternal, but that's obviously not this style, you know? It's similar, of course, because it's still Doom, but it's not like this old cool setting. Headshot, obtain 20 headshot. I'm getting so many freaking achievements, dude. Hell yeah. Called Diamond Reaper, let's look this up on Steam. Nice. All right, so it's about 25 bucks on Steam currently. Okay, I'm not surprised who owns this game. <laughs> who owns it? Uh, John, obviously, but the other person is uh, a, a, a good friend of mine who uh, they're really big into like boomer shooters like Doom and Blood and such like that. Murder the babies. They're also a boss of Metroid Prime. Wowie. Is it Flogger? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But um, just getting a bunch of achievements right now. Fuck yeah! God yeah! yeah. I'm, like, wait, I'm I'm, I'm wishless in this dude. This looks so fucking sick. Now I'll, I'll read the Steam description here. Progress through the cursed depths of a nightmare while finding an arsenal of powerful weapons and improving your abilities along the way. This retro-inspired FPS with looter, shooter, and roguelite elements. Breaches the wall between classic and modern gameplay. John will eventually become an expert on Ben 10 lore without even seeing the show. All two to Green and Cocom's just going on tangents about the show. <laughs> I feel like I know so much about Kolioko because of that alone, so yeah, I could see that. Kolioko oh, no, is a great no. time. Oh, if, I, if I can't up turning back into fucking Ben 10 characters in my own dreams, too, then what I'm gonna do at that point is like, oh, I'll learn it from there, then I guess at that point. Are there robots in Ben 10? <laughs> Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yo, Columbo. Change a weapon stat for 4,500. I don't know if I want to change any of these stats. I remember watching Code Lyoko back in the day. It was a very good show. I remember being really into it. I guess we're not going to be playing yeah. very long. So let's change something on. Oh, I can pick. Oh, I can pick exactly what one I want to change. The, we, we you are, in fact, the literal French here, Camille. You are the French. You are the code, Lyoko. You are the French. You, you, you are the code. The code of Lyoko. Ailita is also the code, Lyoko. 
Yeah, let's see, we, Ailita we found is the original E girl. Not wrong. Wall hugger, get all secrets in a level. Nice, nice. I, mean, I did in the previous stage, but whatever. Maybe you missed something and Jeez, just didn't give it to you. I don't know. Keep absolutely the semi-auto rifle. Oh yeah. I remember like Kolioko itself was great. I remember not hearing great things about the sequel series Evolution. Yes, that was the fun to one. Turn on his timer. I liked Evolution. It was fun. Um, we've been here for like how long have we been on this game now? I don't know actually. Let's check the VOD. I got a channel here I can look at. Had failed to improve the patient's condition and had managed to get rid of her for dubious reasons. The sequel sucks. I liked it. Cortex was cool. William getting to do things again was cool. Uh, about like four hours, eight minutes into the VOD, and we've been going about. Four hours, twenty-four minutes. So I'd argue like another like four or five minutes, maybe. Oh, okay. Hollowstone Part Two. <laughs> oh, the Oko Evolution doesn't exist in Bossing, say. All right, UD. Hmm? There's no war in Bossing, say. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, I did see that uh, the Netflix series did get greenlit for <laughs> books two and three. Well, they got greenlit for two seasons. We presume it will be just book, each one a book, but we technically don't know that yet. That is true. We don't know, but it's a safe bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Reckoning of Roku is releasing in July. And supposedly next year we're supposed to get an adult uh, Ang movie. Yeah, that one. You know, that one's going to be animated. Animated. The original creators aren't going to leave it. It's like you know the Netflix one. <laughs> or the Netflix show wasn't good. It had some inspired choices. It had others that weren't. So I'm going to bring this up because this is my thoughts on like what I've been hearing. The more and more I hear about like the Netflix Avatar. I might argue it's like the new, like when Disney redid Lion King, it's like kind of that again, where there's a lot of people who really enjoy it because of like, you know, they're like, oh, I just, I just like it. Or they like it because they're like, oh, it's like my childhood, but it looks so much better now, all live action. But there's also a lot of people who are like, well, I, it kind of feels like this should have still been animated or it doesn't really feel as good. Like, I, I feel like there's a real comparison you can make with the same cultural impacts that the you know, CGI remake Lion King has with its original, like how Netflix Avatar has with the original animated series. I will say, uh, the Chainsaw original Avatar is... gun? The original Chained Avatar is also saw. on Netflix right now, uh, and it is about... Book one is about the same length as the live-action one. So just watch the original. Hey, or obtain horse water. <laughs> <laughs> It was not bad. It, like you, you, some people might find more enjoyment out of it. I think I would have enjoyed it more if I had never seen the original before. Because uh, right. like most of the changes are good story change are like tell a good story. It's just using characters in a way that I don't care for because I liked their original interpretation. What is this? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, what's up with this room? Ooh, nice. Good finds. Get out of here, they're getting damaged. See, it's funny, Pantero, because I'm seeing your comment about like Hollywood should do more like animated versions of live action movies. We are getting that with Twilight, like, because Twilight's getting an animated uh, movie. Of course, I don't think that's what people wanted first, was Twilight of all things, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a step in the right direction. <laughs> what is Does that? it remove the original goofiness? Not, not nearly as much as people are saying. Does it remove some of it? Yes. Does it still keep a lot of it? Yes. Ang is no longer a kid? Yes, he is. Yes, the Stephanie Meyer Twilights.
Is it better than the original live action movie? Oh, it's so, 100%. Well, 99. I, I, there is one thing that I will say the original movie did better than the live action uh, Netflix series. The show did it better. The original show still did it better, but there's one thing I will argue the live action got the live action movie by M. Light Shyamalan, M. Night Shyamalan did a little bit better. Not gonna say what it is though. Mm -hmm. Oh, shurikens, baby, let's go. Ooh. I still think my favorite bits from the M. Night Shyamalan Avatar movie is when we need like eight earthbenders to move a little pebble. <laughs> it's the funniest fucking thing in the world, dude. <laughs> Does it have the long boulder dance? No. Don't know what that did. Oh, the shurikens explode. I should be careful. I saw people in chat mention like, what about Scott Pilgrim? I guess, like, when it comes to the argument of, like, turning live-action films into, like, animated films, it's... I, I would say something like Scott Pokemon doesn't count, because it was already, um, a graphic a novel originally. Book. Yes. It, it, versus something like, let's say, like, they were like, oh, here's, like, you know, this, uh, animated movie based off, like, oh, I don't know, like, Dune or something, right? Which was a book first, but, you know, if we're going by stuff, like, the more so adapting the movie into an animated format. Yeah, Twilight is a... Twilight was a, uh, paper book. Not mm. a graphic book. Yeah, like if they did like animated John Wick, which I could actually see happening. That would be fun. Would it just would it just be novel? I don't know. Is there just like a differentiating term for when it's just words as opposed to graphics? Kind of virtual boy cartridge. Virtual boy. Skill it is just tree. novel. Eh. Ooh. Pro prose. That's it. Yeah, prose novel. That's it. That's the word. Thank you. Oh my god. It's Mario 3. <laughs> no, no, uh... Yuki, I don't mean, uh, like, novel. I don't... Because like, graphic novel still uses the word novel. I was meaning, is there a term specifically for a novel that only has words? And prose is what it is. Yo, the trophies. Do 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 Plus 20 max life. Birch, buy a skill from the tree. Nice, nice. Plus 20 start life. Let's do the stage for this. Can I jump on the zombies? I can. Good. What about the Star Wars movies as animated movies? I mean, we got a couple of, like, uh, long specials for Clone Wars and Rebels. Oh, the, uh, were you referring to, like, Clone Wars? Are you referring to, like, the Jenny Tartakovsky ones, or...? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember which one. Is it, if it's like I might it's the, like the, Clone Wars. the like animated, the like uh, hand drawn animation one. That those ones were not long specials. Those ones were it, all shit. very short. Is it, if it's like if it's like the animated one from like the two thousands that or somewhere around then that should be the Jendi Tartakovsky ones uh, that he did for Clone Wars, which I want to watch those because I've heard those are really good. I, w I definitely watched some of them, but I did not. But, like, I never caught all of them. Mm hmm. I mean, if you got Disney Plus, they're all on there. Yeah. Talking about the canon Clone Wars. Yeah. I'm still happy they're bringing back uh, Star Wars Battlefront from that recent direct. It's great. How do I. Oh, I had to go. Ah. Uh... Ah, I, I see. I can't go back. Dang it. No. They tricked me. Plus 20 start life. Plus 15% walk speed. Just to point out, we are probably at time at this oh, we point. We are super over time at this point. Yeah. yeah. But you are having fun, and that's what matters more. I think we're set to go to break and now anyways, so. Mm-hmm. Shit. Dang. Oh no. Man, I'm glad that zombies are weak to being stomped on. Yeah. Well, we do have combat boots on, so we seem to be doing some heavy damage with them. With these spiky cleats, anything is possible! 
Oh, punishing here if you don't take the right path immediately, dang. And do I have enough for anything else? Treasure. Ooh. Money, money, money. Must be funny. In a rich, rich man's, man's world. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All the things I, I could, could do. If I, if had, I a had a little money. It's a rich man's world. It's a rich man's world. You can tell what I was raised on. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Anyone here uh, honestly looking forward to Stellar Blade? Honestly, yeah. I'm not sure if I'll grab it immediately, but like... Okay. I, I really want to grab it because I'm just like, dude, I love character action games. And like, I don't know, man. Like, that just looks kind of sick. Actually, here's my question. Were you raised on ABBA or... Mamma Mia, the show. Yeah, Abba. Okay. Because yeah, I was raised my, on the sh I was raised on the show. My parents had. Um, oh my god. I don't even get half this shit. Can't even reach half this shit. Did they click to have an upgrade before coming in here? Maybe I don't know. Yay. Yay. Uh, my parents had an Abba Gold album that he would listen to whenever we go on car rides. The show? Don't you mean the movie? No, the broad the Broadway musical show. Cute open skill tree. Okay, cool. All right, are we at the end of the stage. I want to save my progress. Looks like, okay. All right, let me quickly do double back here to make sure I didn't miss anything, and then I will uh, end this, and then we'll go to the break. Let's see what we're playing after the break, And the level. Old man, obtain V. For vitamin? Viagra. Fernando is a good song, too. There was something in the air. Today. Yeah, that night the There's stars the were bright. Fernando. Though we never thought that we could lose, there's no regrets. There's no regret. If I had to do the same again, I would. I would, my friend. My friend Fernando. Fernando. <laughs> that one I know more from uh, that 70s show than just like than just like the actual album because that's not in that's ah, not in mamma mia we missed two treasures Dang. and all kills in a level hey that's good nice oh i gotta choose one level one weapon to keep sure it can, uh, don't, i don't lose my semi my legendary semi-auto rifle maybe so that's a legendary weapon dude do you sure you won't lose that i gotta lose my poor chainsaw garage sale sell 10 weapons but it is in Mamma Mia 2. I did see that. I believe that it is. The only one I Ooh. actually remember for sure what that was in Mamma Mia 2 was uh, I Kissed the Teacher. Interesting. So your character's kind of messing things up more. My care as some kind of last resort. Huh. All right, well, this is the sign to stop here now before I get too invested. How long is this This seems pretty fucking about. cool. I like this. Yeah, it yeah. does. All right. Boss! Oh, let's check the wheel first. What are we doing? Boss wheel! Jeez, about... Main plus extra is about 31 and a half hours. 31 and a half? From what I'm seeing on Backloggery, yeah. So Jesus, like little, like, that's substantial. It's like a kind of dark blue color, which means it's on a lot of entries. So it's hard to say for sure. Sonic Superstars! Sonic Superstars! Oh boy. All Let's right. see. Who suggested this? There's multiple. Probably a lot of people. Just uh, three people. Oh, two so entries from one. Mitchetter93, one from DB Koopa, and one from Lundea Darune. Huh. All right. 
Let's drop some eggs, go to break. I gotta grab another almond bar, and then we will be back. Almond okay. bar. Of the wheel. This is game 11 or 12 coming up here now. That's a great question. It is game That's 11. a question for somebody who is paying attention. No, the site tracks that for me. This is game 11. Okay. Gadzooks for 93, Pokedoot 14 for 113, and Translucent Spartan for 81. Thanks for stopping hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the Shuffler. <laughs> you will give me an egg. I love how the beginning is so loud on that one. <laughs> right, back in a bit. Bum, bum, ba, da, da. Bum. I mean, I could just tell you to go to sleep, Mimo, if you want. Go to sleep right now. Have dreams. Honey, honey, you need to go to sleep. You can't just stay up constantly, honey. Does not work like that? Sorry. I'll be the I'll be the new John. You doing the mommy voice? Nah, I'm doing the wine on voice right now, honey. <laughs> I implore you, go the fuck to sleep. You want, you want the 2.9 million now? I'll take the money. I don't think I'm going to take the extra baggage that comes with it. <laughs> I mean, I will take I will take 2.9 million. <laughs> it, it comes with tits. It. Dang. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that uh I have to use that 2.9 million to purchase the tits. So, no, it does not. In fact, I can just disappear. Because two point nine million dollars. No one says I can't use part of the money to get rid of them after I get them. Yeah, that too. Two point nine is conditional on getting the tits for John, maybe. I didn't agree to anything. I never agreed to this. Well, in the meantime, chat, uh, any questions for us while we wait on John to get back? You're John now. I have to deal with that. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. The issue is I need to sweeten the deal. Nah. Favorite chip of gummy? I like worms. G gummy worms are pretty good. I like sour gummy worms too, yeah. Yeah. There's also, I guess, like uh, Sour Patch Kids, so it's not too bad either. Thoughts on the Switch 2? And I don't know if it will be called the Switch 2. It will certainly, hopefully, run things better because Jesus Christ, the Switch is starting to show its age. <laughs> What's your favorite GIF on good, the wall? Yeah. Obviously, beware. To nobody's shock, my favorite GIF is beware. The Beware GIF is pretty good, I would agree. The, the chop suey in the top left is pretty great. Switch is chugging. Mine's working fine. Yes! 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 On some Battlefront Classic cl Collection, outselling Elden Ring DLC in terms of pre-order. Cool. I'm not too shocked that a collection outsold a DLC on pre-orders. I think most people don't pre-order DLCs. You ever ordered DoorDash at 3 a.m.? No, because I've never ordered Door Door DoorDash. It's not super worth it. Thoughts on Epic Mickey? Looks fun. Never yeah, played any yeah. of them, so. Yeah, I have a... Wii one, um, but never touched it, so now it's a new version. It's like, oh, okay. Who's that standing behind you? I mean, I got my uh, Noah. I got my Noah portrait behind me. The one I, the one I got signed by Harry McIntyre. Nice. 
favorite game thus far this year. I mean, I probably would say Persona 3 Reload. Yeah. Really Persona 3 Portable is already one of my favorite games, so, like, getting to play, like, you know, better Persona 3 was great. Really enjoyed Pers it. Persona fan, excited to play Persona for the first time. I I've played them plenty of times. No, I'm talking about me. Well, ah, okay, enough. no. The first... <laughs> I can't say that because I've beaten Persona 5 Strikers. Mm. The only Persona game I've beaten. <laughs> Amazing. I just remember the summer where I played Persona 3 Portable like six times. <laughs> oh man, that was great. Did you like Strikers? Oh, it was so much fun. Go play Persona 5 Royal now, but I don't want to do the pyramid. I want to play. I want to go through Tartarus. <sighs> Strikers has a hot ass Delph, and I want him in my house now. <laughs> Zenkichi is pretty cool. Were you disappointed about the clock transition being different? Nah, it's not It's not a big deal. I mean, things are gonna get changed. It's like, eh, it's, it's whatever. It's a cool transition still. Yeah, it's not, I, uh, it's definitely a different feel, I would say, but it's not enough to be like, oh, this like ruins it. It's like, no, it's just, it's just a different feel. That's certainly it. e -ho. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Did you rest well? No. Dang. Well, that's okay. Did the almond bar heal you? I hope so, because my stomach's a Yay. little mad. But it's mainly because the food I ate was not very filling for dinner. I had one of those, like, steamer dishes that were really good. It was, like, penne, pasta, broccoli, chicken, in like, a marinara sauce. Really nice, but it was also one of those, like, healthy choices, so it wasn't super filling. Mimo, I don't think Maniacal ever told you to go to sleep. Did you? That was me. I thought... No, I thought I told Mimo to go to bed. Did I not? Was it both of us? It's just both of you. I, just I tell definitely did. To go to bed. I definitely did. I didn't think you said go to sleep. You both did? Okay. <laughs> I thought that was maybe the case, yeah. John, these two wants to be you and get the $2.9 million, but without the tits attached to it. Can you believe their gull? Lamau joke. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I can't blame him for wanting $2.9 million. Yeah. The money would be very nice to have, I won't lie. Yeah. Do you I even could get rid of my, co get rid of no. my college loans? It's it like, was a loan. steamer disc. Steam, like you, like it's heated up by steam. It I was not buy so steamed. many Pokemon cards. All right, Adrian Kell says, what's the worst thing to see in Blast Core? Now do it faster, carry your time trials. Now go for Platinum or just Diamond Sands because fuck that level. Mmm, I forgot about Diamond Sands. I'll say now go for Platinum. Absolutely now go for Platinum, fuck that. I will never Platinum advance, or sorry, uh, Blast Core. Never. That rough? Dude, it was notorious for a reason. Okay. <laughs> Do you have to get the titties? It's part of the natural order. I didn't agree to that. John did. Did I even agree to that? I guess I did. Because I just wanted the two point nine million dollars. Well, I wanted. I don't get. I wanted. And I'm not just like. Nah, I don't need boobs. Grease Lightning says. I just remember the scene of Jesse and James' first meeting. Jesse tells. James, she's not going to carry him if he gets in trouble. And James says, the only person who's ever carried me is my mama. I love how Jesse and James have, like, five different backstories each. Never a shortage. It's like the Joker. Just, which one's the canonical one? No one will know. Legend of Daniel says, Maniacal returns. He's weak. Get him, Montaro. Oh, Maniacal return. He's weak. Get him, Montaro's in Pokemon. Oh, okay. And then Daniel says, don't know if this one went through with my sub, but I turned 32 on the 7th, which is today for me. Happy birthday, Daniel. I'm just hoping it's a good one. Rio9 says, it was very weird seeing the word birthday in the stream title because by the time you read this, it should actually be my own survival anniversary in your time zone. I guess something about luck should be happening, but I can't help pondering your wacky dreams and how contagious the weirdness might be. 
Either way, thanks for all the entertainment and for being a stand-up guy, uh, guy all around. Bleh, guy all around. Thank you, Rio. Appreciate it. Happy birthday to you. And I'm going to assume dreams are not contagious because that would be weird. I don't know. How many times has Cherry shown up in other people? Touche. If I ever win the lottery, I'm donating $10,000 for you to Platinum Blast Corps. For $10,000, I would think about it. <laughs> because it, it really sucks to Platinum Blast Corps. It really actually sucks. Colin, the Game Boy says, check your Discord messages. What? Colin, you could put that in our block, you know. Ah, oh, damn it. And because of that, I accidentally erased the list of games we've played tonight. Shit. Oops. Um. Bullshit! This is what they sent me. <laughs> the fucking Terran from the title screen of StarCraft 64. Alright, art block. <laughs> what an awful dream. John's and Claire's everywhere, and I thought I saw a cherry. It was just a dream, John. There's no such thing as cherry. Thank thanks, Reese. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I almost missed that. I almost missed that. <laughs> From O2 to CO2. Hi, John. When I said that hard retro games are John Core, I was referring to the fact that you literally have a hit list of games that you want revenge on. Most of the game clearing this year has been mostly short revenge games, and you know, Cough, Cough, Kaiser, Cough, Cough, Superman 64, Cough, Cough, Ninja Gaiden, Cough, Cough, John Cabarro Lozenge. I'm more horse than your wife over here. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. And then the fitness cram pacer test at the bottom. Thanks, O2. Next up, why am I not surprised? From Kirin yeah. Hideyoshi, may the crystal be with you. Now it's time to enact justice against the sober lords with your beer saber. Tonight I wanted to start with an wow. idea. No bedtime for me until, unless I got a drawing done, even if it's a simple one such as what you're seeing here. Not sure if that line of thinking will come back to bite me in the hindquarters, but there's only one way to find out. The idea of Obi-Wan handing Luke a bottle of crystal beer instead of a lightsaber had me put two and two together, lighting up my gray cells. You'll excuse me, I'll be heading off to acquire slumber till the next stream. Thank you, Kira and I. The beer saber will be very well used, I'm sure. Yay, sleep. And last but not least, before a refresh check from Aelita, Mareep's feeling giddy that there's a storm overhead. She'll uh, she be hoping for some lightning strikes to floof up her electric fleece. Yes, I know Puzzle League only has Gen 1 Pokemon in it, but a Pokemon's a Pokemon. Shush. Also, I think it's my first time drawing Mareep. Also, also, crap, I forgot about Tracy's Pokemon team in the game having Meryl plus Togepi being in some spots. So, oops, there's some Gen 2 mons in there, too. I think you mean Pika Blue. Thank you very much. Pika Blue. Pika. Pika Blue. Bullsh Ooh, that's loud. Let's turn that, that was a bit loud. A little bit. It's all good. I forgot because Freaky Flyers was so quiet, I had to crank the volume. He also make the peak of blue joke. Oh, yeah. of course, I grew up in that era. What was that era like, honestly? Uh, Jaywix did a video about that. It's really fun. It's really fun. It was a lot of pushing against that one truck trying to find Mew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Here's the thing: if that missing no, if like the old man glitch did not work, half of those rumors would have like no merit. Right. Oh, this was RSS, right? Correct. Yes. It's like people probably still would have gone to that truck, but they would have been like, "Okay, this doesn't actually do anything." But because like missing no, the missing no glitch with the old man exists, and just like, "Oh yeah, talk to this old man, go through the tutorial, then surf along this specific line, and you can run into a Pokemon that will turn the sixth item in your bag." to like 128. It's like, that all worked. And they're just like, yeah, if you use strength on this truck, you'll get a Mew. Just like, I believe you. 
Look at how many Sonics there are. Oh no, it's the missing no. Uh... <laughs> oh no. I so much mileage out of this one joke. Dude, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, it's great. <laughs> what is that? It's missing no. Oh no. All right. Thanks Last to Rando and Archipelago, this... Mew does now exist under the truck. <laughs> Correct, which is great. Yeah, there is a Mew glitch in Gen 1, but it has nothing to do with a truck. It's like you use teleport when some NPC is about to challenge you. It's like, I forget which. There's a like... lot of steps with it. I remember like when I streamed Pokemon Blue. Uh, I think Lennon guided me through like how to do it exactly. So I just used the Mew on my team. People would come into the stream like, why do you have a Mew on your team? I'm like, oh, it's funny you say that. <laughs> Speed jungle, act one. Yeah, we showed off the missing no glitch during the uh, blue Nuzlocke retrospective. We're just like, and like uh, one of the things was like, all right, if I... I'm going to use the Master Ball on whatever I run into if it's over level 100. If we run into Missing No, though, uh, I'm just running and not counting this as an encounter. We got a level 171 uh, Nidor Nidorina. So I've heard very mixed things about Sonic Superstars. I've heard that the game's fine. Just at worst, like, the bosses are kind of rough. The boss is the one thing I've probably heard the most shade dropped about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still haven't played it. I'm waiting for it to go to like 10 bucks, honestly. I've already seen it go for 20. I'm like, I can wait longer. <laughs> do, 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 Catch do, the do. Chaos Emerald. Oh, I think God. this is like, honestly a really cool way to, to do, do this. The, uh, like, I think this is honestly a really cool idea of like how to do like your like Emerald stage. It's this big like open area that you like swing across it's kind of cool honestly man i can't believe blue spheres have you can't even collect blue spheres anymore you have to swing from them i know it's truly tragic yeah it's spider amy there you go yay <laughs> i'm interested in your game sir i'll buy you the price of a sandwich to be fair waiting on video games like i know like this will get really cheap in due time i don't mind doing new power Bullet. Bullet. Dash through the air. Amy's neutral B is a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, Froggy! Froggy, no! Boing. Mimo says I'm gonna go to bed. I'll just have to take Maniacal and Montara as my Jami replacements. Oh well. Do you want? Do you want me to use the mom voice to tell you to go to bed that badly, Mimo? I gave them a wine on to a good good night. Maybe? Maybe? Jesus Christ. All right. All right, sweetie. I'll give you the mom voice this time. Mimo, have a good night. All right, sweetie. Sophia, go get some bad time. <laughs> this is why I don't offer this feature normally. This, it's a feature now? I guess. Wait. I, I at least was given some actual stuff. Hang on. <laughs> I just had an idea for a terrible channel point redemption. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we have it, like, priced really high. And the channel point redemption is basically says Jami says something to you. <laughs> we priced it at like a hundred k. How am I good at that? Because I am a theater miner. D says no bad. You boo me because I'm right. Mm, we boo you for a lot of reasons. Sometimes because <laughs> oh, you're right. Sometimes because you're right. Not always though. 
Look, I, I'm someone who plays to the masses, and I think the masses, you know, want, want this voice. Do they? C certain masses. Uh, no, do. I will, I will, I will agree with that one. Actually? Yes. Look, considering how many times people are asking, like, hey, can you do the voice for me? Like, you gotta start, like, weaponizing it, dude. And weaponizing it in a way that, like, you know, you have to, like, do um, a How many times do you say you're giving me too much power and you're just like, do they really want this voice? You gotta start charging for it, dude. Oh my god, you guys. People thinking doing that, the mom voice got them the voice train. <laughs> what is that command, Deef? <laughs> Stop having bad ideas. No, bad. <laughs> you fear my... Like... Actually, Monaco has a point, Cole says. Exactly. You boo me, but I am correct. If you offer this feature, In John, this people would genuinely go to sleep and John would lose viewership. Oh, I, didn't, <laughs> I, think, I don't think they mean literally just telling people to go to bed. I think they straight up mean like just saying different things with the voice. Yeah, within Not, reason, of Cole's course. Cole's agreeing for to charge for using the mom voice. Wait, what do they have? Cameo, you could do cameo. Huh? John, your mom voice genuinely accidentally made my femme voice better. Oh my god. See, there you go. Is Mimo even Change still here? Did, did Mimo leave? Am I t not telling him to go to bed? Mimo, do you need to go to bed yet? You need to go to bed, sweetie. We can give you the voice. Wake up, John. God, it does feel like I am dreaming right now. <laughs> it's okay. We're all dreaming. Don't worry, Maniacal's not ruining it yet, and I haven't ended the dream because <laughs> of it. You haven't entered the dream? I'm gonna enter the dream like the fucking- No, uh... ended the dream. Oh, okay. See, now I'm gonna enter the dream like that kid from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Dream, dream, Which, dream, by dream, the way, dream, dream. I saw this tweet going around today, this unironically really good line. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, saw that going around too. One? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Okay, now I'm going this way now. Yeah, there's this tweet saying, this quote goes unironically hard, and it's, for every person who dreams up the electric light bulb, there's the one who dreams up the atom bomb. <laughs> I was like, that's actually a really good line. It is. It's said by Mr. Electric. <laughs> I mean, I mean, can we really blame, can we really be that shocked when we have do you think I get it. God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? Exactly, like Robert Rodriguez unironically making like banger lines. <laughs> Why the fuck did it go so hard? I don't know, it's great. <laughs> in the Latin Spanish dub, it was around. something far worse. I'm curious now, what was, was it? it? If you're allowed to say it drops. Yeah, if it if, if it's stream appropriate. <laughs> Gray is asking, do you live in fear of what you have created, John? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but you, you don't afraid? stay in Canada. You go to cons. I don't have a choice in the matter. Well, unless your last Canadian con. Actually, you do have a choice, but like, you know. Odafest last year was my last Canadian con. It's the only Canadian con I have at the moment. Okay. You, I know you seen Con Bravo at one point. What happened to that? Con Bravo doesn't exist ah, anymore. Ah, okay. Oh, that would explain it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I get what it is, Drops. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yeah, that is definitely worse. Interesting. That's certainly a way to take that, but all right. Any updates on Odafest? Still aiming for it? I think, if anything, I might just... I don't think we're going to be running a show there. I think, if anything, I might just vibe. I might just pop in for a day. Mm-hmm. Catch the medals. Catch the medals. Momocom we are confirmed for. We've got throw controllers and another panel on there. But, uh, yeah, Mom, or sorry, uh, Odafest likely just gonna be, I'm gonna go over there and hang out one day. Oops. No. No! Oh, no! 
Yeah, if you don't get that, it eh, just leave it. <laughs> I have a stupid idea for a revenge game playing. What's that, Rambo? Oh no, a fat bird! Oh no. What is that? It's the fat bird. Ah. It's a bug. Yeah, you need some rest. Have a comment without the running stuff. I mean, if anything, if I go to the con, I'm, I might just not. I might just not go mm -hmm. if I don't have any obligations. It's in town. Zip. Ah, dang it. I guess it was electrocuted. I'm seeing Vincent chat mention sushi. It reminds me of this fucking... I tried going to this, like, uh, sushi place today, right? I fucking show up, and it turns out... Uh, because their whole thing was like, oh yeah, there's lunch menu, right? That, like, it's like lunch prices and dinner prices. There's like yeah. a sushi buffet place. And so, it's like... I, I, I go in, right? And it's like... 320. And it, as it turns out... Um... Apparently, I just missed their lunchtime by like five minutes because apparently it's not actually for three thirty; it's actually for three fifteen. I'm like, what? I was like, all right. I decided like because I think like the price difference was like I think like ten or fifteen bucks. So I'm like, I'm not gonna pay the extra money just because I missed it by like five minutes. So I decided just to go elsewhere. <laughs> but I like took like a menu with me, so it looked like I was actually like, you know, so it didn't look like I was just walking time. in. Kind of one of those things. Yeah, exactly. I didn't need to do that, but it's kind of one of those, like, I don't really want it to, like, look like I'm just, like, walking in, walking out. I want to at least show, like, look like I'm, like, showing interest in the place by, like, coming in, you know? Thought you could tell me, you know, giant ball of wasabi? No, Rosie, it's not the wasabi this time. <laughs> this time. Yeah. During MAGFest at one point, a bunch of us were having, uh, some lunch together. I decided well, to be smart to the whole I've heard the story. A giant bird! Giant bird. What did... Th what did the sushi say to the bee? Wasabi. Yeah, so, uh, don't eat a whole ball of wasabi, like, by itself. That thing is an attack on the senses that you will not be prepared for. <laughs> John, have you seen the video? I don't know if I have, actually. I want you to know that Mater made basically the same mistake. You are human Mater. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Minus one on that joke. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Sayu would find it funny. Human mater. I'm that now human mater, man. You are uh oh shit, I don't remember the actual voice actor's name, the comedian. Uh Larry the Cable Guy. Thank you. I'd rather not be, honestly. <laughs> no. okay. I've had habaneros plenty of times. I, I don't know, dude. Like, it was just... It was more so that, like, for that wasabi... Wasn't it that it was spicy? Is that it just, like, made my mouth dry in a way I wasn't expecting? I could have... I think I could have handled it otherwise. It wasn't for that sudden dryness. I don't really care... I don't really care for chilies too much. I, I'll eat curry, but... Eh. Oh, dude... I got to have curry for the first time, like, during MAGFest. It was so fucking good. Yeah, I get, I've gotten a bunch of uh, different curry meals from uh, HelloFresh. Nice, nice. Oh, can I just not attack him? Okay. It's very entertaining. Uh, you cancel your order, and then they just keep sending you, just like, hey, do you want to come back for 75% off? And just like, ah, huh, three meals for $20 is a pretty good deal. I have learned to game the system. Yes. I mean, no shame in that. Actually, I think it's poor meals, actually. Well, there's tremendous shame in that. Mm. Nah, I don't care. You're stealing from this big corporation. How this could you? This corporation has feelings, too! Shame in this economy? I guess you word it like that, sure. He 
If you want to stop me from stealing money from the corporation, head to Twitch. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> head to twitch.tv forward slash Proton John and drop a sub today. Please. Please do it. Oh, God. If you do this, John will be very happy. You don't want to see John sad. That gets uncomfortable. Yeah. Make John happy. Thanks, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how to feel about that statement I just heard. Please stop crying. It makes all of us very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all I know. All I know how to do is cry. I've become so numb. Yeah, you should subscribe. Video. Oh no. <laughs> you can access to the Discord where all the cookies hang out, or cool kids hang out. I don't know why I said cookies. The cookies hang out there too, technically. They Yay. do. Yeah, and you can share cookies into other Discords. You can. You should drop us up, Proton John may finish Superman 64. <laughs> I want John to be happy. I do too, honestly. John, you deserve to be happy. John, Thank you. I enjoy when you're happy. I do too. You're all, you're all very kind. Like, genuinely, like, whenever you're having a good time, it brings such a good energy to, like, the stream oh, and, like, just, like, to the community. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's like, you know, it's cool to see you being happy, you know? I, I feel bad that I've been so low energy lately. Like, I don't know what's going on. My body's just, like, uh, uh, fatigued. Uh, uh, uh. This is a present mm. from me to So you. I feel bad that it's... Oh Look at your left. Yeah. I feel, I feel okay. bad that I just like... There's a, there's a bunch of streams where I feel like I'm just low energy. Well, and I don't friend, know if it's just me thinking that because that's just again. me or what. But like it feels I like... Mean, like yesterday's disc only, I barely said shit. And I was just so exhausted. I was like falling asleep at my, at my desk. I mean... You, Meanwhile, so, I got you wouldn't have been the, the You wouldn't have been the first one. That's true. That is extremely true. Like, you one, you didn't fall asleep. Two, even if you did, you're not the first. And also, you know, we're here to support you. Like, even if you feel like you have low energy, you're never alone. Sonic got through Axonic. Axonic. Yeah. Sonic how's speed. Time? How's time looking, by the way? Uh, two and a half minutes. Okay. Yao Fang. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Yell, yell, yell. Stomp, stomp, yell, yell. Now I'll show you. <laughs> We're always watching. Always watching, Wazowski. I know you live in Canada. Down That's here a in the great States. story. However, you forgot your paperwork again. No, I live in Canada down here in the States. I'm feeling low energy because of all the fluctuations in the weather. One day would be 60 Fahrenheit, the next 30. To be fair, the weather has been fluctuating a bunch here, too. So it probably is also that. Yeah, it was kind of hot today. I was like, oh, where, where did this heat come from? I genuinely feel that you deserve all the happiness that life gives you. And we sh also, we shall give you money to buy food and live. Oh, thank you, Kay. Appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, let me see what the weather was here the last few days. Yeah, today's uh, weather was minus 5 to minus 18. Tomorrow is 0 to minus 10. Friday is 5 to plus... T yeah, plus 5 to minus 2. And it's going to stay in the positive minus swing there for like a week. But like yesterday or the day before was like minus 20 Celsius. So now it's like jumped up 20 or 30 degrees. So I think it's just like my body's just like, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. These are like stupidly expensive. Fuck that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So much money. Have I played Shining Force before? Um, not in full. I played a tiny bit of it. Heard excellent things, though. Alrighty, to the wheel again, shall we? Oh, wheel. Game the wheel. Twelve tonight. 
I'm really feeling it. I have a spreadsheet ready to credit people for their suggestions. FTL, faster than light. Uh, let's see, Jam Cop and Steel Moon 123 as for FTL. Now. I agree. Thank you, Arrow. Ew. I'm assuming FTL is installed. Yep. It's small enough, I probably wouldn't have uninstalled it. Last played August 12th, 2018. Boss. He's faster than Lily. <laughs> I just got a bunch of achievements. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hooray. Started the game, started the game, started the game. Technophobia, get to Sector 8 without using drones. Federation base and range, get to Sector 8. Just getting started, get to Sector 5. Those are my only three achievements the game just gave them to me. Nice. Alright, what are we naming our ship? Hmm. Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> How about the Equinox? Wow, Bodie McBoatface <laughs> actually fits perfectly. I, it literally is the character limit. Titanic, what's tempting fate? <laughs> I'd like to mind me. <laughs> I've never played this game. I've just watched other people play this one. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but to get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip hotkeys. You can change, you can charge or arm weapons using number hotkeys. The weapon slots are 1 to 4 on your keyboard, and the drones are 5 to 7. Oh, you can rename the crew. That's true. I want to be a crew member. Yeah, okay, mm. how do I do that? I don't know. <laughs> Chad, help me. How do we do this? How how, how do we, we rename ourselves? Manage, maybe? Oh, that's not. Wait, no, there's not a manage menu. Open up, Open up ship, options. ship options. Go to crew. There we go. Ah. Sick. Oh boy. All right. Got a good crew here. We're All right. Going let's see on how a long trip we last. in our favorite rocket ship. All right. So I'm the captain. Uh. Well, you are named first, so yeah, okay. You arrive in the sector and are greeted by a science special waving the, uh, waiting by the beacon. They hail you. We find ourselves low on fuel and have a proposition. We give them two fuel. We give them two drone, Or they give us two drones. Or drone parts. Reject the offer. You want to reject the offer? Yeah. I was going to accept it, but okay. Nothing could go wrong if we do this. All right, Captain. That's your decision. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one other ship at the beacon and it's showing heavy damage. You receive a message from your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell all remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. None of which I can afford. Mm. Buy it anyway. There's another store that I still can't afford. Yay! Yay. You detect two ships, one chasing the other. Scanners show the pursuer is a pirate. Aid or stay out of it. Well, we don't have any drone ships. 
If only we had gotten some drone parts. You're right. Let's aid them. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. All right. Um, let's see here. Maniacal, you... You're doing great. Um, I actually do not remember how to play this game. Hang You're on. doing great, sweetie. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel right now. I will man the guns. Sweetie, you're doing great. Uh, hold on, let me just pour you a glass real quick. Oh, fire, fire! Fire, fire. Uh, maybe the drink isn't the best idea when there's a fire. I see how you play this now. Well, shield is gone. Yeah. Oh, oh it's back. Done. Yay. Yeah. Pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to con contact the civilian ship. They give you three fuel, one drone part, and twelve scrap. See. They respond. It's a good thing you came when you did. We'd be dead now otherwise. I'm a shipwright, and I'd like to help you where, where, like you helped me. Captain offers you to install a piece of equipment on your ship, the hull beam. Let's do it. Sure. Damage per room hit one. Double damage on systemless rooms. Hotkey three. But Guys. Wait. <laughs> the captain's not doing too hot. <laughs> no. Here, go. Go go to med bay. Go, Maniacal, go to bed. Go to med bay. I'm trying. Nope. Not getting out of this chair. <laughs> no, yeah, sir. Yeah, I'm noticing that. <laughs> Not getting out of this chair. I think I just don't remember how to play this game. I think it's what's actually happening. Yeah, Select him and right click the mid bay. Got it. Got it. Yeah, it was ah. right click. It was right click. Yeah, I'm healing. Yay. Back you go. Cap isn't doing so hot. Mommy, mommy's drinking the happy juice though. Stress signal. Ah, uh, yes, sweetie, it's doing great. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone's on board, and its communication seems to be down. Prepare to board and investigate, or ignore the ship. Hmm. You want to do a poll for that, or do you want to do a uh, prediction? It's a prediction, yeah. Well, here's the thing. If we do prediction, there might be two die at once. Mm. Mm. Fair we enough. Have, yeah. Uh, let's board. Well, let's go help them out. What could go wrong? As you approach the ship, the other ship's transporters suddenly power up, and your deck swarm with now cannibalistic refugees. Driven mad by lack of food, they have turned defeating on each other, and now your crew is next. Intruders are on board. Well, I think I see what's going wrong. I mean, and we could do... Uh... Up the med bay. We could do who dies first, all of us individually. One is just multiple deaths at the same time, and then another is nobody dies. Fight, 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 fight. Fighting in the med bay, fighting in the med bay. We're actually getting health back from fighting in the med bay. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Are they also getting health back? They are not. Okay. Look at the current poll. Yeah, I see it. All die at once is in the lead on the poll. And then it's maniacal. <laughs> Why am I like 30%? 63% say all die at once. 29% say maniacal. Next closest is Montaro at 6% and myself at 4. Or now 5. We're apart by one vote. Oh, now we're at 3. Alright, well, well done, crew. All right, let's have a victory drink, uh, honey. Your jump leads you to nothing but empty space. This jump beacon serves no purpose other than as a connection. Dad, why is mom placing bets on which of us dies? Because mommy wants to make her make her money's worth, huh? 
So what's up with that red line, like, on the left? If you're in that area, that's the rebel fleet, and they were super overpowered. They will basically destroy you if they, if they get you. Okay. Hello, your communications <laughs> open uh, hail to, from a nearby ship. Our weapon systems are malfunctioning. We're too afraid of pirates to travel home unassisted. Can you escort us? They'll give us too fuel if we do. How much fuel do we have? 13. Decline. Really? Wow. <laughs> We understand not everyone is confident they can survive in these hostile times, let alone take the responsibility of protecting others. I think we can manage. We must preserve our fuel. Well, we were gonna get more fuel. But they could have been cash. They could have tricked us. Let's jump into the system of pirate advances on your position. They are refusing all hails. Prepare for fight. <laughs> Rude. It's okay. We have a master strategy here. Rosie, I like this poll. <laughs> they were offering fuel, but they were probably going to attack us. There's no guarantee on that. Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. What's the oldest game has John played? Like, just in general or like stream wise? Solitaire. I mean, I've played Atari 2600 games, so... Mm -hmm. Poker. You have made your oh, point. Dude. We are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame. Accept their offer of two fuel, one drone, and nine scrap, or we will not accept surrender. Oh, we gotta take their offer. What's your offer? Alright. You are a very interesting crewmate to have. <laughs> <laughs> Will a crewmate die this run? Yes or no? Eh, that works too. Return the slab. The man in the man in space. The man in space. He's an imposter. Eject him. Scan the wheel on ore refinery and several factories, all standing still and empty. No life signs detected. Oh no! Earth has been destroyed. Oh no! Mr. You Electric, send him into oh, space! Oh, Smite, of course, would raid during FTL, of course. <laughs> Playing Final Fantasy VI, wow. Nice. Hey, FTL baby, hey Ty, how you doing, bud? Yo, Ty. We're doing uh, birthday wheel revisiting, so uh, I got a giant wheel of video games. We're playing them each game for 20 minutes or until I get a game over, which happen whatever happens first. We've had a surprising amount of game overs tonight. General yelling for about three seconds like you're about to do a powerful attack. Think anime. Hopefully that works. Damn it. But didn't. I guess you're right. Nova did die. Smite, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully you're doing good, my dude. Hopefully your stream was good. We're on FTL for like 16 minutes, so we you got time if you want to see some FTL, unless I fuck it up real bad. Maniacal's my captain, so it's uh <laughs> I'm doing great. Debris from battle scattered around the system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there's a functioning weapon among them. Small bomb. You must take oh, it. Oh boy. Teleporting Lab bomb. Oil. Ignore Bro. shields. Requires Bombs. missile. Normal damage zero. Possible effect fire. Crew damage 30. System damage 2. Hot key. Mm. Next sector. 
We're going to the civilian sector of the Uncharted Nebula. Hmm. Captain. Let's go, Let's go to the civilian sector. Good idea. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels catch you. Yay. Arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. They must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks, destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates or beam weapon. Carefully cut the ship out. Hmm. Why is that one blue? Oh, hang on. The year's 2021. That's why. Oh, okay. Oh. I think it's only here because we have a beam weapon, which is the whole beam. Ah. Let's do the beam weapon then. Use your beam to make a few precision cuts in the asteroid. The ship gives a quick burst of thrust and the rock crumbles away. They thank you and offer some of the resources they've collected. But which one will we get? Which ending will it be? That's Chechbon says it has reached midnight in the Pacific, which means it is now my birthday. Here's another year of stupidity. Thank you, Bad Chechbon. Happy birthday. Yo, Chechbon, happy birthday. I'm glad we got the Kermit one. Yay! 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 Pantera, like I say, it's the new 8008 alert. We've had this for two plus years. The old Rose alert's been gone for multiple years. Mm hmm. Notice which one gets got played more. Yeah. I like <laughs> people people always give me shit about Rosa and stuff, and I'm just like, yo, I, I did my best to contain it all in art block as much as I can, and people still give me shit about it. I'm just like, what do you want me to do at this point? I'm not getting rid of her. What do you want me to do? Uh <sighs> Your ship is flooded with advertisement transmissions from nearby merchants as soon as you arrive at this beacon. You arbitrarily pick one to examine in detail. Trade, give away three missiles for three robot parts, or ignore? I think we should just ignore it. Yeah, that was my feeling too. Mm. Okay, store would be Don't. very helpful. Don't there. remember the old alert? Uh, boobs and butt became big. Yeah, I got why people got mad at that one. That one I understood. Mm-hmm. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Uh, another smart bomb, a small bomb rather. Breach bomb mark two, buff bombs, but I need missiles. Let's stock up with some missiles, I guess. Cause I can't get any of the cool shit. Unless I sell a weapon. There There's currently no force that can keep you from Rose's gravitational pull. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but the Rose's has infiltrated all other aspects of the stream, and I think folks are happy about it now. I get like people were more upset about like the the overly busty, the super busty art, and I I do agree with that at times. Some art, some specific artists go a little too ham on it, but like, otherwise, there's like, I can point at some things where I'm like, yeah, I get it, and other things that people point, I'm like, why does this bother you? It, it's like I can't please everyone, so I'm just walking the line that makes me happy, I guess, for lack of a better term. <laughs> but what I find funny is people keep saying shit like, this joke is old. Drop the joke. It's not a joke. It stopped being a joke in like the first year. You just weren't paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Will a crewmate die? Yes or no are the options for the prediction.
And stop being yeah. a joke two months in. I think I think it lasted as a joke a little bit longer than that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it's just. But just then like, people started like actually connecting with Rosa. Yeah. Yeah. Which is cool. I don't know. I always feel weird about it at times because I'm just like, so like it'll it'll come up and I'm just like, I mean, what do you want me to say, man? Like. I don't, I don't know what to tell you at this point. Like, I get people that are just like, hey, I don't like that you keep retweeting all this art. And I'm just like, it's art by our community. Like, people are making this shit. I don't know. I think There's some mm -hmm. art that I'm like, maybe I shouldn't retweet this and just give it a like instead with the, the community art. But like, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird thing to think about at times. I know, like, for a Twitter post, you can also just, like, turn off retweets. That's what I usually uh, tell like people. Just don't follow my retweets. Mm -hmm. Let's intervene. Truth be told, Rosa probably made me embrace my transition a lot more with a lot more confidence than I would have otherwise. I get that a lot from trans people. I've had a couple of trans people that are like, I don't like Rosa. She makes me uncomfortable. But I've also had a lot of people be like, yeah, no, this, she helped a lot. So, again, can't please everyone. You say mm -hmm. intervene? Okay. Let's do it. Almost as if people are all different or something. We all have different brains. Funny that. Very strange. Pew pew. I thought we sh I thought we shared brain cells all the time. Eh, it depends. Pass it around like a hot potato. Every chapter, it. every chapter, one person is allowed the designated brain cell. <laughs> kind of watching this game now. I definitely see like the appeal of this. It feels very like chill. Forget if I have a copy of this or not. Actually. Ooh, ay, ay, ay. Uh, I do not actually know. Beep, boop, 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 beep. About 10 bucks on Steam I'm seeing here. Uh, reviews, about a good, like, 55k, so that's pretty good. Pretty good sign. <laughs> there we go. Goodbye. Ship breaks apart, you quickly salvage what you can. Two fuel, one robot part, and 21 scrap. Yeah, I post oh, hails yeah. you. The pompous bastards expected free services because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. Two fuel, 19 scrap. Hell yeah. I need you to fix this because we need to see what the fuck we're doing. It's past around like gravy on Thanksgiving. That would be helpful, being able to see things. Typically, yes. I'm personally annoyed by how much Frozen John's overtaken the stream because I'm just tired of the concept of waifus. We're not going to shame others in liking her. I get, again, I'm going to ask this question. Like, in what sense has she overtaken the stream? Because she's basically confined to art block. There are three total alerts she's on. The all your base one. The joke one where I'm the one who gets affected by the, the spalling bits. And the rare Rosa. Hmm. I, I rarely use the voice changer. I <laughs> rarely use the voice changer. It comes up maybe like what once a year at this point. Uh, like what God. can I do at this point? <laughs> no this God. is the thing. People keep saying I wish she would get rid of it. Ooh. No one tells me like what can I do to keep it and also please everyone because mm -hmm. I don't want to give her up. I get I can I don't she's toned down from what she used to be. I will admit that and agree with that. But like. What do you want at this point? Tell me. Just straight up tell me. If it's just get rid of her, fair. I'm not going to listen to that. Give me something yes, I... I can work with. Let's find let's find something that matches up together, shall we? Because that would be nice. I wonder if people want more so like kind of like what the older days were, like prior to her. Yes, like, everyone tells her. me that. 
That's not gonna happen. It's mm -hmm. been... How many years have I been streaming now? 11. 11 years of streaming. Shit changes, my dudes. Yeah, it does. I Here's the thing. People tell me they want the old way streams used to be. And that means one of four things. Mm -hmm. I'm picking four. It's probably less than that. It means they either want more games with shorter breaks. I can't do that. I'm married and have a pet. Uh, they want less art block. I don't want to do that. We fostered such a creative artistic community. I do not want to lose that. They want less Rosa. Fair. I conceded. Got rid of a bunch of stuff from it. But I've only I've conceded as much as I'm willing to unless I'm given a really fucking good reason and convinced on it. And some people just... I don't even... I don't even know what the last thing they want is, other than, like, I guess I already said shorter breaks, right? Yeah. So I guess it's three yeah. things. Those are the three things that always seem to come up. And I'm like, I would love to find a way that works for everyone. Mm -hmm. I, like, like, I, I mean, I saw a post, I'm just going to say it. I saw a post today on the subreddit, and uh, or, or a subreddit, bringing up Rosa, and like, everyone was complaining about her, basically. And I was just like... Oh. The way you guys are talking, you talk as if she comes up in every fucking segment. She's literally just an art block. I have condensed it as much as I can. I get complaining about Twitter retweets or some shit, or me commissioning stuff, which is very rare. But, like, I don't know what to do to please you guys at this point. Is it even worth it at this point? Because I don't know if you're just complaining because you want to complain because you want the good old days. Or what? Like... I don't know, man. I just... It just bums me out that I want to please everyone. And it sucks that the one of the few things that I found that I like pisses a bunch of people off and they're, and they're vocal about it. That's what makes me sad. Is that, like, finally something I enjoy and it's like, oh, oh, this pissed off a lot of people. Neat. I feel like at this point you just have a crossroads where you're either going to have to ex uh, accept her and make her a super large part of the community, sh uh, shutting away the people from the extremely old part of the community, or have to get rid of her shutting the new community. Uh, because there are two very different paths, and you can't try to do all of it at once, so it's better to choose which one you believe is the one that represents you and who you are and who you want this community to be. But the thing is, some I think some people just they think like, oh, I'm just some horny fuck or something like that. I am so far away from that. <laughs> But like, I, I don't know, man. It's all good. But you're not even pleasing us is the key distinction here. You're trying to appease a vocal minority and not the greater whole. I think the main thing like with it at this point, I would say, is like, yes, you're doing what you wish to do. There's gonna be those who want to like have things go the way they want there's people who may not like certain like ways characters portrayed maybe some people just don't like it and like you know all those are here, fine without here is my question to the people who do not like rosa this is my question to them what if the hyper bustiness was gone all the stuff that definitely comes off as like kink shit she's just got a normal She's still busty, because whatever. But she's still just a busty character, but, like, no, like, hyper shit. The art doesn't go away. It's just toned down. Which it already pretty much is. I can probably count the amount of artists that do, like, the height, like, what I would call kink shit, like, on one hand. Like, what else could I do at that point? I don't know, man. It just sucks for people to be like, I don't watch John because of this. And I'm like, I've reduced this as much as humanly possible. Were you just saying this because you want an excuse to not like me in my content? Or are you just saying this because you do have a genuine problem with it and it's something I should address? If it's, like I, like I said, I want to fix genuine issues and genuine problems. But I feel like whenever someone says this, their only solution is get rid of her, not find a compromise. I hate how defeated you sound with this. Because this has been happening for years, if I'm being honest. And I've tried to ignore it as best I can or work on it in private. I've told some of the artists in the community, like, hey, tone it down a bit. 
and they some of them have agreed some of them still have their moments and I don't mind that because I don't mind that shit but at the same time it's just like I don't know I wasn't in a good headspace when I read it in the first place and it's just like yeah I don't know man it's, it's all good like when it comes to comments like that online, like the negative stuff is really gonna stick with you, as unfortunate as it is. Like, you know, that's just a that's just a creator thing, you know. Like you can get like tons, tons of positive comments, won't affect you. You get like one or two bad ones, it fucks with you like so hard. It sucks. Like it, it, it does suck. And like you know, I feel for you. Like I you know, I wish I could do more here. Yeah, I don't know, man. I've been contemplating a lot of shit lately, and uh, that's something that just kind of creeped in out of nowhere. I was like, uh, yeah. It's all good, man. Because it's, it's funny, because to me, it actually felt like the focus was going away from Rosa even more. Mm -hmm. Like, let me, let me pop open the brewery here to just kind of check something here. I saw a comment earlier. How do you feel about the whole, like, giving the stream a mature rating or, like, mature warning? I guess, but that again would only apply to art block. True. Hmm, I don't know, it's hmm. it's, it's tricky, honestly. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, this is this is something... Yeah, like, here, I normally tab out during Art Block and or Dream Watch, but I don't, I don't hate that they're there, even if I'm more into the gameplay segments. I can tell that these things are here for a valid reason, and I super respect it, so just keep doing what you want, John, to your stream at the end of the day. I don't care, really care about the Rose stuff either way, but I do very much appreciate that it's toned down. I probably wouldn't watch John as much if the stream was constantly over the top the hyper boobs and stuff. You said it yourself, you already compromised it a lot. If people are still complaining about it, that's on them. One time you said just designated R block streams. That would just be that would murder my numbers, unfortunately. Yeah, that would absolutely destroy. <laughs> yeah, like it, it would unfortunately mess up viewership stuff. I remember <sighs> after Rosa was introduced, I got really sick of seeing her everywhere all the time and thought it was just annoying, yet tolerated for the good it did. I can tell that you've done a lot to pull it back, and honestly, I think you've done enough. Now I think she's around a reasonable and proper amount. And you, IMO, have handled it well. I'm someone who doesn't like the Rosa art, but I'm also someone who won't rain on others' parade. I want to say, I want to say do what you want, but I know what you're conflicted about, and I get that it sucks. Yeah, the sure warning fudges the algorithm completely. I wouldn't recommend that unless completely necessary. Yeah, and it really would only be for art block. And it's even only for certain art blocks, because there's not... I don't know, man. This this is the shit I keep thinking about, and I was thinking about this right before stream started, so again, just kind of in a weird headspace. It, it's all good. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I think part of it's just I'm not feeling 100%, so I'm just kind of out of it, but yeah. Do you think you want to stop after this game's done? Let's get one more game in. I'd rather not end on this note. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, FTL auto saves, right? I'm not sure. Oh, what John, is? Yeah, what option are we doing here first? You know what? You deserve to be the captain now. <laughs> you make the decision. <laughs> You'll do great, sweetie. You can do this one for us. Save and quit. There you go. Yeah, I personally don't think she's around enough to fairly complain about. At this point, I agree that all, all that's left is to get rid of her completely, which is definitely at least one step too far. Yeah, because at that point... Like... At that point, I'd just get rid of Art Block. At that point. And I think that's overkill, too. I don't know. I, I've backed myself to a fucking corner, and I've had conversations with some people that have given me varying pieces of advice on it. The The fact is... But it mostly boils down to do what I think is right, but I'm so fucking sick of making that decision at this point. That's all I've done <laughs> for the last five fucking months. I just want something to go smoothly. I just want 
everyone to be cool with whatever, but no, it never fucking works out like that, man. All right, focus, focus. All right, spin the wheel. Oh, oh yes. boy, wheel. Spin. You know, uh, real quick, when did you like cancel that prediction that was happening during FTL? Oh, yeah, like... cancel it because... Because yeah. we didn't oh. do... <laughs> we stopped after a little bit, which yeah. is all fine. I guess Deep can handle it if he wants. I can do this. Life, Life Force, Force for the NES. Is that on NSO? I do not believe so. Okay. This okay. was a suggestion by Peachy Chan. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I could probably cancel it. Do Just canceling the prediction, Deep. Yeah. Do what your wife thinks is fine. My wife thinks I'm, I'm holding back too much and should actually go heavier into it. Really? Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you, you've walked back so much at this point. Hmm. I think to give my own like unbiased thoughts like anywhere, just like speaking of like just viewership, seeing how much things have changed over time. I do genuinely think that like there has definitely been a folk or not a focus, but like a different shift of sorts, right? When it comes to like the Rosa stuff. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because that's what makes you happy, obviously. But I also understand why for some people it like turns them away. But Shit, man, it's what makes you happy. You know, I'm not gonna like try and change that. Like, you're living your best life, and like, I am proud to see who you are and like what you know you do for yourself. And you've also made like a ton of people just be like really like happy for themselves. And like, shit, I mean, you got like an art community, and like, you know, I, I think there's not a lot of people out there who can really say that. Like this, like creative, like garden you've cultivated. Like you love gardening. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making a dumb joke. I'm sorry. Um, but like, no, like legit, like you've cultivated like a great like garden of like artists and creative minds and it's great. I mean, I just find it funny. Yeah, I'm gonna read this this out. This is an interesting one that started making me thinking about this. The character itself is not really a problem for me as much as the resulting vibe. John has gotten more and more indulgent with the horny side of his audience. It sounds harsh, but I can't really put it any other way. The art block and Buru has, to put it bluntly, become something of a low-key breeding ground for softcore fetish art. Nothing truly not safe for work, but it straddles the line the same way these kinds of kinks do. And John encourages it with both, uh, with both tacted approval and actively commissioning art pieces. Mind you, there's nothing wrong with it in a vacuum. I have no intention to kink, shame, or moralize against anything. The issue lies in the fact that John largely keeps his overall brand not horny. Certainly not family-friendly, but not horny on main either. But the Rosa John stuff clashes with this, and the resulting vibe is off, so he needs to commit in either direction. Compared to how Lucogen has a much more overt and clear, wholesome, horny on main brand, and even then maintains an After Dark account for truly not safe for work stuff. I think that words it in a way that I've been kind of mulling over, so. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a good point, though. So many online personalities go the horny route, and people are fine with it. The fact that you're getting shit for this is baffling. It's because it, it walks a kink line, honestly. It's that. There's a couple other aspects to it, but I, that's that's the thing. And you got to keep in mind, a bunch of people come from like TRG stuff, and TRG's pretty wholesome in itself. And like even my solo let's play stuff, I didn't really do much adult stuff, even remotely. So, I get the point Just of, like... Just the penis mightier. I... I started watching your streams a year before Rose's introduction. I saw the tonal shift, but it's continued to shift as it always shifts. Your content isn't stagnant because unlike some others, it's not a character, it's you, and you're not stagnant. I think that's why you've been so successful for as long as you have been. 
I don't want you to go full horny. I like this middle ground. I don't want to go full horny. I've, for multiple reasons. Mm. I don't know, man. That's just some of the shit I've been thinking about lately. I think I need to take a week off. Please, mm -hmm. that, that might be a good idea soon. But I can't, is the problem. Because it's your career. Oh, not even that. I got a mm -hmm. lovely surprise recently that has fucked me over in a way that I'm trying mm. to fix and it is not great. Mm. So it does not feel like a good time to take a break, but mentally I am not in the greatest spot. Oh no, it's not workaholic kicking in. God, I wish it was just that. Mm. Oh no, I hate I hate bitching on stream guys, I'm sorry. No, dude, 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 you're fine. Legit, you're fine. Like, it happens, and, you know, it's all good. Yeah, have you gotten to talk with your therapist recently? Uh, not about this. Mm hmm. Well, time to talk with him about that, is what it sounds like. <sighs> Sorry if that sounded rude, I apologize. Mm, no, no, you're fine. Dirty, holy shit. No. Thought this would have been clean considering it's in a box. I love it when you get real on streams. It reminds me how much integrity you carry as a person and it makes you think. Uh, I'm getting sick of being real on stream. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, I just wanna I just wanna play video games, man. Video games are fun. These last few months have sucked balls. I feel like you just need, like... I need the world to calm week. the fuck down. Yeah, that would be nice. You need, like, a... I know you said you want to do that, like, week off. It could just be a week of just, I do whatever the hell I want. Just, like... You know I what know I want to use the fucking week off for? To do other shit I've been putting off because I don't have enough room in my fucking schedule to do shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what most of that is? Different type of work. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I started running up a to-do list the other day and realized how much shit I have put off. And it is a lot. <laughs> mm. And I'm just like, fuck me. I think I talked about this before. That fucking Lego kit, I opened it in November. Hmm. I did the first two bags before I left to go to Emil's to record TRG. And have not touched it since. The box is visually in my range. Every day I'm down here in this office. And there's not a day I'm not down here in the office. It has been staring at me for how many months are we away from November now? Five? Four? And it's just like, why aren't I working on this? I don't want to make content out of it. I'm not saving it for a stream. I'm just not doing it. I'm doing other things that are making me relax in some sense. I'm waiting for, for those wondering, I'm waiting for the cartridge to dry, so. Uh, but like, man, I don't know, man. I mean, if that's been bothering you, you can also just put it away. It would be out of sight, out of mind at that point, but like, I'd be, I'd, next time I'd see it, I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck. 
I'll say this, the open discussions and transparency with the community is why I've always respected you. Sometimes it can be mentally taxing, I get that, but it shows you care. A lot of streamers would rather chastise the negative and dissenting comments, but you address it and try to work it out. I think what the problem is, like, I, I've always, I'm gonna call it an issue, but you get, hopefully you get where I'm going with this. I've always had this issue where I try to please everyone. I, I have done that since fucking day one on YouTube. I was the kind of guy who always went to the comments, saw the one bad comment, and literally responded to them trying to figure out how to make whatever was going on better if it was something I could deal with. If it's just like, fuck you, I don't like your content, it's just like, okay, whatever, I can't, I clearly can't please you. But if it was something like, I didn't like this video, or like, something that was just like, just enough to be like, okay, I get it. I feel like if I talk to you, you can at least help me figure out what you didn't like about this, and it kind of like, I poured myself into doing all that fucking drained myself. I think that's half the reason I ever pushed YouTube as hard as I did and always took breaks from YouTube was just because I put too much of myself into that and just kept burning myself out. It's why it's really hard for me to go back to YouTube and kind of work on all that. Because every time it brings up burnout feelings and I just fucking hate that. I think I'm also a little out of it because today was our first proper Coliseum meeting. Mm -hmm. So now I have to process all of that too. <laughs> so I apologize for not being in the best headspace. Any yes, why aren't you turning? You are all right. Why is the NES not sending a signal? We've already used it tonight. The NES is on... six. It's still not sending a signal. Oh, Why is it not sending a signal? No signal. That should be the right input. Ah, fucking. Okay, just straight up, the NES is not sending a signal, and I have no idea why. Hmm. That's strange. That's not good. Hang on. Yeah, because we Fuck. used that already. I still get very confused when I see my own emotes in chat, and I'm just like, wait, wait a second, I'm not posting that. Other people have my things? Well, that doesn't make sense. It, it is cool to see, like, when other people use my emotes. I need to get some more done, but, like, money is the fun part with that. Power cycle the damn system, see what happens. I keep trying to pay my artist, but uh, every single time, the money just winds up back in my wallet. Weird, that. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't pay him enough anyway. There we go. I don't know why that was <laughs> not booting up. Thank you for all of the thank you for all of the ludicolos. <laughs> oh 
good and it worked first try. Thank God. Yay! And now to die in like two minutes. Yeah, you'll be fine. Probably not. Pew, pew, pew. All right, this is Life Force, better known, I believe, as Salamander. Shit. <laughs> it's one of those ones I've always wanted to figure out how to beat, but I just never sat down and tried to do it, so... I love salamanders, they're so adorable. I've got, like, no upgrades. This is gonna go very poorly. So this is the other problem. This first stage, heavy memorization. I equip Salamandra to my flame swordsman. Shit. Ah. The yeah, the prediction was refunded. Captain Maniacal didn't get a chance to kill any of his crew. Yeah. Kill? I was trying to save my crew. Was that a JoJo reference? From saying that the stuff was refunded? No. Famous JoJo reference. Let's refund things. Unless I said a different one that I missed. I see we're back to Contra here. Are you saying just like I it has already been refunded, I guess? I don't know. I think that might have been how I worded it. Maybe. That sounds like a way I would word things, but no, I was not trying to quote Killer Queen. Oh, this is or like Deadly a... Queen. Oh my god. Or Deadly Queen. Stuff is just destructible stuff. Ripple. I, you know, John, I'm thinking right now about like all these games in the buying, right? Yeah. Is there something you just regret getting? Like you have to have your regrets in there, obviously, right? Oh yeah. Like, what, I think what most of his regrets are ones that he's sold. Most mm -hmm. of my regrets are getting into game collecting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. You could save what would so you say much was more fucking money, dude. I could imagine. What would you say was your biggest regret of a purchase? Getting into boxed game collecting. That was my biggest mistake. <laughs> okay. Out of I'm curiosity, also, I'm like also so far in that I'm just like, oh. Out of curiosity, do you have a specific example you can think of, or just in general? Just in general. Boxed okay, nothing really stands out. They look fantastic on a shelf. They look amazing. Oh, I can imagine so, but yeah. at the same time, they take up so much space. Mm-hmm. Remind me, how many shells do you have again? <laughs> a lot. Uh, 15, 13, some of that range. Okay. Grabby hands. And just looking wild, dude. Only I have the brains to rule, Lilat. It was fun, actually, finally properly playing like the hard mode of Star Fox 64 last year. Never fought the brain before. Oh, wow, actually? <laughs> Yeah, I like. I, I realized, man, I've never actually done 64's hard mode. Let me try and do that. I actually used some, like, saves at some point. Mainly for that, what was it, Sector Z? With the fucking missiles, right? I definitely screwed up there, so I was like, good thing I made that, because I did not want to repeat the whole thing. I have That's never beaten a Star Fox game in any capacity. Um, 64 is a good recommendation. Big fan of Assault, personally. Uh, I spent so many hours with the multiplayer in that one. Um... I feel like those are the main two, honestly. 64 and Assaults. I mean, there's zero, of course, in the Wii U. 
Oh, geez, Ness, Star Fox. It's kind of hard, but it's not bad. Star Fox 2 as well. What about Command? You can play Command, you can play Adventures. Yeah, those are options. I want to turn I want to turn uh Fox and Falco into F0 racers. Aren't they what you were they called it now when it wasn't F0, it was like F1 or something like that. It was some obvious parody. It's probably. It's it's G0. That's G0. Right. G0. I knew it was some like very obvious parody. Shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, I had an extra one up. Oh. Nice. Nice. It's pretty great cuz like the sad thing is that Fox is depressed, but like Shit. it's like, you know what? It's okay because I'll be a race car driver. I'm going to turn mm -hmm. this R wing into a like into my a father machine. before me. Command of the Shadow of the Hedgehog, a oh. Star Fox. Ooh. Well, at least we got the stage two. I didn't think we were going to even pull that off. Ah. <laughs> so, yeah, F1 is Formula One. <laughs> I think we're gonna call it here. I think we got. Okay. I think there's a couple things in our block still. Yeah, I got two pieces in our block. All command was missing was a true story where it turns out Fox wasn't an android. See, if there's anything from Command, I wish they kind of like kept going with. It's the ending where it's like, hey, here's Fox and Crystal's kid, and like Slippy's kid, the new members of like Team Star Fox, and like Falco feels like the peppy role. That's the Star Fox I want to see them continue with. I'm tired of just the Lilad Wars for like the fifth or sixth time. <laughs> Scuntle Psyduck gifted a sub to Just Call Me Zach. Shining Silver gifted a sub to Chloe Chloe. Pike Spend Dragon 67 for 25. Kirby Bolt with the big old gift sub bomb. Thank you, Kirby Bolt. Mika McTox says, hoping for Rare Rosa, and Rising Sun 98 says, I still care for Rosa. She's a good lassie. I've seen stuff she goes through, and I'm like, eh, don't worry. I've seen it all. She's fine in my eyes. Can't wait to get her hoodie, not gonna lie. And Mikey DCT just gets in with a Wisdom of Duke here. Here you go, Mikey. Also, Chazars, thank you for the raid. Dick son. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Da, 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 da. They're friends now. I love just dick, son. It's such a good cut. I love it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we did 13 games tonight. I unfortunately do not have the entire list because I accidentally refreshed the page. Uh... Pokemon Puzzle League. Yeah, that's all that, that mattered, right? I remember Pokemon see Puzzle the... League. I, I see a box. Oh, that's Life Force's box. Um... What do we start with again? Played two NES games. Like, oh, Mr. Gimmick, Secret Evermore, it's Starcraft, Starcraft 64, Contra One, Contra One, Monster Hunter Stories Two, Monster Hunter Stories Two, Monster Cube of War, Stories Two, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, yeah. Freaky Flyers, Freaky Nightmare Flyers. Reaper, FTL, Sonic, Sonic Superstars. Superstars, yeah, Sonic Super FTL, and Life Force, Cube of War. I think that's one of the ones I forgot about. Yep. So yeah, we had, was it, yeah. did I say 11 or 13? You're sorry, 12 or 13 games. I think it's 13. You said 13. Okay. Not bad. Not too shabby. All right. Thanks for stopping and hanging out tonight, folks. Lineback gives us up to venting is valid. Thank, thanks, uh, Lineback. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the shuffler. 13 -ish. You will give me an egg. At night. Need the patented at night egg. Art block has <laughs> two pieces in it right now. Three pieces in it right now. Oh boy. Art, art, art. Oh, that's why there's no music. Princess Skylar, since I've been seeing a number of people use my cherry model for her ref as a meme, I decided to be a bad influence and provide the transparent PNG to make it easier because the chaos brings me life. And speaking of dreams in general, I ended up making a necklace for John a little while back and only recently got a chance to mail it out. The necklace is supposed to help with lucid dreaming along with protection from bad omens. I'm pagan. So look forward to that, John. I charged it for two full moons in a row as well, and also included a couple gag gifts. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Skylar. I'll check the P.O. box in a couple days, see if it shows up. Two full moon charges. All right, now you can defeat those shadows. 
Alright, it's here's Snowdad 2 after hearing the talk with Rosa. John, I want- I know you want to satisfy everyone, but like, what about what you want? It's your stream and whatever you want to do, you do. If people don't like it, then that's their problem, they can take it elsewhere. You shouldn't have to sacrifice your happiness just to please us. And whatever people have to say for it, how they paint you in their head is not your business. So sorry, this is one of your problems, it really shouldn't be, it's not fair for you. Whatever you decide to do with Rosa and such is your choice, please don't let what any of us say influence your choice. If you want to tone her down, go on ahead. If you don't, don't. Do what you want to do. I know that's easier said than done, but your feelings matter too. I don't know what else to tone down is the thing. Like, I don't want to tell, like, some of the artists, like, hey, don't draw her this way anymore. Because mm -hmm. I don't like stifling creative expression, but also it's just, like, it's still a business at the same point, so i got to care about that shit. But it's, it's funny, because if I say, like, hey, I want to let these artists keep drawing her like that, it comes off as me being, like, perverted or shit like that. And it's just, like... <laughs> it's, it's just, I don't know, man. It's, it's a shitty situation to be in, man. Mm -hmm. I feel for you. I can suggest an alternative. What would Maniacal want? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I want? For, like, I, I get control over Rosa now? Is that what I'm hearing? What that would a good you idea? do with Rosa, John, if you have the chance? Um... Hmm, like... Let me think about this one, actually. Uh, maybe, like, different hairstyle changes could be fun. Like, it's always, like, the same, like, wavy long hair, but, like, where's, like, pigtails? Where's, like, a ponytail? That could be fun. D different outfits. That's what we need more of. Maniacal gets custody of the child. Said child is an adult woman. <laughs> that feels weird. <laughs> Next up, from Super Nintendo. Yo, look at this. Hi, John. It's me, the guy who keeps forgetting his password and keeps having to make new accounts. What were we saying, Montar? Is it Super Saiyan Rosa? Look, I'm, I'm just saying now a short hair Rosa would be pretty nice, actually. I agree but, with chat. Luckily this time I actually wrote it down, so that shouldn't be a problem anymore, lol. I made a recolor of Rosa I made of Rosa John Black in her Super Booba Rosé John form. Look, Dragon Ball Super is really bad, and I chose this form mostly just because of the Rosa turning Rose thing. Don't judge me. I mean, that's fair. That's very really fair. I mean, Rosé was a great design. The oh, yeah. The color was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at this color. Isn't it beautiful? Don't look at my rollback for the fucking game. Oh, the rollback makes me so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo. Appreciate it. Last one I, I have know, here up. from Mika. I wasn't able to get this done tonight. Here's a work in progress with Gespence. Sun armor for Claire. Hopefully I'll get it done by Saturday. Looks really fucking cool. Thank you, Mika. You got fighters rolled back at what cost? For real, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. How do they fuck it up, They'll dude? fix it eventually. Eventually, yes. Are they really going to be doing more updates for fighters? No. Now I that mean, sparking is coming out? Uh, no. I mean, the thing is that they had most of the Xenoverse team and, like, fighters team going on to, like, sparking zero. I feel like because of how broken it is, they actually are going to try and have some fixes towards it. Because there's no way they're going to leave it in that state. Absolutely not. That shit's way too broken. It might take a while for them to fix it, though, is the thing. That's the real issue, yes. So, we'll see. Yeah, uh... Zamasu's uh, voice actor was originally an actor in Dragon Ball Evolution, and he was hopeful to get a role to not have that be the only Dragon Ball thing he's been in. <laughs> It's like that. It's like he went from playing uh, King Piccolo in live action to playing Zamasu in uh, Super, which is great. He just great. wanted any role, but he got Zamasu. And he fucking killed it. Yep. <laughs> Folks, what's our raid message? Meanwhile, I didn't read this one from Codename Vixen. John, I just want you to know I love watching your streams. Your content always makes me smile and laugh. I'm totally cool with Rosa, and I think you're doing good. We all want you to be happy. I watch your content for you. Thank you, Vixen. Appreciate it. Flaccid mustache. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Mwop. 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 I'm not gonna rave with hugs for John, but thank you though. Appreciate it. Hail the birthday wheel. Happer. She was playing fucking cyberpunk. Wow. Yeah. Cyberpunk. Swirl drops playing retro Beyblade games. Man, I know you played it one time on stream. I had like the PS1 Beyblade game. That game was kind of fun. 
And I remember being pretty jank. I remember constantly getting shot out of the arena in it pretty easily. Oh, I'm sure. Like, I was a kid, man. I didn't know what the hell, like, what was a good or bad video game. I'm just like, oh, man, Beyblade, yeah. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. Can we be the Beyblade person? <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I want to see this person now. All right, I'll raid them. Hell yeah. Uh. God dang doggo. God dang doggo. Bodie McBoat face. <laughs> and then dang dang on dog man. All I think all hail the wheel. I'll go with all hail the wheel. All, all hail, hail the boys. magic wheel. Swirl Drop right. is the one who's currently playing Beyblade for Game Boy Advance, it looks like. Uh, I don't think I'm familiar with that one. <laughs> Sprites are awful. Sprites are really, really bad. Maybe Dereza will show up. Dereza the Jizza, the Ghost Face Killer. This is. Oh, hi, Raiders. Welcome. Oh, this is uh, this is uh, Proton John, right? <laughs> the pre-raid, the old school style pre-raid. Hi everyone. I'm gonna take this opportunity to finish my coffee. Hey. One second. All right, go give oh, Swirl oh, some love. Oh, They're pretty chill. Okay. And uh, I'll see you guys Friday afternoon for Resident Evil Five and Saturday for Fortune Cookie. Yo, just in time for oh boy. Whatever the fuck this Yay. Is. Hey, hey. When the and probably is you'll probably see me tomorrow on Top Down, I guess. I wanna wait. I wanna wait for all of these people to pop. Yeah, my plans my plans fell through for Thursday as well too, so I guess yeah, you'll see what's up then. Now everybody. Oh my god. Good night. I need to coffee. Remember chat. Take care of yourself. Be merry. Be wild. I remember. Don't get blasted. Exactly. Because if you get blasted, it'd be very sad. Hey, you don't want to make me sad. I'll cry. You don't want to see that. Mm -hmm. Bow. Goodbye. Goodbye. And don't let the ceiling man bite. Never forget the time that Robert Koch shot that dude in the dick. <laughs>